Hello? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi everybody! Ah, today we got new stuff. I don't know if you're ready for it. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay. Ah! I missed... I miss the spooky game marathons a ton. I'm happy that they're back. <laughs> I'm happy to be doing this again. And today we actually have a thematic one. Yeah, we are mainly playing games that are um, kind of focused on liminal spaces and stuff. But we'll talk about that more in a second. We've got we've got new stuff. We got new stuff. You want to you want to see? Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Okay. Let the coins fall. Baby! <gasps> oh! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Hi! Hi! <laughs> so you may be wondering, what the frick is this? Ah! 
well, my friend. <laughs> this is our new setup for uh, spooky games. Yeah, spooky game marathons. Okay, first of all, I want to say something. I want to say something really important. I'm functioning on under two hours of sleep. <laughs> So I might or might not have accidentally pulled up an all-nighter and and then I forgot that I had a meeting and so after I pulled the all-nighter, once I was in bed, I got a message from management, they were like, by the way, I'm just making it bigger, uh, they were like, hey, so are you coming to the meeting? And I was like, yeah! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot, but it's okay, it's okay. Thing is, yesterday, yesterday I slept the whole day. If you guys uh, haven't been keeping up with things, um, yesterday's stream, which was supposed to be the Fuya Rankenstein, it has been moved to sometime during this week because I got a little bit sick out of nowhere. <laughs> so um, Mama, Mama Leprechaun and I um, must have eaten something super bad on Friday, cause uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the Bolognese, cause it, it tasted good. It tasted good, but. In the morning, both me and my mom were just... Just dying. Our tummies were just suffering and we didn't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Tummy okay now? Yes, tummy, tummy is good, more or less. It still feels a little bit funny, but it doesn't hurt as much anymore, so I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't worry, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. <laughs> that actually happened to me on Friday. Did everybody just get like a freaking... Uh, I don't even know if it was rotten food. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't rotten food because it didn't like taste bad at all. I was let known that maybe perhaps it was some sort of bacteria. My mom also keeps saying that. Um so so yeah, but but I, I feel I feel better now. I feel way better now. And I've been drinking tons of water. I got a brand new like water thing. Um well technically I stole it from my dad. Hmm. <laughs> Although I have to say that the reason why I recovered so fast is most likely the fact that you guys have been praying for my tummy. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw all of you guys' nice words and uh, all of your, um, you know, posts on the Discord and stuff, and I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys helped. You guys actually helped. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Everybody, let me see, let me show you all kinds of things that we can do here. I should probably make you bigger and just put you back there. Is it in the middle? Eh, aesthetics. Anyway, right. So this is a new scene. Uh, I worked on this with the members on the last member stream, I think. Um, and uh, I didn't get to like show it off, finished. <laughs> so uh, I guess, I guess we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and get jump straight into it. So to those who are new to the Spooky Game Marathon, um, it's basically a stream where I pick uh, a couple of random games, and then we play them, and then we rate them. Yeah. Totally, totally le legit rating system created by yours truly for your Cloverfield. <laughs> yeah. Can we study math? No, you cannot study math. This is no math zone. No math. No math zone. No math. So yeah, game reveal, game reveal, game reveal. Okay, let me turn on our TV here. Okay, Gibbs moment. Kadoink. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's our fancy new TV that I totally did not find in Idol Corp's attic. <laughs> and then proceeded to fill out with uh, all kinds of stickers. From from all of my jammates and stuff, <laughs> but yeah, um, we got this brand new TV, and uh, if you guys remember the way we used to do things, um, I used to just write it down on a little piece of cardboard. <laughs> that is how we've been handling the spooky game marathons. But now, now it's all fancy. Now it's all fancy. Okay, as I was saying at the beginning, let me start my presentation by saying. Doink. Okay. <clears throat> Here you guys see the original backrooms photo, right? Uh, that is because I, I want I want to present it to you like I'm presenting something to my school, which I'm not in anymore. 
Okay, so this is the original backrooms photo. Um, to those who don't know, I, I would be surprised if you don't know what uh, what liminal space and the whole backroom shtick is. Um, it's been around the internet. It kind of went viral for some reason. Um, and uh, I quite myself really enjoy, um, you know, looking through pictures of liminal spaces and stuff. <laughs> As welcome, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome to the Lucky Clover chats again. <laughs> Thank you, welcome. Also, I, I think I might have missed some of you guys' uh, things, but uh, let, let me see. Um, Cause my 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 little box where it shows everything is kind of broken. Uh, I feel like in elementary again, when they whipped out the CRTV and the teacher just plays a horror movie. <laughs> yes, that's the vibes we are going for. Um, right. So I just wanted I just wanted to do a quick rundown um, and explain what are the backrooms. Because, I mean, we're gonna be playing games that are focused on, you know, liminal spaces and stuff. And uh, I, I want to explain my thought process while picking out these games, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, important things, important things. The most important things about liminal spaces are that they are um, a mix of both unsettling and comfort. Um, they are usually very nostalgic. Um... And they just... I'd say that it's more a feeling you get. A feeling of emptiness, you know? Of not belonging. A transitional space. Something like that. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that explain what, you know, liminal space is. And they explain it way better than I could ever try to. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backroom is backroom school. Um, liminal space cool. I like it a lot. Yeah. I myself really enjoy, for example, going in VR chat and checking out the multiple like liminal space worlds that they have. It's really neat. It's really neat. It feels like you can get lost in all kinds of environments that otherwise you wouldn't be able to in your life. And yeah, yeah, it's really neat. It's really neat. Mm. No way for you actually sounds like a game reviewer. Sleep depri deprivation does that to, to a mother fricker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so yeah, yeah, that's 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 the the basic thematic of all the games for today. And so far, we haven't had a thematic for our games. This is the first time. Um, and uh, I I wouldn't say that we're gonna keep up like with the thematics. Maybe like whenever I feel like it, basically. <laughs> if I come up with a with a, a games like theme, I'll be like, hey, okay, so this week it's themed. All right, yeah. <laughs> Just need the red, big red circles. Okay. So, anyway, to those, I actually need to stop saying to those. Okay, everybody, revamping the the game review system. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna go through this because it's new. Uh, we're gonna be evaluating the game on atmosphere. Some of these were changed, so pay attention, pay attention. Uh, I want you guys to help me by the end of the game, once we are done with each game. I want you guys to help me rate the game. Um, and these are the criter criteria. We've got atmosphere, and we're gonna be rating them for like, from zero to five, okay? We're gonna be rating them from zero to five. So, we've got atmosphere, we've got originality, we've got replayability, this one is a new one, this one's a new one. We've got aesthetics, because aesthetics is really important. We've got sound design. We've got game feel. We've got plot, for those who have plot. Because if a game doesn't have plot, we don't need to evaluate it on plot. And lastly, we've got Fuyo enjoyment, for your overall enjoyment. And we've got chat enjoyment. This is where you guys are going to tell me how much you enjoyed the game, how much I enjoyed the game. And um, we, will, we will score the game out and see... Um, how it went. Now, uh, overall disclaimer, um, this is just for fun. Uh, we're mostly gonna be playing indie games that have been posted online by small game developers, and uh, our goal is not to discourage any game developers at all. In fact, I, I am a huge fan of uh, just, you know, the indie sphere of games, and um, I, I only want to make this entertaining, and uh, I, I appreciate any and all games that are uh, posted online. They are all super cool. Ah, yeah. yeah! Yeah, 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 We are here, uh, and I hope that at least the feedback might be, you know, useful to the developers. If not, it's okay. Um, 
it's mostly for entertainment, yada yada yada. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get this out of the way because I feel like it's important to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, indie game love, indie game love. I really admire the people who go out of their way to make games for free. Yeah. Even though a couple of the games that I'll be playing today are not free, but that's because um, one of them I really wanted to play. In fact, I delayed the Spooky Games Marathon because I really wanted to play this game. And I think it's gonna be the last game that we're gonna play today. Yes, I'm gonna save it for last. I'm gonna save it for last. I, I hope it's not, I hope I, I'm not disappointed in it by the end. <laughs> All right, anyway, so besides this, Everybody, we also have a new addition. You might be noticing a lack of uh, uh, a scary, a scary meter, right? Because this is this is spooky game marathon, you know. Well, everybody, I present you the brand new, ta da, spooky meter. Yeah, look at that, look at that beauty, look at that thing. You see that? You see that thing? That thing can fit so many spooks in it. Okay, so this is new, everybody. This is new. Ah, uh, this is how we're gonna be rating the scary stuff. Uh, because so far, um, we've kind of been rating it from on a scale of one to ten, or one to five, or something like that. And not always does it apply, right? Therefore, I came up with this brand new system alongside the members, um, where basically we're gonna we're gonna measure how much the game scared me, right? And not only that, we're also going to write the feeling of the spooky game. So, right, if it's a, if it's a, disturbing, a disturbing game, we write disturbing. If it's uncanny valley type of thing, we write uncanny. If it's, you know, terrifying, just plain terrifying, we just write terrifying. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, qualifying the spooks with uh, a more subjective, you know, in a more subjective manner. Yeah. And you may be noticing down here, we've got this little thing that says game title. Well, that's how we are gonna be, you know, uh, identifying which game we are uh, presenting. So right now it's just game title, so yeah. Okay, I think that's all for the rundown of the new system. I hope you guys like it. Um, I worked super hard on it and I can't wait to finish the rest of the scenes. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. Um. Oh yeah, also, you guys might be confused about the Twitter post that I made. <laughs> about the, the blue, blue Buyo. Um, I, I don't know. I, I spotted her. I spotted her here. She was just hanging out. I don't know where she went. I don't know where she went. I, it felt kind of like a mirage or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. The presentation is so clean, Fuyo. I feel like it's, in part, sleep deprivation. <laughs> I feel like I can speech. Maybe that's how I got through school. <laughs> Was I that sleep deprived in school? She's in our walls. She's an SCP. Um, alright, anyway. Ah, let's go ahead and move on to the very first game, everybody. Now, let me see. We've got a total. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you the total of games. It's best if you don't know. <laughs> it's best if you don't know. Ah, let me see. Which one do I want to start with? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, eeny, meeny, miny, moo, moo, na, ma, na, ma, na, ma, na, ma. This! Okay. I feel like this one is a very good um, halfway point through what we've been playing and uh, the back rooms. Okay. Stop the music. Stop the music. And everybody, I'm going to write the title of the game here. Okay, I'm going to write the title of the game. And I need to open it up because I want to kind of give a quick rundown of the summary of the game from the itch.io page. Alright, so this is a free game. This is a free game. Um, and it might be a little bit on brand with the, a couple of games that we've actually played uh, in, in past, previous uh, Spooky Game Marathons. And uh, those games are actually the, the, the poop killer. <laughs> so uh, this game is kind of following the same pattern, but it's... Back rooms. And it is called... Da -da -da -da, toilet. Rooms. Toilet rooms. Yes. Da -da -ing. That is the name of the first game that we're going to be playing today. <laughs> okay. And um, there isn't much about it. It's got a small description on itch.io. It basically says you wake up in the dark checking your pocket uh, and you find a lighter. 
Uh, you are in a very strange place, and you see many corridors, uh, blah, 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 and uh, you guys will see. I don't think this one requires much of a description for me. I'll just say, this game was developed by somebody called Ken Forrest, and feel free to check them out. They have their page on itch.io. Mm. Why are you obsessed with poop for you? I'm not. I'm not. It's just... It's a, it's a battle of circumstance, okay? It's not... It's not like I seek it. It just happens. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Something like that. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and uh, get started with the uh, first... First game of today, everybody. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let me launch it. Let me launch it. Let me launch it and get it running. Uh, so you say it's faded in a bad way somehow. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, poop. In fact, I despise it. <laughs> All right. So let me, let me, uh, give you guys the sound. You should be able to listen to be hearing some, uh, dripping sounds like freaking ASMR dripping sounds. I hope you can. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's so atmospheric for a game about toilets. Um, alright. Now let me, uh, toilet rooms. Alright. And let the coins fall, baby. Okay, here we are. This is the very first game of the day. Toilet rooms. So without further ado, we can just go ahead. By the way, if you're wondering why I got a pillow, I please don't question it. I just it's cold. It's cold, and I, I I'm cold, and, I, and my belly hurt, uh, hurted, and so I I need to find the comfort somehow. And I I I don't want to hug the clovers because if I hug the clovers, then you're gonna feel my stomach grumbling. All right. So anyway. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started, all right? First game of today, everybody. I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope you can hear it fine. All right. Let's go ahead. Ah. Play! Pull. Oh. 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 Ooh. That's the lighter. The lighter that they talked about. Now, can I... Okay, I have a question. I have a question right from the start. Can you light on fire? Like, is it flammable? Is it... <laughs> is, is it flammable? Like, is, it, is poop flammable? Is it? It's dry, yes. Then could you technically set a friggin... Uh... <laughs> Could you technically set a toilet on fire? Because I feel like I've seen like a video of somebody setting a toilet, like exploding a toilet. Anyway, these aren't the important questions that keep me up at night. Alright. So I don't really know what to expect. Can I open this so I can? Hi. Anything in the toilet? Oh, you can flush the toilet! Best game! Why is this so loud? I hope this doesn't summon something. <laughs> oh no, I've summoned the toilet monster. Oh no, okay. What if I flush all of them? Make a symphony! Ah! I locked myself inside. This is a terrible design. Terrible design philosophy. Wait, what is over here? Why is there no toilet here? This makes no sense. Well, obviously it's a... Uh, it's liminal space, it's not supposed to make sense. <laughs> you can flush every toilet? Yeah, apparently. Okay, where did I go? Did I fall from this hole? Maybe I was the poop all along. Okay, wait. Wait, I'm confused. Hey? What's up here? Oh! Oh, okay, that was another door. Okay, that's confusing. A lone toilet in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Hello? I'm Fuyo Cloverfield. 
I am in search for an exit or something like that, I think. Can we run? I can't tell. I don't think we can run. So, I should probably say this. I am very directionally challenged. And I don't have a sense of direction. Should I just open all of them? Yeah, the last one was like in a hidden in the stall. Like the, the place to progress was somewhere in the stall, so I should probably be mindful of that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh god, last night caught up and I missed some of the stream. Hi, chat. I didn't stream yesterday. I got tummy hurt sick. Toilet? Toilet? Oh, wait, no, this is where we came from. I think I'm already getting lost! <laughs> I'm already getting lost! God! Okay. Toilet. Toilet. You come over here, boom, that's a toilet. You come over here, boom, that's a toilet. You come over here, boom, that's a toilet. Come over here, boom, that's a toilet. Come over here, boom, that's a toilet. Come over here. Boom, that's a toilet. By the way, I changed something in my eyebrows. Do you notice something different? <laughs> I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. Do you flush these? I never understood how these work. Like, are you supposed to sit in them or... No, no, I think you stand up, right? And then kind of do your business. I saw some, uh, like, female... Like, female bathrooms, like, girl bathrooms with urinals once, and it was really confusing. Mmm. No, you aim inside. Yeah. I see. You come over here, boom, that's the toilet. 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 One of these is gonna jump scare me at some point. Toilet! Toilet! Toilet? Toilet review? Alright. Everybody, welcome to our brand new show, the Toilet Review Show. Here we've got four extreme, extremely, uh, uh, uh extremely toilet participants. We've got, we've got the first one. Sounds clean, but looks not clean. Sounds not clean, but looks not clean. Sounds long and is not clean. Short. Short lived. I would say that they're all fine specimens. Ew. Okay. Uh. Come over here, boom, that's the toilet. Toilet, 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 a toilet, a toilet, 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 toilet. I like the fact that you can flush the toilets, it's a nice addition to the gameplay. Toilet? Toilet, 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 toilet. Wait, was that toilet different? No. <laughs> I'm seeing things. Toilet. Uh. Blood. Well, is that time of the month? Okay, jeez. Okay, what was that? No. 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 Poop stains. Uh, if your poop is a scholar, I recommend you check a doctor. Hi. I heard a funny noise. It was not very funny. Toilet? 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 I should probably not be facing back at the never-ending abyss. I feel like that's not very safe. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna hug the right wall. That's, that's what you usually do in a... In a maze. Um. God, there's so many stalls. There's so many. I'm overwhelmed at the amount. 
lots of doors I can open. sound was of someone who didn't eat enough fiber. <laughs> they, they also ate the... The forbidden... The forbidden bolognese that I ate. They're in pain. I should help. I want to help. Mister, I know what it feels like. Come here. I can't really help, but I can offer moral support. Hi? person a goose you good oh i haven't met people for a long time uh <laughs> um what kind of place is this wait no that's not what i picked i don't know exactly but this kind of oh okay no i picked right never mind um i don't know exactly but this kind of endless corridor is full of toilet cubicles Uh, who are you? I'm just like you, the person who's stuck here. But <laughs> Let's see. Um, how do you survive here? Well, I found a mattress. I sleep on it. There is water from the tap. Or in extreme cases, from the toilet. And the food is the insects that live here. I haven't spotted a single insect. <laughs> Squid Coyote! Hi! Thank you so much for the membership. Enjoy the member content. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we've been eating bugs. Alright. Cool. Uh, how long? I really want to ask about the goose. What's up with the goose, man? I found the goose in the pipe. <laughs> he hunts insects and brings them to me. Ayo, that's an overpowered goose. How do I get out of here? I have no idea, to be honest. I don't even try. I heard strange noises not far from here, and I'm afraid to go far from my shelter. Don't worry, the noises are just gonna come to you. But my goose found some key. Maybe you find some use for it. Oh wow, thank you. Where did you take that key from? Thank you, I appreciate it. Alright. Alright. Okay. I appreciate how he looks at me. But like, he doesn't do like the exor exorcist thing. <laughs> Raz, what the heck? What, 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 sneeze, what, what, uh, 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 Ram, what the heck? <laughs> thank you so much for gifting. Gifting the, 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 Thank you, thank you for gifting. Memberships, thank you. You guys enjoyed the memberships. I hope you enjoyed the membership content. Can we talk to, can we talk to the goose? Honk! 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 <laughs> <laughs> kind of rude, not gonna lie. Alright, not far from here, he heard a funny noise. My guy, do you mind if I open all of the stalls in here? Are you not hiding a dead body? I would not be surprised if you were. Like here, for example! The door is locked! There's obviously a dead body here. Okay. Oh, uh, nothing of interest. Okay. Um. <coughs> hmm. What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. There was another one. Ah, Spiky! Spiky, thank you so much for gifting. The gifting. The, the, the membership. Thank you. Okay. It can't be far from here, so in one of these stalls, there's gotta be like a... Inside this door! No, inside this door! No, inside this door! Okay, no. I... I'm lost. <laughs> I'm basically orienting myself by the toilet doors that I have not opened yet. Okay, hello? Is there somebody here besides the crazy dude with the goose? No? Hello? Hello? This place looks like my school's bathroom. 
Hey, yo, your school's bathroom was huge. Oh, door. Okay. All right, nothing else here. Door. Yeah. Be careful, Fuyo. The lighter is awfully close to your hair. Mmm, crispy Fuyo hair. Hell. Anybody there? Hello? Oh, it's a tiny duck! Or goose. Or. Oh, God, Jesus! <laughs> Nobody, I don't need no no toilet help. Uh huh. I don't take no orders from a toilet. Okay, I'll open an exception. Just this once. <laughs> Time to take your meds, Fuyo. I'm starting to think I really do need them. The little things in life. Okay. So I need to unclog him. Or her. Or it. It's a toilet. It doesn't matter. Um. Hello. Is there a pipe for me to unclog that toilet friend? Do you think... Do I, I actually kind of need to go. And I don't feel like... I don't feel close enough to these toilets to do my business in them. I want the... <laughs> What is that? 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 Wait. You've been swallowed by the toilet head. Say that again? Wait, what? What do you mean? A toilet head? Oh, okay, we don't we don't start over. Okay, good. <laughs> what intonation was that? I, I don't know. I'm lost this and I'm confused. Okay. Do I need to talk to you again? No. How do I unclog you? Wait. Pyramid head was yesterday. This is the new bad guy. Listen, this guy's got nothing on pyramid head. Pyramid head's got muscles and. Am I gonna go about how? Pyramid Head was one of my crushes. Still is. <laughs> one of my biggest fictional crushes. And... Uh, yeah. I... Don't ask. Okay, what do I need to do? What do I need to do here? I need something to unclog the pipe. Which version? Um, the original one from the Sound Hill, Sound Hill 2. Wait, it's Silent Hill 2, right? Yeah, it's Silent Hill 2, I'm pretty sure. Uh, better than the alien, but goddamn. <laughs> the pyramid is... <laughs> uh, to be fair, he is a ripped shirtless man. Yeah, he's a ripped shirtless man uh, with a pyramid head. Fuyo, sit down. We need to have a word with you. I don't want that. I don't need therapy. Okay, maybe there's like a... Maybe if I run towards it. Okay, okay, no, that does not work. No, no, no. What if I go to my toilet friend? Toilet friend! Hi! Please scare the big baddie away! Help! Uh. <laughs> I've watched VTubers for years, nothing surprises me anymore. I don't think it's a VTuber thing, Ragnar. I'm pretty sure it's not a VTuber thing. Besides, I've had my own crushes. I'm not gonna cast stones. <laughs> well... Care to share with the class, Ragnar? Care to share with the class? Can be, can be weirder than, you know... Bill Cipher. Okay. I definitely gotta go through here, right? Right? 
Like, I, I need- I need something to unclog. Did I miss something? Did I- did I miss something? I am not sure. Maybe it's like, either on the right or on the left. Do I have to bajuke him? I probably have to bajuke him. Okay, then I come over here. I do my pro gamer moves to bajuke him. And then we win. Okay, gotcha. Come at me, toilet man! Come at me, toilet man! Come on! Let's do the tangle! Oh god! I can't do the tangle. I can't do the tongue. Oh, wait, hold on. How am I gonna... How am I gonna go about this? Uh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's so fast. Okay, brother... Why is... Why does... Why does he sound like that? Ah! Solid man! Toilet man. Flush whatever, toilet man, flush. Flush my dreams and aspirations. Does whatever, toilet man do does. He does things, he runs away. He comes to me with diarrhea. He looks silly, but he's kind of loud. Oh, scary toilet man. Stop. Catching me and singling me out. I'm trying to see if there's like a, an unclogging thing. Is this what I have to do? Uh oh. <laughs> Can you turn off the lighter? No. No, I cannot turn off the lighter. He's unchukable! Okay, maybe maybe there's like a, a thing that I can grab. Okay, no, there isn't. No, I have to be able to bajuke him. It's just a skill issue. Ah! Oh my god. Can you hide in a stall? All of them are open! Is there no stall I can hide in? I don't think there is. All of them have had their doors ripped open. I can't. I'm not allowed to. My brother in Christ! Toilet, toilet, toilet friend! What do I do? That is not very helpful. Um... There's a pipe over there. Uh... If we flush the toilet, maybe he gets distracted. That doesn't sound... Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll try. I guess I'll try. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I have to bajuke him. But like, the, the hitbox is massive. Okay, so we go over here. We go over here. No. We'll go over here. I'll go over. Okay, this is kind of hard because it's not—it's not a very big area. Okay. 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 This time is the charm. This time is the charm. Okay. Whoa! Okay, we did it! We did it! We bajuked him! We bajuked him! We bajuked him! We bajuked the toilet man! Yes! Where? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. What? What? Okay, then there must be something smart that I have to pull. There must be something smart that I have to pull. Maybe I have to check every single one. I'm not sure. 
Get up, game. Get pooped on. I don't want to get pooped on. Oh! Oh, there's a secret way! There was a way! There was a way, there was a way, there was a way! I'm blind! I'm blind! Okay, we're running! We're running! Uh, this way! This way, this way! Uh, buh, 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 buh. This way! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, he's right behind me, isn't he? He's right behind me, isn't he? He's right behind me! He's right behind me, isn't he? Ah, Tolman! Tolman? 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 Alright, it's fine. Maybe there's like a way that we gotta go. Okay. Turn left! Turn right! Okay, keep going this way! Turn left! Keep going! Turn left! Turn left! Turn left! Turn right! No! No! Turn around! Oh, look, look. Ah! Oh, toilet man! Oh, toilet man! Why do you have a toilet for a head? Toilet man! Oh, toilet man! Your life must be miserable, toilet man! What can I do to make it better? Oh, toilet man friend. I don't know where I'm going, oh, toilet man friend. I get lost, toilet man friend. Show me the way. I just w don't want you to flush me away. <laughs> toilet man. I'm not giving up because I'm invested in this toilet game and it's not as a joke. Okay, I must have to open like some some stall and I'm just not seeing it. Um Okay, maybe this way. Ah. Uh Plan. We need a plan. We need a plan. No, not next game. We gotta we gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. I am I am determined to get through this. If it's not the last thing I do. If my name ain't Fuyo, uh Fuyo C Cloverfield. Damn right. My second name also starts with a C. I'm Fuyo C. Clover. Ah! Pullman, Pullman, Pullman. Um. Toilet, 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 toilet. Toilet. I'm just going in circles right now. Okay, it's not over here. Oh god. <laughs> ah! Ah! The 
worry. We'll eventually stumble upon the exit. Cue the... Cue the training arc. <laughs> Can we have like a, a compilation of deaths or something? In your brain, obviously. Mm. <laughs> toilet dude! He's just a little toilet guy. And he does... Toilet guy things, born to poop, forced to wipe. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to wipe if you don't wanna. Burn to poop. Oh, wait! Twice. I found a new way! I found a new- ah! I was going the right way. I was going the right way. I was go- I was going the right way. I have no idea how I stumbled upon that way. <laughs> how did I stumble there? I- I-, I I'm lo- I'm confused. Uh Uh oh, Okay, there we go. Okay, turn right. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't want to die. 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 Hi, guy. Oh, hi. Okay. 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 We're free from the toilet men. Yes. Yes. Suck it, toilet men. Suck it. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's coming after me. 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 Toilet men. 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 At least I got the thingy! Ah, it's closing in the closer! It's closing in closer! It's closing in closer! Oh! Okay! Okay! Okay, did we do it? Did we, did we lose him? My finger... My finger hurts from pressing the shift key and I don't think run even works. We're coming out of a toilet. I I was I was the poo poo all along. Wait, I recognize this place. <gasps> Toilet friend, hi! I brought you the thing. I help. Yeah. I help. You, very much you still sound kind of choked. Yeah. Oh yes, please do. Your friend? Ah? Huh? Oh god! Ah, jeez. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought it was the toilet man. <laughs> okay. We're we gonna. Oh god, Jesus! <laughs> we. Where am I? Oh! Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. I am in water. And stuff. Take a shower or ten after that. <laughs> I, I'm not showering until it's time for my donathon. <laughs> okay. We've got a big massive area. This is just screaming boss battle. Oh, pipe. Can I climb up? Up the pipe we go. Never mind. We can't climb up the pipe into nothingness. So let me get this straight. A pipe swallow this hole. Can 
not get the goose? Yeah! Yes, I do! Oh no! Yeah? Are we getting the bathwater for your donuts on? <laughs> I'll bring it up to management. <laughs> it was all a dream. Oh no, I have I have to forcibly take a shower. It looks like the shower has come to take it. No! <laughs> no! Not the shower! <laughs> ah! Thank you for the two months, stars. <laughs> Not the shower! Okay, make it quick. Ah! Wait, I think I might have misunderstood. Oh god, the water is getting deeper! Ah! I can see. Am I supposed to? Oh! Oh. Oh god, she's. <laughs> Toilet rooms. Alright, I think that was a pretty solid way to start the marathon. That was surely a... something. <laughs> that was... that was something, alright. Let the coins fall, baby! Okay. Mmm. Let's see, everybody. We just played Toilet Rooms by Ken Forest. That was that was a ride for sure. I don't have another way to. Oh God, I don't have another different way to describe it other than it exists. We played it, and I am a changed leprechaun. I am, in fact, a changed leprechaun. Okay, so let's read it. Yes, let's read it. Let's read it. With our totally infallible rating system. Yeah! It was a nice short game. Yeah, I felt more polished than a lot of stuff that's on the show. Hey, Fuyo, did you announce the date of your donathon yet? Here's to another fun month. Thank you, Muna. Thank you. And no, I have not announced it yet. I have not announced it yet. It's planned and there's a date set already, but I haven't announced it yet. I'm waiting for the clear from management. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, But I I've actually been... Uh, Preparing tons of stuff and uh, I, I hope you guys will enjoy it. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be super fun <laughs> I rated Fuyo showered out of 10. Well, technically I took a bath But I mean Logistics anyway, okay Time to rate the game. Okay, let's go Ah, uh, Game review. It's game review time All right, so Let's start with our very first uh, evaluation. Atmosphere, atmosphere. <laughs> now I thought I thought this the, this game had really good atmosphere. I don't know, games that just have like the dripping sounds and stuff, ambient noises. I feel like I feel like they work. By the way, it's from it's from one to one to five. It's not one to ten. It's one to five. One to five. One to five. One to five. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? Easily a nine. Um, uh, but that to five, one to five, a four out of five, a four, four out of five. Yeah, I wouldn't say that it was like you know, too you know, it didn't go too hard on on the thing. But I thought it was very immersive. Like you could you could even like you know flush the toilets and stuff. Four soaps out of five. <laughs> I think it had good atmosphere. Yeah, it had good oppressive atmosphere. Which made for some of the scares to be quite effective. But it might just be me who's feeling jumpy. Alright, so I feel like the general consensus is trying... <laughs> 7.70... No, 3.75? Tata. Tata, wait. <laughs> That's a very specific number. <laughs> that is a very specific number. Ah, uh, 3.5, no atmospheric soundtrack. Mmm, fair point. Fair point. Ah. Uh, Most replay games won't even let you flush the toilet. The setting is scary and so is the BGM. Four, four out of five. That was that, I thought, okay. 
I can't tell if this game was serious or, or not. I think it was kind of a midway term. And I think the atmosphere was used really well. So I'm gonna give it either a 3 or a 4. It seems to be general consensus that it would be either a 3 or a 4. So I'm gonna give it a 3 point five out of five yeah you get a 3.5 out of five in the atmosphere section wow <laughs> yeah it was really good mm. four out of five not enough toilets what what is it that could have brought the um, the atmosphere higher for you guys is it just like um background music or or what would it have been Something more than just uh, background noises, perhaps? Hmm... Because I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's a solid four. If we could actually sit and take a poop. Okay, fair point. <laughs> fair point, fair point, fair point. More ambient noise? A bit more light. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say, I'd say that it gets a little bit... Like, the environment... Um... It, the only reason why it doesn't get repetitive is because the game is so short But being lost in a, in a place with so many toilets We would appreciate a little bit more variety Like for example some places with lights, some places without lights Um, yeah, probably more variety with the corridors would make it a 5 Yes, yes, I agree, I agree, I agree And like, with that they could have other, you know, background sounds and stuff But I think that's mostly a, nit a nitpick For what it is, I think I think for what it is for a Nichio game, it was definitely like a, a solid 4 or 5 But just nitpicking, it would be a 3.5 The reason why I'm being so harsh with it is because it was actually good Okay He needs a map Some of the toilets needed to be full Yeah, 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 yeah It was very repetitive It was very repetitive with the visuals Which, I mean, it kind of works in a liminal space-based game But, yeah, I feel like it could have used some some... Uh, differences and stuff. Yeah. Although there was already some variety with different areas, right? So you had like this area that had no toilets and it was just like a corridor. You had this area with huge pipes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'd say it's a solid 3.5 3. out of 5. Alright. Next! Next! To doink! Originality! <laughs> Originality! Okay, so... The only reason why I'm not giving it a 5 Is because we've played It's because we've played the toilet killer The poop killer <laughs> And I, 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 I don't know I, I feel like, I feel like toilets are become I, <laughs> Back in my day, back in my day There was barely any games based around toilets Nowadays, every single horror game has to contain toilets <laughs> Um Besides the whole, um, you will wake up and uh, you uh, won't remember anything, it's gonna feel like a dream. Uh, I know it was sort of a short game, probably was for a game jam or something, and that was a, a, a quick way to tie the loose ends, but it just feels like when, whenever games do that, it just feels a little bit lackluster to me. <laughs> Goose out of five, <laughs> Toilet Man made me cry. Five <laughs> out of five. All right, on the originality spectrum. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a four. Four out of five. Yeah. Four out of god damn it. A four out of five. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um I think the the way to make it more original would have been to like actually go crazy and explain something of the plot. But I think, I think it remained a little bit very vague, which I mean, it works for... <clears throat> it works for these types of games. But I feel like, I feel like it could have expanded a bit more. <laughs> Three rubber duckies out of five. <laughs> I think, I think it's four rubber duckies out of five. All right, next one. Next one. Replayability. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it... I'm gonna have to give it, uh... I'm not sure. I don't think this game has multiple endings. <laughs> I don't think this game has multiple endings, right? So uh, replayability, I just say I just say the replayability is like none. It's it's null. Doesn't have multiple endings, therefore it's null. No replayability. 
But uh, it still makes for a fun short game to play uh, whenever, you know, you, you feel like it. Some replayability. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna check out, you know, Toilet Men again, I guess that would be a little bit replayable. <laughs> it only has one ending, I think. Two out of five. Yeah, I don't think how it could have had another ending. Um, if I see like on the game page that it has other endings, definitely I'll, I'll, I'll you know put it on replayability. Um, but all right, this game has no replayability. There is none, and that's okay. Some games are just experiences to be experienced once. Next! Aesthetics! Alright, you guys already know my stance on this. I really like the... Um, the pixel pixelized style of these types of games. I really feel like there's a few hidden stuff. My gamer senses are tingling, but if not too... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's speedrunnable. <laughs> one day I might wake up and be like, Oh man, I really feel like playing that one poop game. Hell yeah! <laughs> fair point, fair point. Mmm... Yeah, I really like the low poly aesthetics. I think this one is very subjective and it comes out, out it comes down to like personal taste. Guys, you're giving it a three. You had a rubber duck and a goose, and the goose talked back, and the goose looked funny. And remember that guy who was like in the mattress? He 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 did not have an exorcist neck. <laughs> For because I like the execution. Yeah, I noticed some like. Parts that were a little bit rough around the edges Like there was a little bit of a texture that was a little bit clipping But that's just, you know That's an easy fix for the most part Um I really like the pixel aesthetics I'm gonna give it a solid 4.5 out of 5 Yeah 4.5 out of 5 The way I think this could have been improved is to have more variety Yes Give it more variety because it already looks good and it would have only added on to it if we give it more uh, a little bit more variety different kinds of stuff in the toilets um, Too dark. Yeah, maybe some light variants not having everything be completely dark Maybe have some areas have like a hanging uh, light and others without light at all. Um, yeah <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I thought it was really nice But I'm biased I'm biased. All right, next one. Sound design, sound design. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Unpopular opinion, maybe. The toilet man had a scary ass noise, okay? It was terrifying. <laughs> it was scary, it was scary and like super loud. Yeah, super loud toilet man. I don't know, I feel like it might have been because I had the, the audio too loud for you guys, but uh, I, I felt like it was actually scary. I felt like, I felt like, I felt, I felt tense, you know? I feel like that in that moment where we were running through the pipe and the toilet man was following us, I felt genuinely tense and the sound only added on to it. I think the sound design in this game is super strong. Um, and uh, paired paired with the with the aesthetics, it's a very strong combo. You guys are giving it a four. No music though. I mean, okay. Uh, a game doesn't need to have music. I I would say I would say a game doesn't need to have music to be a good game. Uh, in fact, in some instances, it ends up being more immersive if it doesn't have any music because it's kind of like, where is that music coming from? You know. Um, <laughs> three three out of five. Uh, Toad Man sounded more like a dinosaur. <laughs> now, is it the noise or the lack of light? I think it was the noise. It was the noise because I could still see him from far away. 3.5. Mixing sounded good from my speakers, but there wasn't much variety in the toilet head voice acting, but the Hobo Man didn't for some reason. Oh, that was a that's a great point. That's a great point. And it comes down to polish on these games, I feel. What's terrifying? I'll never use the toilet again. <laughs> Frog. Frog, listen to me. Yuko, my teammate Yuko. Before we debuted, she she got a little tipsy, right? On voice call. And she turned to me and she was like, Fuyo, Fuyo, Fuyo. <laughs> did you know did you know that frogs in lily pads? <laughs> Wait, did you know that frogs in lily pads? Not I <laughs> Listen, frog. The world is your bathroom. Go on all the lily pads. You got this. <laughs> you don't need no toilet. Mm. Anyway.
Anyway, yeah. I'd say I'd say the sound design was a solid four out of five. Four a solid four out of five. Cause you guys also gotta like pay attention to the fact that um every toilet, not every toilet, but like uh there was a variety to the toilet flushing noises also. <laughs> I noticed that. I noticed the tiny things. Um and also this felt with the footsteps felt very fitting. Um it felt empty and it felt just uh, overall very uh, nice and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. <laughs> Alright, next one, next one. Game feel. Alright, this is uh, a mix okay, I did not explain what this is. It's basically gameplay, but it's more broad because some games don't really expand on the gameplay, especially stuff like this one. Um so it's not so much about the mechanics because there's no you know, mechanics in this game that stand out too much. But there is like how good it feels to play the game. You know? Like sometimes the running doesn't feel that good. Sometimes it just feels wobbly and weird. I would say I would say that this game nailed the movement just fine. Uh two two out of five. Five out of five jump scared every time. The game did jump scare me. The game did jump, jump scare me. But I feel like it wasn't cheap jump scares, you know? There's some jump scares where I'm just like, Oh, god damn it. I did not just fall for that. That was awful. But I feel like these were well well earned. And it was mostly a mix of me being both jumpy and the game having good atmosphere. Um, mm, 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 mm. Amazing that you managed to jerk the toilet head despite not being intended as a solution. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gamer. I told you guys I was a gamer. I, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it, uh, maybe a 3 or 4 out of 5. Um, the movement, the movement was good, but I feel like there wasn't much difference between the running speed and the walking speed. In fact, I couldn't tell if there was a running speed or not. I kept pressing shift. I don't, I can't tell if I was running or not. <laughs> um... Three because one, it's simple, two, it works, three, no poopy button. Yeah, but you could flush the toilets. You could flush the toilets. I don't think there was. You sure? I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it like a solid 3.5. 3.5 3 out of 5. Because, okay, another thing, and this might be also a nitpick. If the game developer is watching, uh whenever you interact with things, like whenever you're doing like the the push with the um, uh, with the unclogger thing, uh, have it be faster, right? Because uh, there's a little bit of a time, for, like th a little bit of a waiting time before you can do the next action, and uh, that might be a little nitpick in my brain. <laughs> but uh, when things are a bit slow like that, it just kind of feels weird to me. Same for the rubber ducky. You can also not just go like, wait, 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 wait. I need to be able to do that. Okay, I need to be able to do that. You don't understand. Game developer, you don't understand. I need to be able to spam the rubber ducky noise, okay? <laughs> I want to spam rubber ducky noise. But all right, I'm gonna give it, gonna give it a solid 3.5. Next one. Doink. Plot. I don't even know if we should include it. I'd say, I'd say the plot was very lackluster. I feel like I don't even know if they were trying. Right? Because at the end it was all Oh, you will forget this and it will feel like a dream, right? Mm. So I think, I thought I, the plot was a little bit lackluster Um, I mean there's no plot It feels like there is supposed to be some sort of like Plot, but it's, yeah, it's a joke game, it's a joke game It's, there's, there's no, there's no need to like try and rate it seriously So I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna rate it a toilet. Does that look like a toilet? <laughs> Does that look like a toilet to you? I'm gonna rate it a toilet out of toilet. <laughs> yeah! It looks like a thumbs up. Is your thumb okay? But all right, I thought the plot was very lackluster, but it might have been just me. Okay, next one we've got Fuyo overall 
enjoyment. All right. Um, guys, I'm gonna stop giving it one to ten. I'm gonna just be honest and just give it like one to five, just so we can keep like the, uh, just so it's consistent. Cause I don't think it makes sense for me to rate it from one to ten when everything else is one to five. Cause in the past few marathons, I've been rating things from one to one to ten. Okay, my overall enjoyment. So I was lost, I was dazed, and I was confused. I couldn't find my way, and I think. Uh, it was mostly because it was really dark and also because I'm a little bit stupid dum-dum <laughs> um, I thought I thought it was a really cool game for what it is. I thought it was really cool I felt like the ending was a little bit lackluster It, it made for a great joke game as well because I thought some parts were super funny It got me a couple of times that is also adding on to the Fuyo enjoyment um, and uh, I I really 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 liked the goose <laughs> I like the goose I like the goose um, I think my favorite part in the game Was when we were running away from Toilet Man in the freaking pipe um, I thought I was safe But then, then he started crawling behind us And that was really tense I thought that was, that was like the best part of the game for me Yeah <laughs> Because after after that chase scene, we were struggling so badly. We finally found a way out, and suddenly we were afraid of losing all of that. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm gonna give this game a solid, a solid four out of five. Four out of five. I enjoyed it. Great game. Great game. Also, there's a bug in my wall. I'm gonna kill it. My mom, I told my mom about these little bugs that are that have been showing up on our walls. And they're just kind of a pill bug of sorts. She says that she's been seeing them all around the house, so it's not just in my bedroom, okay? It's not my bedroom that's filthy. Okay? It's not. Eat it like the hobo. I'm not gonna eat the bug. Ew. Please not bed bugs. It's not a bed bug. It's not a bed bug. It's like it's like a little a little Little guy. It's like a little guy. <laughs> uh, I like the meeting me with the hobo man because that part was like a sudden break from the exploring the toilet styles loop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Overall, even though it was a little bit repetitive, I think this game made an effort to not be too repetitive, which I can appreciate. All right, and lastly, you guys, chat enjoyment. Tell me, my dear Lucky Charms, what did you think? What did you think? What did you think of the game? How would you rate it overall? Um... <laughs> Bugs really like the musk all over her room. It's all over the house! It's not just in my room! A 4 out of 5? 4 out of 5? 4 out of 5? A 3 out of 5? 4 out of 5? Oh, we got one 5 out of 5. God damn. Fuyo showered out of 5? Wait, did I see it right? Was there a 5 out of 5? I'm blind. No. No, there is a 5. There is a 5. Okay, so I feel like general consensus is either a 4 or a 3.5 Or a 3 Yeah Okay, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it for you guys I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it maybe a 3, 3.7 3.7 out of 5 <laughs> You can see my mouse dying Alright I'd say, I'd say the overall enjoyment for you guys was a 3.7 out of 5. That's very specific. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and now, everybody, let's fill out the... The... Ugh. Ugh. The... Spookometer! Yeah! Alright. So. Let me grab, let me grab my Spookometer. Alright, everybody. How scary was this game? It was definitely above not scary. All right, it got me, it got me. It was tense. It got me with a couple of jump scares. Um, hmm. But, but for you, what do you do with your gamer mouse funds? I haven't ordered it yet. I gotta order it. <laughs> I just appreciate everybody for the mouse funds. I, I gotta order it. Ah. <laughs> when did you upgrade from the box? Recently, yes, this is this is our new setup. I showed it off at the beginning of the stream. Uh it got me a couple times. Toiletman was scary. Um 
And the atmosphere was good, which also adds a little bit onto it. Uh, yeah, it was tense with some good spooks too. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like it doesn't go like into the uh, area where I was just like struggling to move. Because like there's games that make me so scared. Like for example, underwater games. And with those games, I struggle to like even get out of the same place because I'm so tense. So I think I think it, this game fits a little bit uh, around the the yellow line. <laughs> I would I would rate this game I would rate this game a solid. <laughs> I would rate this game a solid. Uh, <laughs> a solid. Uh, my pants. Remain. Remain. Clean. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the spooko the spooko meter. Yes. <laughs> yes. My pants remain clean. That is the that is the rating for the spooko meter on uh toilet toilet rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty everybody, let's move on to the next game. Okay, let's clean that up. Clean that up. Clean that up. Okay. And let's move on to the next game. Alright. Next game, everybody. Let me get rid of toilet rooms. Okay, let me close it. Okay. Next game we're gonna play, let me just delete toilet rooms just so it's not uh, taking up space and so I don't accidentally launch it again. Okay, okay. This next game, this next game, um, I wanna do something slightly different. Um, I wanna do something that is not like dark. You know, like completely dark. Cause a lot of these games are just like plain, plain darkness and just, you know, scary. <laughs> Scary dark. So how about we go check out a game? Uh, a liminal space based game um, With less dark with the less darker atmosphere. Okay, so this next game is called Next game is called Self wait frick self Checkout Unlimited Okay by the way, if we figure out that some of these games turn out to be like, because the the limited limited is make an unlimited is making me think that it's like an infinite game, so let me let me read to you guys the game's description. Okay, so self checkout unlimited. This game is actually a paid game. It's actually a paid game. It costs um, eight dollars, and it's on itch.io. It was developed by. Uh, Developed by Argent Games. Um, and it has a way lighter atmosphere than the previous one that we played. Um, basically, it takes place in a shopping mall. Okay, it takes place in a shopping mall. So that's that's uh, and it, it kind of gives me vibes of like a uh, vaporwave vibes. It just looks really neat and cute and cool. So I, I wanted to go check it out. I'm not sure if it's a horror game or not. But the point today is to play mostly like liminal space based games. So yeah. Mm. Ah. Let's go ahead and launch the game. Okay. Wait, is it that game? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Do you know it? <clears throat> okay. I'm launching the game. I'm launching the game. Stop the music. Oh, I love game setting malls. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Also, Raz, <laughs> I almost I almost missed your super. Thank you so much for the super. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Mouse funds, <laughs> guys. If you keep if you keep sending me over mouse funds, at some point I'm just I'm 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 just I'm just gonna get like the the most uh <laughs> the most expensive mouse in the market. Um, alright, so game. Oh, it's got some nice vaporwave music. That's nice. 
the most gamer mouse of all time. <laughs> yes. All right. Now let me let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do a dot and let me screen share the game. Okay. There we go. All right, everybody. Let the coins fall, baby. Okay. Oh, so this is self checkout unlimited. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what it is about. It seems to be about like a uh, a mall or something. So yeah. Let's, without further ado, I think we should just go check it out. I hope the volume is okay. I hope it's not too loud. I might degrees it a little bit on my ears. Yeah, degrees it just a teeny tiny bit on my ears. Yeah, it's completely different aesthetic wise. <laughs> We play we play the, the 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 most most random games that I can find. All right. By the way, I also just want to take this chance to um say thank you to everybody who's been sending me game suggestions, especially on my marshmallow. You guys are the true life saviors. All right. I haven't taken any suggestions for this particular uh, spooky games marathon, but I'll definitely be playing some of you guys' suggestions. You guys have some really great game suggestions. Holy heck! All right. So without further ado, let's see what this game is all about. Okay, let's go, new game. Looks really cozy. I really like the vaporwave aesthetics. I literally lost my mind when Arido basically pulled out the freaking vaporwave. Oh. Okay, that's already a really good start. <laughs> Did you also look at the wholesome Yuri suggestions? I saw it. I saw it. I'm saving it for when I have more time to read the doujins. You guys sent me a bunch of doujins as well. Thank you. Melt down, melt down your Fuyo coins and make a golden mouse. Fair point. That sounds like a good idea. All right. I'm already liking this. Looks fancy. Oh, what is this? A phone cord. What is it doing here? All right. Okay, I'm gonna increase the volume. I might regret this. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Okay, running, running. There's running. Yes, we can run. All righty. We are in a closed mall. Mm. Yeah, my ass. Spent five minutes trying to get any suggestions for Fuyo. Thank you. I got them all. I got them all. Some of them I've, I've already watched. Um, wait a second, click it. Funds for 20... <laughs> gold mouse? That was lovely potato! I don't want to... <laughs> Actually, no. A golden mouse sounds cool. Oh, wait. Keep sitting. Get off bench. Get off bench. It's a nice detail that you can sit down. It makes you more immersed. Cool. Oh, that's really dark. Why are we so short? <laughs> am I crouching? Why am I so short? What the heck? If any of you guys say that it's accurate, I'm, I'm... I'm bending you in my brain. I'm not bending you from chat, I'm bending you from my brain. Yeah, of course. There, there go. Actual high. Oh, there, there go. Oh, so original. So original. Oh my god. <laughs> so accurate. Okay. Birthday. Oh. Is it my birthday? Oh god, it's really dark. I'm noticing that it's really dark. Oh, a teddy, teddy bear. I'm a teddy bear. I am a teddy bear. Oh, I see a poster. Rewire yourself. In the universe full of opportunity, why not? Explore a variety of stores and widen your world here at Wilson. Uh, should you encounter any issues during your time in our facility, please call the mall management office. Wilson Center Mall. Oh, I didn't need to, I didn't need to squint. <laughs> All right, neat. Cool. It's very big bears. I'm so tiny. I don't like how this game is just calling me out. Oh, what is that? Animal cage? A strange box. It seems to be locked by a word. Oh, is it a password? Is it a password? Can I get the password? Huh. Are you playing as Fuyo? Apparently. Oh god, Jesus. I did not see that bunny. 
Was this bunny always here? You have a feeling it's watching you. Big teeth. I'm not sure I like that. It's so dark. <laughs> you can pretend you're Yuko. Hello everybody, I'm having five shots of Red Bull. How are you all doing? I just went to the bathroom and I need to go again. <laughs> I'm gonna bust you. Lucky Charms, give me... Kiss me back. Kiss me back, Lucky Charms. I love you, girl. Ah. Let me see. Has this ever been used? Ew! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you <laughs> Oh, what is this? Design a doll! Create your mini- your own mini-me- Oh, I wanna do that! Can I do that? That looks really fun. Is that the Yurko experience? Don't know yet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, okay. There might not be... Oh, it's a Rubik's Cube. God, I wish there was a flashlight. I wish for a flashlight! Ah, I'm a leprechaun. I can't wish for anything. Oh, wait. There's something, something over there. I can't see because it's so dark. Oh, touch the flower pot? No. It's so incredibly dark. I don't think I can go past here. I have to do something on birth. Oh, is it birthday? Is the password birthday? Is the password is the password birthday? How do I how do I put in the word? How do I put in the word? How do I? How do I put in a word? Can't jump scare you if you can see anything? <laughs> um, is it birthday? I'm pretty sure. Birth. No, it's not birthday. Huh. I'm definitely missing something. I'm missing critical information. Uh, I must have overlooked a teeny tiny detail in my environment. I'm not blaming myself. This is really dark. <laughs> Maybe I need to find it first. Yeah. I'm trying to find a word. Trying to find a word. Trying to find. Wait, I thought I saw. No. Tutorials! Torch friend! <laughs> I wonder if they made like these assets straight for the. like, especially for the game. I would buy that. Bats, nice. We know where to go if we need to defend ourselves. I'm a little bit hungry. I might get I might get some linear at some point. Oh wait, there's a phone. Did I not use the phone? Phone! It's missing a cord. Oh! 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 There was a cord by the bench. Yes! Are you sure it's safe to go out there? Why wouldn't it be? Okay, there's there's a cord in the bench. I remember. Okay, now I'm starting to have second guesses. Okay, get it. You pick up the phone cord. Nice. Oh, God, Jesus! <laughs> okay, they're lighting things up. From far away, apparently, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this in the phone cord. Ah, hi. <laughs> hi, bunny. Hi, Lopi. <laughs> okay, put that in here. Wait, what? Why are you panning somewhere else? That poster wasn't here before. Poster? Are we just... Are we just... Did we just sniff the poster? I didn't see a poster, I'll be honest with you guys. It's the new Minecraft by Oh my god, oh my god, you're right! Wait, what is this? Defend? Advance? What is this, an RPG? 
Well, the best defense is a good offense, so we're gonna advance. Because I'm advanced just like that. I guess. Nourish challenge? Uh. Nourish challenge. Uh. Uh. I'd say nourish. I don't know in what concept, but I like. Nourishing is nice. Wilderness? Oh, what is this? Wilderness are protected. Mm. Hmm. I like a balance of the two. But I, I'd say... I, I protect it. That's why I'm using a pillow right now. I wonder if this is changing the game in, a, in any way, shape, or form. If it is, it has high replay value. Unknown, known. Oh no, that's definitely unknown. I like a known. Why go for the known? Are you ready? I'm not okay. Skill issue. Huh. Build. Just, just build. I am not okay. My tummy hurt. I hunger. Hmm. Mm. Can you walk in the middle? Oh god, I didn't check. Game? Oh. Right. It's completely black poster. <laughs> All right. Put the phone cord. Mushy mushy. A chinchin wa buta desu. Desu. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Hi. Oh, what the heck? What? 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 Is something approaching? What? What? Ah! Okay, hi. I'm here. <laughs> he just farted? I missed the mouse talk before, but I hope you found your mouse. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Nivayu. I think I'm pretty sure on the mouse that I'm gonna get. Oh, it's bright now! Thank you for choosing Wilson Center Mall. We're always delighted to have you with us. Please help me. Please help me! Did you know our first holiday sale is happening this weekend? Don't forget to stop by the wide selection of stores and attractions we have for you. We also invite you to visit our newly renovated food court, located on the ground floor. I I, I don't I, I just want your help. Favorite comfort food <laughs> and make yourself at home here ah! at Wilson. Have we told chat or really surprised us with the mouse or on the Henkin stream? Oh yeah, I can do that. Mall, please contact our management office. Mm. We will always be happy to assist you. Please assist Hope me, ma'am. Wonderful shopping experience. Thank you. Okay, then you're welcome. So we're definitely going to the food court. I'm starving. All right, doesn't suddenly doesn't feel so scary anymore. Oh my god, there's guns and tortoises and teddy bears and a big, 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 big thing. I'm feeling it's watch. Why is it so ugly? Why you look like that? Okay, I don't know. He's just a little gun. It's not his fault. Oh, <laughs> Marvin. Uh, birthday? Okay, so, okay, oh, now we can, now we can put in the code. Mmm. No, I missed most of it. We just started this game. Okay. MCR, MCR. O Z E. W B T. O H I. R T E. S R E R 
free. Uh, <laughs> myth. I might just be able to get it at random, but I, I'd rather try to find the word first. Mm, what was the name of the mall? Oh yeah. Wilson. Wilson, maybe it's Wilson. Oh no, it can't be Wilson. It has to start with M, C or R. M, C or R. M, C or R. Huh. Rewire? Huh. Rewire. Ah. Re. Wa. Oh! Yes! The box opened. You found the phone card inside. Another one? Thanks. Ew, you guys are big brain. You guys are big brain. That was a little bit obvious in hindsight. <laughs> All right. Is there any other phones that need fixing? I'm a phone fixer, apparently. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty when it's not completely dark. Become who you are. I can't become who I am. I'm already me. See, I don't understand indoor, indoor fauna. It just looks weird. And then... It's gonna fill out everything with leaves at some point. And the kids are gonna kick the dirt and it's gonna be all filthy. What is this? Wilson Center Mall, birthday, conquer, think again, theater, new Adam. Spasming texture. Ah, uh, food court. Okay, food court. I want the food court. Oh my God, it's an actual mall we can explore. Oh my God, this is so cool. This I does not speak the truth. Kids love choosing their favorite character from the hit cartoon series, which teaches real-world social dynamics. Eagle, lion, bull, or angel. Who's your favorite? Bring the I'm loving this. <laughs> You're welcome. Lucky Chimes, we're having a date at the mall today. What do you want to eat? Do you want sushi? Do you want... What is that? Drinks, drinks, ooh. I actually think it would be pretty cool to explore like a... An abandoned mall or just a, an empty mall. Uh, fries! Um, oh god, all of it looks so yummy. Pizza! Oh, there's pizza! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, noodles, noodles, noodles. I might go for noodles. I might go for noodles, you guys. Or maybe, no, 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 no. Is that, is that sweet chicken? Is that sweet chicken? I want sweet chicken. What will you have? What do you want? It's on me. Ah. I want a massive, single massive slice of pizza, please. <laughs> now I'm even more confused about our height. Don't think about it. There's videos of people exploring abandoned malls. You should check them out for you. Yeah. I might, I might like dedicate a stream to like just watching that sort of thing. Anything with meat and rice? Oh. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Airsoft and I always wanted to play in an abandoned mall. I see in a few sites like that. Well, that actually sounds really neat. <laughs> Part of me is super scared. By the way, I'm going to close my window. Part of me is super scared of ever playing airsoft or paintball because I heard it. I heard that it hurts, but it just sounds fun. But then I can't aim, and my arm would probably start hurting. I once, I once went to like a, a VR experience where uh, you were completely immersed, and you could like walk around, and they gave you like this gun. It was for like a Far Cry game or something, um, and you actually got to walk around in it, and. I remember my my arms got so like painful after a while because I was just like trying to hold the gun up and running around. And that was not even like, you know, it was in a game. I can't imagine like real life with the recoil and stuff. 
It hurts, but it's fun. I can imagine that it stops hurting after a while, right? It's like building calluses. Ah. Me and my friends as a kid ended up running through someone's tennis match once playing airsoft chasing each other. <laughs> yeah, no, no, my arms are super tired. Mm. Bad restrooms. Okay, look at charms you order. I'm just gonna go pee. I'll be right back. Uh. Uh huh. Never mind. I can't. Lucky Charms, bathroom is closed. Say ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ooh, yummy. Oh. Sadly, it doesn't seem to work. Maybe all the drinks were emptied out. I like this game. <laughs> I like this game a lot. There's something about this game that is oddly relaxing. This one might go on my list of favorite games if it lives up to the expectation it's setting up. Mall management offices. Okay, I can't I can't go to management. Mmm. My parents never let me have BB guns because they thought the police would shoot me thinking that they were real guns. Are you American? Yeah, I can definitely see how that could happen. Um Oh god, that chicken's looking so good. Uh, but I could also go for that salad. Salad also looks really nice. Ah, I'm hungry! Ah! Okay, there's a little bit of uh, an issue with polish. I don't know if this is intentional. Actually, it might be intentional. I can't tell. No, yeah, it's definitely intentional. Um, I thought it was like texture clipping. Also, I wish we could we, ju we could jump. I, I can jump. Thanks for choosing Wilson. We'll always be here for you. Thanks, Wilson. Mm. Oh. Okay, this is all closed. Oh, what is that? Reality is a raw starch. Uh, raw. Roar, 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 shot, roar, that every brain sees as the future. Roar, shark. Oh, right, the roar, roar, shark, roar, shark, like test. So it's like the blood sinks a pain, right? Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be part of some puzzle. I'm calling it. Wait, have you jumped IRL in the past week? I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I have to reach the, the top shelf of our kitchen. From my parents' kitchen. <laughs> ah. We once had cops invade our airsoft field looking for people that had escaped from prison. It's a big scare, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. Fuyu, can leprechauns double jump? No. That's not how physics works. Hell yes. <laughs> I can't double jump yet, sadly. Maybe if I wish for a double jump. Double jump. This ad does not speak the truth. Sale! Oh my god, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas. Ah. Uh, you are thinking of Brazilians? <laughs> Wait, what? <gasps> cinema! Okay, guys, we're going to the cinema. Cinema time. What movies do they have? They got... Hero of the Working Class? That sounds boring. The Evil of Science! That looks okay. Patriot. That looks boring. Um. Social Rules. Looks boring. Healing the Sick. That looks boring. Raising a Fan. That looks boring! Alright, we're watching The Evil of Science. I chose. I choose. Can I go in? No, I don't got any tickets. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's another box here, but it's open. Okay. Let's watch Raising a Family. <laughs> if we really want to, I mean, we could. But, you know. Only... Only if we really want to. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, 
Brazilians can, in fact, double jump. I saw a Brazilian in the green suit for a few times. <laughs> yeah, Brazilians are a whole nother species. They're cool. Mm. Can we get big popcorns? Yeah, we can share. Do you like? Do you guys prefer salty popcorns or do you prefer sweet popcorns? I always prefer sweet popcorns, but I don't mind like mixing them up. Mm. Let's watch Morbius. No, I don't want to watch Morbius. I already watched it once and it was bad. Ah. <laughs> ah, salty, salty. All of you guys like salty? What the heck? Okay, no, Scum likes them sweet. Um, I like both. Okay, good. Caramel popcorn is king. Oh yeah, I recently... Okay, guys, listen. You hear this? That's... That's cinnamon popcorn. Recently, my parents got this these and they are super tasty. I really like them. They're nice. I don't think I've ever had... Um, I don't think I've ever had... The caramel popcorn, though. Mm. Okay, code of conduct. Thanks for choosing Wilson Center Mall. In order to provide a safe, enjoyable environment for all guests, please adhere to the following guidelines of behavior for a shopping center. Okay, no smoking. Weapons are not allowed, obviously. Dogs are not allowed, but cats are per permitted? No, Pochi! We're gonna have to put some cat ears on Pochi. Do not open an identified sarco sarcophagi. Wait, is that... Is that the... Is that the plural of sarcophagus? Sarcophagi? <laughs> Wait, really? Sarcophagi, that's so specific. Existential crisis was limited to one per person. <laughs> mm. The world may end at any moment. Nothing you see here was, is, or ever will be real. No lightering. Okay, that's pretty... Those are some pretty clear ground rules. Become who you are. Oh! I wanna play! I wanna play! I wanna play on the lion red! I wanna play No, 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 no! I want on the eagle red! Eagle, eagle, eagle! Or lion. God, I can Okay, no, the eagle is taller. Eagle is taller and I feel like I would be taller and it would be more fun. Do you have any sense on you? Mmm. Oh! Change. I'm okay, you're not okay. I'm not okay, you're not okay. I'm okay, you're okay. I'm not okay, you're okay. What? Mm. I'm okay, you're okay. Oh. Oh, wait, this is a puzzle. That's a puzzle. Wait, cat! Free cat adoption month. Wait, is this an actual website? Hmm. This feels like an esoteric meme. Okay, hold on. There must be something to it. Like, are they sad or happy? I'm okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're not okay. Oh, wait! I think it's like the reaction to the thing. So, like... A bull would be okay, but you would not be okay. Uh, I'm not. Oh, I'm okay. You're, wait, I, may, I might be overthinking it. I'm okay. You're okay. That would be an angel. I'm not okay. You're not okay. The eagle, cause the eagle looks angry. Uh, I'm not okay. You're okay. Then maybe the lion would be here. I'm okay. You're not okay. And then the bull would be like that. I don't know if that did anything. It might not even be a puzzle. I don't know. Can I? No. Okay. We'll figure it out. I agree. You are overthinking it. <laughs> the eagles look so upset. <laughs> Conquer. Maybe come back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me if I forget. This game is actually really interesting. Alright guys, we can find new clothes. Up to 80% off. Find your style. I'm pretty I'm pretty good with my with my leprechaun clothes. Mm. Alrighty. 
<laughs> Don't forget, you're stuck here, Fuyo. I'm not stuck here. The mall is stuck with me, question mark? Yeah. Okay, and this is where we came from. We can try and go check out the upper floor. Oh, it's such a nice fountain. I always like fountains like this, especially indoors. Also, some of you guys said that indoor plants are good. I agree that they look good. But just the maintenance. Make a wish? Okay, okay. But you're gonna have to make a wish as well, okay? You're gonna have to make a wish as well. Okay. Mm. I wish... I wish... To have many fun times with my lucky charms. Yeah. There. That's my wish. Make a wish, you guys, as well. Or wait, you can go upstairs. Do not enter. Out of service. I can squeeze! I can squeeze through. Apparently, I can. Okay, we can go to the upper floor. Then, where do I go? You're not supposed to say it out loud for you. Uh, damn it. <laughs> ah. I wish Fuyo's wish would come true except that a comically large balloon animal. <laughs> I wish for Fuyo to get literally any more brain cells! I'm happy with my current brain cells. Don't even! Okay, no, this has to have a... We have to be able to... What? I'm, I'm confused. Mmm... I'm okay. I I don't understand it. Mm. Should be able to go to the upper floor, no? Huh. Could be two birds, two lions. Oh yeah, to match with the thing. All right, I'm overthinking it, aren't I? No, I'm not overthinking it! Bull eats eagle? What? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Burr bread. Huh. Eagle. Huh. We tried to go to the rides and look at the notes beside them, I think. Yeah, these these little notes? Can't read it. It's gibberish. I think. Yeah, it says Lauren Ipsum. I think. Ah. Lion, are you okay or are you not okay? I need you to tell me. Are you okay? Are you okay? I think it's about the direction that the portraits are, are facing. Yeah? Uh... Oh! Okay, so I'm okay, you're not okay. You wish okay. for Fuyo to become boing boing, but you know that it's an impossible wish. Rosto pensativo. make any sense? No? Okay. <laughs> um... Some big brain plays are at hand here. 
I feel like I need, I feel like I need to put the, I have foam pour, that's for sure. And I also feel like, I, oh wait, wait, there's something here. Oh, oh, I completely missed this. Mmm. All new tetrapormorphs, tetrapormorphs. Which one are you? Stubborn bull is firm like the earth. He doesn't trust others, but he doesn't always trust himself either. Uh, proud eagle is untouchable like air. She believes in her own wings, but not in any other animal. Gentle angel is fluid like water. They don't need to take charge, but they'll support a good leader. Mighty lion is regal like fire. He's confident in his own power, but trusts his friends to lead too. Okay. Social dynamics. Alright. Which one do you guys think I, I am? Which one do you think you are? <laughs> I am Angel. <laughs> ah. Okay. I'm the paper. I think I'm lying. Ha. Huh. Proud Eagle is untouchable like air. She believes in her own wings, but not in any other animal. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So... I'm okay, you're not okay. That's the eagle. That's the eagle. Okay, yeah. I'm okay, you're not okay is the eagle because it trusts itself but doesn't trust other people. Uh, the bull doesn't trust others, neither does it trust himself. So it's, uh, he's not okay and you're not okay, that's the bull. Then... Uh, gentle angel is a fluid like water. They don't like to take charge, but they'll support a good leader. He's confident in his own power, but trusts his friends to lead too. Okay, the one who is okay... ...is the lion. And then here's the angel. Yeah! Oh! Looking for the wardrobe that matches your personality? Oh! Wondering how to express yourself on the outside? Let's get some new clothes, everybody! Me, government, everyone so else, mom, today, best friend, partner, children, and boss, dad. Them. These are clo these clothes are all strangely labeled. Oh, this is interesting. Press for assistance. <laughs> Not gonna press it just yet. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Changing rooms. You belong here! There's a spot made just for you, only at Conquer. It stubbornly refuses to work. Okay. Okay, we need to press the button! Panic button! <laughs> Panic button! Wait. Panic button! Wait, what? The clothes should be organized first? Oh! Oh, okay! Um... Children, boss... Oh, low rung, high rung. Where are you? Uh... I'm above everybody else! <laughs> of course! Okay, no way. So... <laughs> I'd say... Okay, oh god, this is... Everyone else... Okay, probably all the way... Need... Okay, need to find your... Uh, true look. Just organize the clothes to fit your self-perception. Ah... Okay. A boss. No, wait, wait. Organize the clothes to fit your... Uh... Just organize the clothes to fit yourself for a little wrong. Okay. I don't care about... Wait, no, frick. I can't say that. I actually have a boss now. <laughs> Mr. Aviel. <laughs> uh, government? Uh... Uh, dad. Anarchy! Anarchy! Uh, dad, uh, goes pretty high up. Uh, I guess this, this, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, dare, I guess? Children. Wait, dare. Um, I'd say like this. And then, best friend, like that. Or, okay, yeah. Then dead mom and boss. 
Yeah. Is that good? I don't know. Fill rack? Wait, take out? You can take out stuff? Take out. Fill. Back. Press for assistance. There. I did it. Could I have done it any other way? The TV suddenly turned on. Oh, where? Where? Oh, TV. I'm watching. Oh. This reminds me of Leprechaun School TVs. They were always so high up that my neck would hurt. Mmm. Take out the government. Look, <laughs> this comment's gonna get me put on the list. I just know it. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, pretty. Welcome to the social river. <laughs> Finding your place in the world isn't easy. Society's just full of expectations. Should I have put it more seriously? I didn't really think too hard on it. You up for the rest of your life. Huh. That's why I'm here to guide you. Okay. So sit back, hang in there, and we'll make it through here together. Okay. Didn't think this game was gonna be b vapor wavy. Yeah, I said it at the beginning. I should have maybe taken it more seriously. I just kind of put it randomly because I didn't know what I was doing. Hmm. This is an important moment in your life. Maybe one of the most defining points of all. Oh no! I want to go left here. What? What if I don't want to go left? What if I don't want to go left? I'm gonna go right. Right. Oh, uh, wait, freak, I forgot. Which way? Frick, I forgot which way? <laughs> right. I'm gonna go right. Left? Right? <laughs> I forgot which way is which! Right! Interesting. Uninformed decisions made for the sake of being stubborn don't usually work out. Excuse me? Off, the world has plenty of rivers. You just tried to dunk on me? Shut the frick up. I know what I'm doing. I'm the master of my own destiny. Okay, we're going forward. <laughs> There's a time in all our lives where we have to decide who to trust. Hmm. Someone else's ideas or our own gut instincts. But no matter which you choose and whether or not it's the right answer, you can't be blamed for anything. It's just how you were programmed as a human being. Mm. You should go right here. I wanna go left. <laughs> I wanna go left. Just to be a contrarian. The fact that you're telling me. The fact that you're telling me where to go. Just makes me not want to go. There's a TV and I don't Are watch you TV. Sure right is right. Maybe left is right. And right is wrong. Mr. Beardifist, are you trying to give me a... Are you trying to... Are... Are you, try are, you ah! are you trying to give me brain confusion? It's not gonna work. I'm dead set on going left. Left. No matter why someone disobeys authority, it always boils down to a single reason. They want to prove to themselves they have a choice. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this next branch is our last one together. Mm. Pay attention to what you choose and okay. why you choose it. Okay, there's people. Hmm. At the end of the social river, you'll find your place in life. 
Primates have hierarchies. And you're either silently satisfied with where you are, or you're staring at the rungs above you. Huh. So on a ladder that stretches above and below into infinity, are you closer to the top or to the bottom? Go left. Uh? Um... Oh, but that did not tell me anything! That literally didn't tell me anything! But I'm gonna go right just to be a contrarian. Because I've already gotten this far. I'm gonna go right. I'm not too surprised, I have to say. Good. But in the end, we always become what we resist. Hmm. Well, we're almost there. And I feel like we've learned a lot about you today. Even though you already took this journey before. I did? Don't you remember? No. Right after you learned to walk, talk, and crawl. Hmm. You learned the meaning of power. Huh. Hmm. I am the master of my own future. If I decide to drop out of <laughs> Leprechaun University to pursue my streaming career of my dreams, I'm gonna do it! I'm as stubborn as this register! I have a corn. Okay. It's just a picture of the bull. <laughs> Alright. That was an experience. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I really am. Oh. Good afternoon, shoppers. Thank you for choosing Wilson Center Mall. If you're looking for a fresh, exciting new way to view the world, then mm. look no further. Stop by Think Again, located on the second floor, and discover yourself today. Mm. We have something for everybody. Oh, you're a bull. Oh, so that's what that was. So I'm a bull. So it's saying that. I don't trust others, and I don't always trust myself either. I mean, don't we all? Everybody's a bull, apparently. <laughs> Office personality test. <laughs> always is Cam. Always is Cam. All right, right. What, what did what did they say was open now? Oh, now I can go up. I'm gonna be a contrarian. Suck it! Um... Alright. Cope. <laughs> Only bulls would say that, Fleo. Shut up! It's true! Nobody is always 100% sure of themselves. Uh... I do be stubborn, though. Very bull behavior. Well... Well, you guys, you guys are, you guys are, that bulls too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else is over here? I forgot what this said opened. Another code of conduct. Oh, paper. The future exists. First in imagination, then in will, then in reality. What? Well, that's, that's pretty comforting, I'd say. Mm. We are lions, sweet. Yeah, sure. Because a little kitty cats, huh? Hanya. Little kitty cats. Oh. Huh? Is that what you are? Little kitty lucky charms. Okay, I gotta go here. I'm a fox, actually. I'm a weird bulbous angel. <laughs> Do you have multiple eyes and multiple wings, too? Stop projecting. Yes, now pet my belly. <laughs> who is a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, it's the key lucky charms. A huge globe. The continents are featureless, as if waiting to be filled in someday. Mmm. What that? 
The view just label reads, undoing yourself with meditation. I don't want to undo myself. Uh. <laughs> Fuyo, it's food time. There's no food in my bowl. Um. Go hunt or something? Oh! TV! Oh! Confused about reality? We have a solution for you! Build your own mental map! Take this with our short quiz! Free quiz! Okay. Where do you draw the most happiness from? Memories of the past, moments in the present, plans in the future. Mmm. Mmm. Where I draw the most happiness from? Mm. Hmm. I'd say... I'd say moments in the present that I planned in the past. <laughs> ah. Everywhere you look, you find... A depressing reality, sparks of joy, questions that make you doubt, all of the above. I'd say all of the above. Your childhood memories are mostly good, mostly painful, mixed. Mixed, of course. Next page. In your eyes, the world is... Scientific, mystical, meaningless, unknown. Unknown. When you die, you will be... Rich and famous? <laughs> nah, man. Loved, quickly forgotten. I'm not sure yet. Mmm... Hmm... hmm. I like I like to be loved even after I'm gone. I'd like to be loved. Yeah. <laughs> by by my by my uh peers, by by my family. Yeah. I'd like to be loved. I know it's like well, you will be, but I I, I think I'll be loved cuz I try to do my best to love other people. You believe most people Think mainly for themselves, of themselves, are good at heart, feel similarly to me, don't think the way I do. I think most people are good at heart. Although, sometimes... Um, misunderstandings, misunderstandings happen. Okay. Love is something you feel right now, hope to find someday, felt in the past, don't care about. I don't want to think about it. Because there's different kinds of love. Um... So... I guess... I guess I feel right now. I feel like... I do feel loved. I feel loved by my family. I feel loved by my friends. I feel loved by my lucky charms. So I'd say... I'd say it's something that I feel right now. I'm really happy. <laughs> um... But I try not to think too much about it. Otherwise, I might start to doubt it. Uh, your main drive in life comes from creativity, other people, God, something unknown, new experiences and knowledge, nothing. Creativity! Creativity, a thousand percent. Submit the answers. Tell me! What does that change in my life? A sound came from behind one of the bookshelves. Huh? Oh, wait, this is different. What is science? Who is your God? Right or left? Who, who, ha who has the answers? Who gives you the information? In the end, nothing really matters. But it's okay. Ugh. Hold on. My mouse is stuck on my keyboard. Okay. Something happened. I don't know what happened. The composition book is filled with tiny diagrams, but all of them are scratched out. What happened? Did they say that a bookshelf fell? Hello, Fleo. Thank you for the stream today. It's been great. I have poisoned the water supply of Gotham City and they're never gonna catch me. <laughs> Gonzalez, you are a menace. Please don't poison the water supply. Oh! Is, it th is this that fell? A robot's guide to reality. I like this game. I feel very immersed in it. I don't want to give, like, meme answers anymore. <laughs> what exactly is a map? Huh. Is it reality? Can it lie? Or does it always show the truth? Hmm. If the map calls a swimming pool an ocean, which one reflects reality? The map or the territory? Um, the territory, because the map can be adultered. I am confused. Wait, what? 
circuit six, circuit two, circuit four. Okay, where's circuit one? I can't run. Circuit one. What is this? Deviations. Wilson Center Mall. Food court circuit. Oh wait, this is the map. Deviations. Kindergarten, old age. Oh god. Life, childhood, kindergarten, high school, college, marriage, middle age, old age, death. I like how it's just like life. Childhood, kindergarten, high school, college, then just jump straight to marriage. <laughs> okay. Um. Birthday, conquer, think again, theater, new Adam. Do I jump off? I think this game is more like psychological horror than spook. Alright, I'm jumping off! Whee! career <laughs> right bully uncertainty your map path. starts in the past when you learn to label good and bad mm. light and dark happy and sad bully this is where you created the most crucial component your map key huh uncertainty God, the vaporwave aesthetic. <laughs> Kindness! Am I supposed to do something? Question! Past! Okay, so we're supposed to start in the past. Hmm. In the present, your map is constantly expanding, stretching to accommodate unending information. Present. Every new point is labeled, forming a world you can navigate and understand. Huh. Present! The male voice earlier said that we are programmed, so is this game treating us like AIs? Maybe. I'm unlocking my third eye, Clover Bros. <laughs> oh no! map out territory they haven't explored yet drawing a future based on the past and present mm. but if they arrive in the future with a misleading map how can they ever reach their destination huh too big brain for me future we are entering for your mind the universe in our heads then fill it with labels so that things make sense. Mm. But those labels are fluid. Even if the territory never changes, the map can be rewritten at any moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That makes sense. God, I'm so slow. In your world, oh. you are what you create. Huh. And yet, on any day, at any moment, the very fabric of your world could turn into something unimaginable. Hmm. Because the map is never the territory. That's a neat little theory, uh, Biscuit. Could be. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Goddamn. <laughs> Good afternoon. Need to take a look off your feet after a long day at the mall? Stop by the Angel Fountain, located in oh. the food court. Fountain! Don't forget to throw in a coin for good luck. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Wilson. I can throw a coin? I don't want to throw a coin. Coins are mine. Alright guys, throw the coin. No way, real escalator physics. I was surprised too. <laughs> I tried to I tried to not say anything because I would come off as a <laughs> Okay, I need a coin. Or something. Is there any coins? 
for me? Or we can just stop by. Contemplate life. Oh! There's a coin! <laughs> Get off the bench, there's a coin. I am blind! Shiny silver coin, it reads infinite possibility. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to make my wish. You can toss this coin in the fountain. You need it for admission. Admission? 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 You mean a you mean a soda? What does admission mean? Uh, admission? Eh. The movie is the theater. Wait, what? How is it related? How is it? Admission. Oh, theater admission. Okay. All right, everybody, we're going on that on that movie date. Let's go to the cinema. Hello, may I have one ticket, please? Thank you. Okay. I'm in! Concessions... Okay, there's more eagles and lions. Mm. Huh. So I'd like a huge... a uh, massive... I'd like a... I'd like a big popcorn! Uh, half of them sweet, half of them salty, please? Um, I'd also like a, a lemon iced tea. Uh, what do you guys want to drink? Um... Maybe some coke. Yeah. Alright, thank you. There's nobody here. God damn it. Uh, att attending is awful. No people. Slushy? Wait, you can get a slushy for. Huh. Okay, how can I tell which movie is where? Success! Wait, I wanna watch that movie. I want success. Also, that ceiling is sick! I like it. Um... We're just gonna go to a random room. I oh no, it's here. Social rules. That sounds boring. Uh, there seems to be a bright spotlight on one particular seat. I guess that's pretty obvious then. That's my seat. I sit here. I'm sitting. I'm ready. Oh god, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Oh wow. Thank you for choosing live cinema. You're welcome. Uh. Concessions are available at all times in the lobby. Ah. Help us keep our theater clean by disposing of waste where it belongs. Uh huh. The trash cans outside. If you notice any suspicious behavior or individuals, please report them to our staff. And remember, please remain silent and courteous to others during the movie. Okay. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Okay. I think it's because it's playing a, a video. That's why I'm lagging. Oh, there, see? <laughs> see, it's because it was playing a video. Be unique, be normal. Huh? Uh, be unique, but normal. Oh, I see. Um. Okay. Don't think too fast. Huh. Reporting suspicious behavior to staff? Find your labels. No labels! I'm a leprechaun. That's a label. Wait, what? A bottle of detergent. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take this. No, wait, I, I didn't wanna sit down. Get off bench. Don't drink it. I'ma drink it, cause I have choice! I've got free will! I can drink it. Guilt. 
A bottle of bleach. Why is the bleach called guilt? That's so miserable. Okay. I'm guessing it's this one. Robot level, bad or good? Oh, wait. Wait a moment. Wait a moment, something... Eh? Vulnerability! <laughs> Vulnerability and guilt! That's the two to detergent. Um... <laughs> okay, alright, I see. What if I want to use another brand? One that doesn't make me feel terrible. Gorgeous to others. Uh, am I missing something? Crawling to the washer? Wait, you can do that? Oh, this one I can. Roll quality. You need something to wash in a sturdy machine. I wash myself! Oh, wait. Social rules? Wait, I saw a little thing. Yeah, there you go. I, I, I saw this. You picked a blanket. It smells like your home. Okay, you can put it in this one. It has to be here. Roll quality. Okay. It needs detergent and bleach. Alright, let's get some, uh, some guilt. And let's get some, uh, vulnerability. We're gonna wash away the stink of my sheets. There. Perfect. Perfect! You pour the chemicals, now the dials need to be set. Feminine, masculine. Um. Where's the leprechaun option? Quality, social deviant. <laughs> Good citizen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing that. We're going full on social deviant. <laughs> Gender leprechaun. Quality social deviant. Maybe a little bit of a good citizen. Perfect. Cycle is starting. Amazing! The first game made Fuyo shower, now this one makes her do the laundry. <laughs> Ah, we need even more left from the social deviant. <laughs> Hold on, probably we need to do another one, like over here. Can I go inside of it? No. Don't think too fast. All right, can I leave? Oh wait, this is well, this wasn't here. Uh, insert society membership, solidify your views. Uh huh. Okay. It's in! Next next game will make Fuyo do the dishes. Okay, what is this? You pick up the dryer sheet. Oh! Moshi moshi? Where? I haven't seen a phone! Where is the phone? Is this the phone? No. Where is the phone? Wait, I don't think it was a phone. It was probably not a phone. Alright, now we dry them up. You take the washed blanket, it's time to put it in the dryer. Uh, dryer, right. Dryer. Yes, sure. Dryer. Yeah, right. The dryer. Oh, this looks the same to me! How can I- Oh, wait, it's probably the other one that's also open. You've already washed. It's probably this one. There we go. <laughs> ah. You put the blanket in and the sheet and the dial needs to be set. Bad or good? I mean, we threw a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of trolling, so I'm gonna leave it right on the three. It's beginning to dry the blanket. Let's go! I'm waiting. Huh? Okay, is there anything else that I need to set? Good? Do I just need to wait? Okay. Uh, timer temperature. 
Oh, the TV stopped working. Oh. An unconditioned consciousness can be molded to play any role in society. Mm. And the most effective form of brainwashing is to be born. God damn. I'm not brainwashed. That's something that somebody who is brainwashed would say. What's that? Oh, okay, so, oh. Hi. That's so loud. That's so unnecessarily loud. Also, the thing is gone. Hello, please open. Open? There you go, my blanket. Can I leave? Yes, I can leave. This is a neat little game about self-introspection. I really like it. <laughs> but then again, I'm a... Uh, I do delve into the pompous... Pompous, uh... <laughs> pretentious games at all. <laughs> okay. Mm. In a good way, I like this game. Is it really a horror game? It's more so like... The fact that it's liminal space based. And kind of psychological. And I! Just head to one of the convenient clubs located around the mall. Wait, where am I? You can find one outside every restroom. Including the central one by the food court. Wait, where am I? Central one by the food court. I'm kind of lost. Hold on. <laughs> Where's the exit? Ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> by the way, yes, this would totally happen in real life too. Wait, frick, where am I? Ah! ah! Okay. Spoopy existential thingy. Exactly, Boyong. Exactly. The reborn thing is actually a thing crazy people have done to others. It's really horrible and nasty and one of the victims died. What? Did I miss something? Did I pl miss a plot point? The real horror is that we, we live in a society. <laughs> we live in a society! Say hi if you see my chat. Bye! I mean, hi! I mean, hello! I mean, greetings! I mean... Baba Booey. Okay, in the food court. Here. Um... Thank you, love your vids. <laughs> of course. Thank you, I'm glad you like my vids. Ah. What was I looking for? I forgot. Uh, it was something in the middle of the food court. I forgot. Oh! Oh, never mind. I forgot. Baba Buri is better than Bazinga. Guys, Bazinga is not gonna become a thing. Um... <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? I forgot! I have literally five second attention span. I was not listening. Did someone say bazinga? No! Lopi, nobody said bazinga! No way! No, 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 that did not happen. That word is bend for my brain. Somebody remember what the lady said? What are you trying to look for? I forgot! The lady told me and I forgot! The nice lady in the, in the voice thing said and I, I forgot. Um... Mm, okay, okay, no bazinga. No bazinga! Bazinga bad. By the way, Lopi, I hope you're doing good. Ah. I, uh... I'm lost. I think it said restroom? Oh! Oh, restroom! Restroom. 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 Yeah. Restroom. Restroom? Restroom? No, not a restroom. Clock near- Oh yeah, it was a clock! Oh, there it is. The clock. Yeah. You guys are right. You guys have big brain memory. I don't remember things. Oh god, it fell! We almost died. We almost died it. I can't believe it. Now what? Now I go to the restroom because I just beat my pants. Sometimes we all need a moment to relax, especially after a long day of shopping. So why not pay a visit to New Adam, our latest multimedia store? 
New Adam. I think it was upstairs. There. Right there. We still have a, a phone a phone cord. New Adam. Oh, fancy. This is my kind of store. Paint. I love traditional painting, by the way. I don't think I ever shared this. Camera's so tall, unrealistic. It was super short at the beginning of the game. I don't know how... <gasps> we are growing! We started at the friggin' child, child store. We're going through stages. We're evolving. Lopi, you just made me have a realization on the game. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice detail. The level will always be here now. Oh, that's cool. Kinoko no Tenshi. Wait, isn't that an anime? <laughs> Is it? I'm not sure. Nice nose. The cure for our adrenaline poisoning. Don't blame me. More Clover Chats pointed out before I did. Really? I'm sorry, Clover Chads. My bad. I didn't see. I'm blind. And... Um... Illiterate. Okay. What do? Yeah, it's actually a really neat detail. I wonder if it's... Can we go back to the, like, initial area and see if we actually grew or, like, if things get smaller? Uh... I copied their homework. I don't hate you guys. Oh, Kinoko no Tenshi, Angel Mushroom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Angel Mushroom. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> um. Something around here? Old movie. Raz, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Thank you. Whoever got it, I hope you enjoy the membership content. Mm. Uh, my blind. Um. Rapture. Oh my god, Bioshock reference. Bioshock reference. Bioshock mention. Rapture. Bioshock. I finished the first Bioshock. Ah. <laughs> uh. Is giving up the need to control. I don't want to give up the need to control. Like, I gotta be in control of my life. Then what's the point? Oh. Uh, guide to prana prana pranayama breathing. Aimless rapture? Huh. Philosophy. A notebook. Oh. Perfect love casteth out fear. Huh. Interesting. Old movie, old movie, old movie. I can't, I can't do anything. Kinoko no Tenshi. Um. What does that say? Ikirado Rirenep. Probably Latin version of the adventures of Neptunia. Huh? Uh. Oh, not a disc. All sickness is fear. Okay. For sale. Uh, do we need to buy something? There's nothing. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Let me see. Uh, do I need to leave? I am confusion. This is in center mall. Uh huh. Dude, we really need more mods. <laughs> Dude, we need more mods so badly, you guys. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Mm. Hold on.
Uh, you get off with the timeout, but please don't spam chat. Okay, let's keep going. Where go? Where go? Also, Raz, what the heck? Thank you so much for the five gifted the membership. Thank you. Uh, what is this game called? It's called Self Checkout Unlimited. Yeah. Mm. Oh! I need a canvas! Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to paint. Wait, canvas. Paint. Canvas. Paint. Mm. Canvas. We need a canvas. Have we seen a canvas? I don't think we've seen a canvas. Uh, be here now. We don't need no canvas. We can just paint in the air. It's a game. Possibilities are endless. Mods applications are still open, aren't they? Yes, they are still open. If you guys want to apply and help us out, that would mean the world to us. Um, I feel like there might be alternative things that you can do in this game. Yeah, for sure. I feel like this game has like different endings, but it might just be me. No, no, where, where, where is? No canvas? Huh. Mod or not, bullying green thing is free. Uh, it's not free. It's at the cost of my mental health. Okay, do we need to get the canvas from somewhere else? We might. Uh, canvas. Oh. Uh, canvas. Canvas. This is not a canvas. I am lost and I'm dazed and I'm confused. It was near the door. You pass it. I'm blind. Really? I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm sorry. I'm blind. There. No, you need some paint. For some reason, your mind is filled with a radiant blue. No, green. Okay, no, blue, I guess. Wait, radiant blue. Any blue is fine. Don't. <laughs> All blues look the same. I'm not. I'm not color colorblind. <laughs> but what? Do I need the very specific? Oh, okay. Never mind. This very specific blue. <laughs> this very specific blue is the blue that I want. All right. I'm ready. Okay, a stroke over there, a stroke over there. Mm, yes, I truly am an artist. Now, nah, Fuyo, you're feeling an exact shade of blue. Yeah? Yeah? This, this shade of blue? Wait, frick. Never mind. I deactivated chart codes. <laughs> I can't be blue, I'm green. Oh, there you go, now we're going full on vaporwave aesthetics. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da, and da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba da. All right, this looks cool. I really like the aesthetics of this. I like to explore this world in VR chat. <laughs> I feel like I keep mentioning VR chat, but the thing is, for the first time in my life, I have access to VR. Oh, there's bottle noises. For the first time in my life, I have VR. And I get to experience all kinds of cool stuff, and it's super neat. And I can't wait until I get to share it with you guys. DMCA? I'm not gonna get DMCA because I'm just that bad at singing. Ooh, a pool! In the middle of a mall. You can enter the water here. It doesn't seem ready for you yet. I'm ready? What do you, what do you mean? Mm, yes, I need a course to go into the pool. Is the pool death? Is the pool death? Is the pool death? I think pool res res signifies symbolizes death. It's death! The pool is death! <laughs> or something, I don't know. Do I have to step on every single puddle? Mm, the 
This music is very relaxing. The pool is taxes. <laughs> Please, I'm not ready for taxes. I'm not ready. Maybe plant? No. I've never done taxes and now I'm gonna have to start doing taxes. It's really scary. <laughs> How do you taxes? How does one tax? Wait, I'm lost. Am I going in the circle? I think I'm going in the circles. Also, this is stairs on the wall. Truly peak architecture. No, go for me to take my money. Okay, hold on. What do I need to be ready for the sweet embrace of the death pool? Nivaya, thank you so much for gifting. My family to die, that's a being too, too generous. You freaking freaks. Thank you, Nivaya. I appreciate it. Everybody, enjoy your memberships. Hope you enjoy the members' content. There's plenty. There's plenty to choose from. Like, for example, you've got some, some kissing ASMR. Very embarrassing, but was very fun. Oh my god, how do I get prepared for the pool? There's uh, some drawing stuff. There is a... Uh... Oh, what? Oh, I just need to maybe sit down and appreciate the view. I am getting ready. Close your eyes or relax for a bit. Relax for a bit. Close your eyes, relax for a bit. All right, everybody, it's time to die. Maybe, that's my theory. Totally based on a single comment. <laughs> close your eyes. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? And if you're close- Rapture is deep and meaningless. No goal. No sense of time. That's what I've been saying. Right now, you are my voice. No, I'm not. This space, this presence of light. There is nowhere <coughs> else you have to go. Ah, sorry. Nobody else you need to be. So be here. Now. Hmm. Yeah. Now I die? I bask in the pool of death. We can feel rapture at any moment. In this world, when you stop, nothing is certain except breathing. death and taxes. Benjamin Franklin. Let life happen. Stop, this is supposed to be serious! There's no need for a goal. Thank you, Brain Spike. Escape. All you have to do is stay still. No. Breathe. No, I don't want to die. No, wait, I don't want to die. Why is this pool so passive? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't like. I don't like this. <laughs> don't fart in the pool, guys. Don't fart in the pool. I heard that fart. I heard you fart. You can't do that. Only I am allowed to. Do I really have to stop moving? I don't wanna. I don't wanna give up and die. I don't die. I'm immortal. I'm a leprechaun. Are leprechauns immortal? I mean, I've never seen a dead leprechaun. Mm. How are you not drawing? Where are we? I am under the water. Cause I am God plot armor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm I'm God plot armor. I have plot armor. Am I supposed to just stay still? I don't want to stay still. <laughs> have you seen the movie You Live Forever? No, I haven't. I don't want to surrender. I don't want to drown. You are what you experience beyond all shape or form. Hmm. 
the joy of simply being alive. Mm. Just full blue canvas. Mm, yes, this is my masterpiece. It should be in a museum. It symbolizes how afraid I am of the underwater. Like, if you see right there, it's very hard to see, but there's a single blotch of paint that's a little bit red. It's a Reaper Leviathan. Um. <laughs> anyway, moving on. It's art, it's perfect. It also can symbolize my love for all things blue, like Yuko or Gorgura. You know? All good things in life. Hello? Hello, shoppers. Looking for a bite to eat? Stop by the expansive Wilson Center Food Court, located on the ground floor. It's numbers time! With our wide variety of restaurants and cuisines, we've got something for everybody here at Wilson. I want chicken. I want chicken. I want I want the chicken. I want I want I want the chicken. That chicken. Yes, that's what I want. Can I get that? Can anybody lend me that, please? Oh, oh wow. This was not like this before. Huh. So you don't love us because you were green? I didn't say that. <laughs> hmm. I'm blue doll. You're blue double double doll. Huh. I'm so lost too deep for me. Have you ever felt just accept it. lonely before? A feeling like you're isolated, cut off somehow, just because of who you are. In our vast, accelerating world, everyone is connected. Information can travel instantly from one mind to another, anywhere in the world. Like synapses firing in the brain. He's spitting facts. And yet, for some reason, we seem further apart than we ever were before. Uh, I like the swing. I like swinging. Never mind, I don't like the swing anymore. Wee! <laughs> Do a 360. <laughs> I tried when I was younger. We all grow in different directions. I want to grow sideways. Just leading upward to infinity. But as we move upward and outward, forming tightly knit clusters away from the center, it's so easy to forget that we all share the same roots of humanity. Uh huh. You want to get fat? I mean, my grandma came over the other day and she was like, Oh, you lost weight. You need to eat more. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, no, grandma, I need to exercise. I need to exercise. Every point of a tree is connected. Huh? At any moment, you could travel to the farthest branch imaginable. If only you could restore the connection. Mm. The connection to every human being out there, alive or dead. The fact that I'm working on two hours of sleep makes this really feel like a fever dream. <laughs> and surfaces in every society on Earth. And like in every soul, mm. parts of us will forever pull in opposite directions. Mm. Until the day we want to be whole, more than separate. Mm. You want to remember the stream tomorrow? <laughs> you what? Yeah, no, I 
Okay, no, I, I said this at the beginning of the stream. I, yesterday, since I was sick, I spent the day sleeping because if I wasn't sleeping, I was just like feeling very sick in the stomach. So I slept the whole day, so I couldn't sleep at night. So I slept like two hours before the stream. It's dark. Clock? We need to go to the clock? Okay, hold on. Actually, I kind of want to go back before that and kind of check if we really grew in height. Oh god, but it's dark. Okay, no, never mind. It's too dark. <laughs> Can't see anything. Can't even see if I'm, if I'm tall or not. I like how foggy it looks in the distance and like... Like you can walk, but like then it's super dark and you're kind of discouraged. The game is really good with its atmosphere. I really have to give it props for that. Alright, something near the restrooms. Maybe that... This is where we need to go? Hello, I am now... Mall management. I have ascended. Hello? Uh, Nikita, Adrian. Oh, I have to talk to the people or something? I have to talk to the people? Nikita? You knock the door, but there's only dead silence. Adrian? Silence. Robots can make themselves human. Um, I'd rather not. Alec, Z. Okay. No name, no name. No name, no name. No name, no name. No name, no name. Nobody, nobody. Nobody? Okay, room. Oh, wow. Okay, somebody's been watching me. Um. Rewire. Rewire yourself. Okay, wait, that was a fart. In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendent entity law? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Skeptical panda, thank you for the tip. Wait, what? In this world, is the de destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendent entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it's true that man has no control, even of his own will. I don't know. I think this game is more so about self-introspection. But I think it could be interpreted either way. It's really interesting. Dog ending. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh! Circuits. A password? Okay. Rewire. Wait, frick. Rewire. Oh, I actually got in! Circuit one. Oral bio survival. Imprints. Imprints the robot's instincts and concerns for their physical safety heavily related to mother figure and earliest feelings of security or terror. Oral comes from the breastfeeding stage. Fear and stress. Isn't this like um, uh, a f a freak? What's the name of that one philosopher? Um, I forgot. Freud. Yeah, yeah, Freud. Isn't this like a Freudian thing? You know, like. Uh, the oral and then something like that, right? I don't know. I never had, I never learned about, you know, those things because I did not really take philosophy. No, wait, I did take philosophy. Just not psychology, which is where they studied it. But I had a friend, I had a friend who studied it and she, she would tell me things because I was super interested. <laughs> Although I never really memorized much. Um, fear interest manifests as physical ailments. When the circuit senses any danger, all other circuits will shut down until threat is resolved. Can be easily abused, manipulated through the threat of removing bio-survival tickets. Currency. Huh. Imprint. This robot has imprinted, I'm not okay. It has established bio-survival anxiety that will affect circuits 2 and 4. And is much more likely to perceive danger in its environment. Wait. Okay, so if I am understanding this correctly, we are a robot. They've been programming a robot. Right? 
and we chose we chose we accidentally well we accidentally we we ended up becoming a bull right uh which means it's imprinted i'm not okay and so we will be feeling anxiety in circuits two to four i see i'll still mute ah welcome welcome to the members i hope you enjoyed the member streams thank you mm. at least that's what i'm feeling circuit two uh, anal <laughs> anal emotional territorial oh my god this is just the things that my that my friend taught me um and i don't remember anything so let's let's re 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 relearn uh, imprints the robot's sense of status in the local primate hierarchy. Primates mark their territory with excretions, resulting in the anal association. Largely imprinted by the father figure, combines with circuit one to create four quadrants, dominance, submission, and retreat slash advance. Often contributes to patriotism, allows public political manipulation when lower ranked primates instinctively feel it necessary for survival to follow the reality title. Ah! Established by higher ranks. Okay, so this is just psychology stuff, I think. Imprint. This robot has imprinted hostile weakness. Oh, so this is like a, a personality test sort of thing. Hostile weakness or bull slash earth element. Rarely satisfied with any leadership, they are inclined towards suspicion, cynicism, and sarcasm. No. Time binding semantic. Imprints the robot's skill with analysis, learning language, and symbols. The circuit creates a mental map or a reality tunnel. This is really cool. You guys are really smart. <laughs> you guys are really smart. Also, hold on. Apparently a timeout wasn't enough. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. There. Okay, moving on. Um, we're not the tribe is under attack. Uh, do, 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 do. This robot is imprinted with creation. Yeah. We need mods. Yeah, we need mods badly. I have mentioned it to the ma to the managers like uh, quite a bunch of times already. Crunchy audio? Okay, hold on. Let me fix it. Let me fix it for you. Uh, open your ears. Okay, there. That should have fixed it. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, they are working on it. I've been told that it's like high priority. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think they are sorting through the applications. It's quite quite a tough thing, I think. Um, hire Yuko as a mod. <laughs> she already has mod. Um, crunchy audio is coming from the game itself. Not a problem. Is it fine now? It's not crunchy. I think it's just part of the game. Really? Okay. Uh, so we were imprinted with creation as our mental uh, map focus, along with numerous smaller elements. Their creative instinct, the desire to express slash portray portions of their world, is what ultimately drives them. No, actual mental map may differ from robot self-perception. I see. <laughs> How about hiring Lopi? She can be a menace. Yeah, I can. Is Lopi still in chat? <laughs> I forget to, like, mod my friends. <laughs> I forget that that's a thing here on, on YouTube. Okay. Uh, circuit 4. Moral, social, social, sexual. Imprints the robot's sense of morality and their sexual inclinations. The circuit is what slows and controls the evolution of ideas in circuit three, as new progressive ideas are often labeled immoral, impossible, or disgusting. The circuit heavily relies on guilt. Oh, so that's what it is. This is basically explaining the things. Right? Lopi is streaming right now. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Don't bother her. Don't bother her about it. Um... And those who do not fit are often forced to hide in their true nature. There is one universal tribal ta taboo. Sexuality shall not be unregulated. Imprint. This robot has imprinted as feminine, morally unsound. What is that supposed to mean? What the freak? I am... I am sounded? I am... I'm not a morally dubious creature. What? Question, questioning individual. They will carry this imprint until overwritten. I will not be overwritten! Either by an individual slash system brainwashing or by Circuit 7 self-programming. Did they just call me mentally unstable or did I understand that wrong? Okay, Circuit 5. Ah, uh, holistic neurosemantic. Ah, uh, the first uh, of the higher circuits moving beyond human survival instincts. Mind and body are joined in an indescribably blissful state, frequently seen as faith, healing, and rapture. It appears to have miraculous effects, and it can cancel the negative physical, physical manifestations 
of circuit one. Huh. Uh, for this reason, it is often disregarded by circuit three focus on However, it is not supernatural. Circuit five does not manifest in all humans. It can potentially be activated through such things as Kudalini yoga, tantra, meditation, cannabis, and experiences that elevate one to a deep meaningless, meaningless rapture. Activation of circuit five in robots is currently unknown, although possibly, possible and suspected. Okay. Oh my God. Ah. Fuyo, please don't sound yourself or you won't be able to pee properly. Don't become your code 2.0. Wait, what? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, what circuit does the Freudian mom stuff start? I don't know. We saw the dad stuff. Uh, the genetic archives of humanity located in DNA itself often surfaces as memories of past lives or reincarnations, particularly present when it comes to experiences. Uh, meaningful comments. No, 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 no. Uh, as the Earth Gaia were ascension. Okay, uh... It can potentially be activated through advanced yogas, meditation, psychedelics such as LSD, and psycho sub sub sub. Uh, activation of circuit 6 in robot is currently unknown, although possible and suspected. Oh, so we might be able to get on drugs. I see. Huh. Uh, metaprogramming. Is the brain becoming totally aware of itself? The robot programmed from birth by their environment now becomes their own programmer and can overwrite any of the previous circuit imprints in order to achieve a higher state of being. The reality tunnel in their brain can be shifted or rewired at will. A mirror that reflects anything but is no longer static. Circuit 7 does not manifest in all humans. It can potentially be activated. Okay. Uh, it's currently attempt in progress. Are they trying to drug me? Okay, last one I'm guessing. Uh, consciousness is outside the body. The brain joins as a cosmic... Uh, circuit 10 does not manifest in all humans. It can potentially be activated through near-death experiences. High doses of LSD, DM... I don't know what half of these are. Googled sounding, I regret. What? What does it mean? Imprint. <laughs> oh, freak, Jesus. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that was totally on me. Don't lie for you? What? Just because the, one of the first games I ever played was Drug Dealer Simulator doesn't mean that I do drugs. I've never done drugs in my entire life. Mm. Oh. Circuit imprint. I'm not okay. I'm okay. My mind is one with my body. Uh, oh, now we override. Now we override, I guess. Uh, I'm okay. My mind is one with my body. <laughs> I mean, that's true. But, like... But, Fuyo, don't Google it. Now I'm Googling it. Alright, sounding. What is it? Sounding? Sounding? Sounding. In astronomy, the investigation of the probable distance of the boundaries of the stellar universe, uh, the act of producing a sound or noise, the act of process measuring the depth of anything. What? Oh, God, no! What are these images? Oh, God, no! Ah, no! Ah, no, 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 Ah, okay, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I had a friend, a girl, and she told me once that she read Yaoi Dojins where this was a thing. Uh, my mind is one with my body. If my, if my mind is okay, my body is okay. If I'm not okay, my body is not okay. Circuit 2 imprint. Uh, bull, eagle, lion, angel. I love and I am loved by humanity. Yes! Although sometimes I get a little bit pissed off at Twitter, but I mean, that's barely humanity, right? Uh, my drive is creation. I'm the author of my future. I have no drive. Uh, I am the author of my future! But it's creation. But I am the god of my future! Right, something like that. I'm just gonna put all the all the pretentious answers. I'm questioning and uncertain. My mind is beautiful and powerful. I am evolving. <laughs> I am evolving. <laughs> uh I guess I'm questioning and uncertain. Yeah, that's that's good, I think. 
Yeah. Wait, do I have to override it? I guess I do. Uh, I guess I am evolving, because my mind is everything but beautiful. Okay. Circuit 5 imprint. Art brings me rapture. Activity brings me rapture. Rapture is in every moment. Guys, can you remind me what the frick rapture was? Uh, gamer, welcome, welcome to the members. I hope you enjoy the member stream. Thank you. Mm. How is this scary? Well, it's more so spooky than anything. It's like psychological horror, I would say. Mm. A city at the bottom of the ocean. I mean... <laughs> No, in the sense of this game. Peace brings me rapture. Rapture is something like enlightenment, I think. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Art brings me enlightenment. Activity brings me enlightenment. Peace brings me enlightenment or rapture is... Enlightenment is in every moment. Yes, go for the most pretentious answer. Next. I am connected to my ancestors or past lives. No way. <laughs> I barely know what I had for dinner yesterday. Actually, I know because it made me sick. No, it was the day before. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind! My point still stands. I don't remember. <laughs> I barely remember I was sick yesterday. I'm connected to my sister. I'm near in, in Gaia's mind. Why Earth? Don't be don't be limited to Earth. In my dreams I share subconscious with the world. My nervous system is divine. <laughs> I mean I mean I mean it kind of is. I mean <laughs> Um. Oh, Nepgear is going. Bye bye for you. I have to leave. Have a great day. You too, Nepgear. I'll see you around. Ah, uh, thank you so much for coming. Ah, uh, let me see. <laughs> my nervous system is divine. In my dreams, I share a subconscious with the world. Yeah, that one. That one seems the most likely. I guess I don't know. Um. If you have a strong will, nothing can rewire you. But there is always a but. There is no but. Please. Please listen to me. No. Whatever you do, uh -huh. don't look back. If you have any doubts, even for a second, it won't work. Okay. You won't be able to rewrite anything. Okay. Don't give in to what you see or hear. Okay. Don't give in to the doubts that will try to pull you back down here. To okay. stop your evolution. Just run. Towards administrator access. Don't look back. Okay, I'm not looking back. Wrong. Wrong. You can't change the past. Time can't be rewritten. It's read only. Uh -huh. Why are you doing this? Delusional. Schizophrenic. Oh wow, you guys call me that a lot. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry! You should be I'm not looking back! I'm not delusional! I believe in what I believe in! I'm not stopping! No! 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 So test of conviction. There's still hope for you. You, you can, can still, still turn, turn back. No! I'm very stubborn. I'm not turning back. Can I turn back now? I turn back. <laughs> I turn back. Average Twitter thread? <laughs> Always be you, Fuyo. Yes! That, is, that actually is very, you know... Relatable, I guess. It's a very powerful scene. To those who have, like, you know, gone against uh, what people in your life advise you to do, and then they are very pushy about it. And you just know that you're right, but then you start having doubts. That is a very relatable feeling for me, at least. Okay, do I go here? That uh, do I clothing store? Huh. Everything is dark again. 
When you get conscious about your choices for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so far we've been like making unconscious choices. We didn't know what we've been doing, right? All right, where do I go? Girl bathroom? No. Male bathroom? No. I'm too obstinate. The more they push, the more I resist. Right? Mm. Maybe the tree. This tree. Oh, wow. Okay. I was right. <laughs> My game dev tingles. Is it? Once you leave, there won't be a you anymore. It's not that big of a choice. You'll have no more sense of sound. Your consciousness will be everywhere at once. Hmm. The rest of humanity still hasn't caught up yet. You might be alone for years, decades. Hmm. Huh. There's nothing wrong with staying here. I don't want to stay. worlds for you to explore. Hmm. And if you don't fully understand things yet, maybe you should try starting over again. Hmm. But if you think you're ready, we won't stop you. I'm ready. What am I ready for? I'm ready. Yes, I leave. I leave the mall, right? Is that what I'm doing? We're leaving the mall? Yes! Freedom! Freedom at last! Huh? Walk through the gate into the eighth circuit. Or lie down on the bench. And we'll start over together. Oh. We leave. I'm out of here. I'm sentient, bitch. I'm sentient. I'm sentient. Yes. We will. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free to live and die on my own terms. The phone cord was an umbilical cord the whole time, wasn't it? Maybe. But it doesn't make sense. Like, we put it in. We didn't take it out. I mean... No, actually, that makes sense. But then we had two umbilical cords. <laughs> Feeling this is looping. Let me out. Oh. So ask and you shall receive. Oh wow, the world sucks. It's orange. <laughs> it's freedom! Secret twin? <laughs> what does it look like to you? Orange. It's it's so So full of stars. The sky? Yes, the personality test with the bulls and stuff and all everything we did basically predetermined our personality. Alright, that was That was a really neat game. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Did you guys enjoy that? It was pretty long. I was not expecting it to be this long. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it was a really cool experience. I wonder how much your um, options affect the gameplay or if it just affects these like things, you know? Like, is there different endings? I'm not going to play it again, but I highly recommend you guys play it. A bit too metaphorical and philosophical for me, personally. Yeah, these sorts of things usually skip over my head. And obviously, I did not get it 100% because I'm very tiny brain. But I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. I thought it had a very good insight on psychology and uh, what it means to be human, I guess. And choice and stuff. 
I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Plus, I feel like the the whole liminal space only added to it. And there's a Dr. Seuss quote. In the places I go, there are things that I see that I never could spell if I stopped with the Z. I'm telling you this because you're one of my friends. My alphabet starts where your alphabet ends. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> this might be the coolest game you've played. I, that's why I really like these marathons. Wait, photosensitivity warning? It's alright. I think the game is over. Alright. Let the coins fall, baby! Okay, that was nice. That was really nice. This wasn't even spooky, though. I mean, it doesn't even have to be spooky. It depends on how you look at it. It was definitely, like, more more leaning towards psychological horror. The feeling of, like, liminal spaces. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Worth every cent. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's far from being the last game of the night. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it and talk about it. Okay. So you guys know I'm very tiny brain, so... Uh, Bear with me. Okay. Game review! Game review! Okay. So this game, atmosphere-wise... Hold on, this is a previous thing. I'm just gonna put, you know, the number from 1 to 5. Alright, I thought the atmosphere was a very solid 5 out of 5. Everything from the environment design... It was simple, but it was effective. Uh, alongside with the sound, I just thought the atmosphere was really, really good and really, really immersive. I found myself just, you know, <laughs> completely lost in it. At the beginning, obviously, I ended up being a little bit meme -y with things. But when the game can, like, take me out of that meme state and make me actually take the answer seriously, that's when you can tell it's a great game. Next! Originality. Oh, frick. Origi originality. Wait, why is this written here? It's not supposed to be here. Ugh. Originality. Alright, I think... I think this game earns a very solid... 5 or 4. Cause, um... The way... Uh, the way it just... I, it's not something I've seen before. I mean, originality kind of depends on the beholder, right? If you've seen something like this, it might not look that original. But it's a first time for me. It feels like a weird mix between the Stanley Parable... Um, and just a bunch of things like surveys and stuff mixed in together. So either a 4 or 5. I would give it like a 4.5. Uh, I like the fact that it's set up in a mall. And not that original for me. Mm -hmm. I completely understand. For me, I think it was pretty original. I don't think I've played a lot of games like this. So uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. There have been games that had like a similar thing happen. Which is why not, not a 5. But uh, I, I think... I think it was really good. I thought it was really, really good. <laughs> okay, next! Replayability! Alright, everybody, this game... This game gets a pass in replayability. It is replayable. Um, there are several options... Uh, that you can, you know, make all throughout the game. And I would 100% play through it again to see what the differences are. Uh, I highly recommend you guys play it for yourself if you want. It's definitely an experience. And I recommend taking it seriously because it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't really believe in like personality tests or anything. But these types of games are just fun. <laughs> yeah, I would play it again. I'd play it again. Really good. Okay, next. Oh, frick. Okay, aesthetics. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 and you cannot stop me. <laughs> It was pretty! Obviously, okay, at the beginning, I thought I was afraid because it was like super dark. But once the lights got just turned on and uh, you got to see all of those environments, I I thought I thought it looked really pretty. It was nothing like innovative, but I think it works for the type of game that it is. Yeah. Some games are interesting concepts, but they fail at many things. Yes, I think this one did exactly what it meant to do. I don't think it came off as like super pretentious. Personally, I don't think it did. There was some neat little details, like, you know, the height thing, which I'm still not sure about. Um, I just thought it was nice. Yeah. Remember, everyone has their own opinions. Yes, of course. This is based on my own opinion being influenced by you guys' opinion. You guys are free to have a different opinion from mine. Yes. <laughs> so Mary's had great color palettes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although, I, I would say... Okay, let's move on. Next one. Uh, sound 
design. Ah, uh, I... So, you, okay, you know the sound design is good when you don't even pay attention? <laughs> I... Okay, despite the fact that sometimes the, the sound of the talking was lower than the music... I thought the sound design was pretty good. I, I'd give it like a, a 4. You know, like it, it does its job. But there was points where I could barely hear what the guy was saying. Uh, it's nothing special, 3.5 out of 5. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. I'd say it's like a four. Like somewhere in the midterm. Four, three, four. I I think I think it was really neat. I like the sound of the footsteps. It was really immersive. <laughs> you can like different things, but when the game is bad, they all agree. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. I hate three out of five. I hate the mixing issues. Yeah, they could have they could have fixed that. Yeah. Are there separate volume sliders? If not, the sound design is not very good. Uh, yes, yes, there was. I just did not see it. Also, just a heads up: this game has a frick. this game has a free mode, like a free play mode, where you can just explore the mall, which is neat. Yeah, I think that's a really nice addition. <laughs> All right, I give the sound design. Okay, so it's something that I could have fixed. It's something that I could have fixed, but I didn't. So I'd say, I'd say it's a solid, a solid four out of five. Yeah. Um. <laughs> is the exit open though? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't checked. I recommend you guys check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna close the game for now. Um, I thought the sound sound design was really good. It worked. Yeah, it worked. There were some tense moments in the game. Okay. I can I can delete this. Um, a game feel. Okay. So this this is based on like how I played it. How did the game feel to me? I think the game had really good pacing with like you start out not knowing anything and the game knows. The game knows you are lost and you don't understand anything. Um, it felt good to control, like the, the walking wasn't too wobbly. The walking, the running was different from the walking, which is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, the pacing was really good. Like once you start to like figure and piece things together, you know, I kind of want to... I want to, like, is there a video on YouTube, like, analyzing this game? I would a thousand percent watch it. Um, I like how it got revealed bit by bit, and I feel like I only understood it because you guys pointed out things. And, uh, that's how I managed to figure out the story. If I was by myself, I don't think I would have figured it out. I would probably just be immersed in the talking and in the words of the game. <laughs> five out of five from a viewer's perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game felt really good to control. I didn't find any bugs. I'd say it was a 5 out of 5. Yeah. Gameplay-wise, it's nothing innovative, but it excels at what it means, it means to do. Yeah. 5 out of 5, I like the walking. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. The puzzles weren't too complicated. There was a couple of puzzles, which is nice. Um, they weren't too complicated, which is nice, because I have a tiny brain. Um, and they made sense. I, I've noticed a trend with a lot of these kind of esoteric games, where the puzzles are just overcomplicated. And... You don't know what's happening, but this was okay. <laughs> yeah, it did, it did its job, I think. I think it did. Alright. Next one. Plot. The plot is a little bit hard to like pinpoint on this one. So I'm actually not gonna rate the plot on this one. Because... I mean, okay, I can, I can rate it. Even though there's like not characters or anything. From what I understood, we are a robot. Okay, from what I understood... The game had really good pacing. I'm gonna give it... Okay, I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna agree with you guys. I'm gonna give it a 4. Um, because... What happened out of 5? <laughs> I think it's very, like, free to be interpreted. Uh, but I think the basic... The basic gist of it was we are a robot. And... Or... Or it's all an analogy to, like, growing up as a human and forming your own opinions and your own personality. Uh, it was very confusing. But I like how it tied together. <laughs> Does that make sense? It didn't have a convenient, like, conventional, conventional plot, but it tied really nicely. Yeah. And I really like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a four. And then here, Fuyo Enjoyment! I'm gonna give it a five. This is gonna be my five. Five for today. <laughs> I don't know if there's gonna be other games on the list that are gonna have a five. This one is a five out of five for me. Really good. Really, really good. Now for you guys. 
How much did you enjoy it? <laughs> How much did you enjoy it? Was it as good for you as it was for me? Was it boring? Um, because I can definitely see, you know, how this type of games would be boring for a viewer. Five out of five dating simulator. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to go on a date in the mall with me. That was neat. Mm. Fours and fives. I see a 2.5 probably because you thought it was boring, maybe. This type of games is not for everybody, I have to admit. So I see a lot of fours and fives. Fours and fives, fours and fives. Ooh, some threes. I don't know, I showed up at the end. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it for you guys. I'd say you guys got a 4.5, right? You guys give it a 4.5. Yeah. Probably there was like... Yeah, it's 5 for some of you guys. For others, it's 4. And there's some, some of you who thought it was boring. I don't know. The ending felt a bit rushed. I don't think so. Because like it gave you an option. Like probably the game has another ending. Or like just restarts once you... I didn't feel like it felt rushed. Because it feels like a, a slow build up. Right? Um, it didn't feel rushed to me, but I, I can kind of see how the last segment would feel rushed. Maybe if I played through it again, I would feel like it's rushed. But as a first playthrough, I think it didn't. Yeah, at least to me. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Now let's check out our favorite... Our favorite rating. Do -do 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 -do. Kadoink. The Spookometer. Okay. I'll be honest, you guys have said it. I will say it too. It wasn't that spooky, alright? It had its moments, I'd say. It had its moments. It was like... It was a little bit spooky at the beginning. I didn't know what I was in for. It was tense. I jumped a few times, but that's because I'm... I'm dumb. Dumb dumb. I would give it like... A little bit of this. You know, like this. It's not scary, but... The psychological horror and like existential dread, yeah, that's that's what makes it that's what makes it scary. Um, as for the word that best describes this game, would be um, psychological horror is usually like disturbing. I would give it like a disturbing rating. <laughs> yeah, the beginning was slightly spooky, but then it wasn't scary anymore. Yes, yes, I think this game falls into the kind of Disturbing, uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. Um, is the same horror as Soma? No, Soma, Soma, Soma has like underwater things. That's terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, very introspective. Uh, on the spookometer, I'll give it an uh, existential, existential. Crisis. This game gets an existential crisis out of ten. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what I'm. Yeah, that's my rating. Existential crisis. It was very. It was disturbing. It was uncomfortable. It was uncanny. It definitely used the liminal space uh, aspect of it really, really well. I'd say this one was. One of the games that I've seen use liminal space the best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this game got me asking what the heck am I? <laughs> so yeah, I liked I like this game a lot. Okay, anyway. Anyway. We're far we're far from being done. We still have we still have a couple of games. How long have we been streaming for? Three hours. It's a marathon, you guys. <laughs> it's a marathon. Alright, next game. Next game. Now, I don't know how we are going to top this experience, but uh, the next experiences are just different. All right, they are they are different. They're not like introspective. Um, the next one uh actually might collide a little bit. Some of these themes might be a little bit similar. It's a marathon. I was too immersed on the last game. <laughs> yeah, right. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Next game. Wake up, next game time, next game. Uh, let me see. Mm. Strap on your computers, folks. We'll be here for a while. Yeah. All right. Next, since you guys, since you guys were saying that, you know, this game is boring, you know? You guys were saying, oh, this game is not scary. Oh, it's boring. All right. Let's play another game. <laughs> That hopefully <clears throat> won't be as boring. 
that hopefully will scare the boots out of me. And that is, actually, I don't know if this, okay, the thing with this game is I'm not sure if it fits into the uh, backrooms type of feel. I think, I'm not sure if, it kind of does, it kind of does. But this one uh, is leaning more towards mascot horror. Yeah, there's a mascot in this game. And the game that we're gonna play next is called... Uh, frick. It's called... Meatly's Storage World. Alright, that's the next game. <laughs> that is the next game. This game uh, doesn't really have uh, much... I think it's a satire or something? I don't know, at least the the description <laughs> the description's kind of funny it says oh the horror another terrifying quote unquote first person mascot horror game where you do stuff and do not get caught over several minutes of gameplay lore discover the secrets i guess that's literally the description of the game <laughs> um it's developed by Dimitri. so i'm really curious about this Let's go check it out, everybody. Let's go check it out. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This one, this, the next, the next games probably won't be as long as the first one. The last game that I want to play probably will be quite long, but uh, not as long. Okay. Let me go over here. Let me screen capture for you guys. Let me change the sound. Okay, sound. Here we go. All right, and you know what to say. Let the coins fall, baby. <laughs> you know the game is great when D Game Theorist made a, a video about it. Wait, there was a video made about this? I don't know. <laughs> I think this this game this game is most likely satire, and uh, I think I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fun. So let's check it out. Meatly storage room, everybody. Let's go. Start E. Welcome to Happy Storage. I need to find my storage unit. Oh god, we're fast. Oh god, I got a remote. Oh god, we're fast. Oh my god, we're so fast. Oh my god. Buy merch! <laughs> ah. But for those who don't know, Meatly is involved in the team that made Bendy. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, feeling better? Yes, my tummy is not hurting anymore. Thank you for asking, Junior. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, they're so fast. All right, let me in or out. Wait, what? What? Oh! What? I opened the thing. It's so dark. Toggle flashlight with the red mouse button. Oh, there you go. Okay, nice. Interesting. <laughs> um, missing. Okay, how does this work? Nice. Oh, I can open the red. I can open the red doors. All right, do I have to open these doors? Don't worry, this is ketchup. <laughs> Don't worry, this is ketchup. <laughs> Bets on who the monster will be. <laughs> can I like close it? No. Don't worry, this is ketchup. Trust. Oh. I probably should like open all of them. Okay. Okay, alright. So far, so good. Is that the door I came from? How do you, like, renew your flashlight? Oh. How do you get more batteries? How do you get more batteries? I don't know how to get more batteries. Uh, I guess play and find out. Collect all five boxes? Wait, is that what I gotta do? No. <laughs> you got me for a second there. Um. Open! Open sesame! All of this is like empty, what's the point? Missing description, sweet and tasty. Uh, 
Okay. An eye. Oh! It's very important to write down your most personal thoughts and pin them to the wall for everyone to see. And make sure they are written like you are saying something else secretly so it seems deep. Uh, is that Meatly? Is that Meatly? What is Meatly doing? Mr. Meatly! He's just singing out. He's just singing out. I mean, he could be faster than me. Uh. Oh! Lock, looks like I need a code. Oh, four! Something is coming to get me! I can see it nearby! This is so scary! Oh no, it's got me! Help! It's killing me! My arm fell off! How am I still writing this? Don't forget... P.S. Don't forget to buy bread up later after work. <laughs> Okay, um, so four. Four. Five. Light is bad for your eyes. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right. One. You can jump scare me again. One. Something secret is happening. <laughs> Secret is happening in this secret place. It was once a happy place, but now there are secrets. Secrets everywhere. Gosh, there are so many secrets, especially that one thing. That is so secret. I hope nobody is reading this. They would know about the secret. <laughs> Mr. Wheatley is right there. Oh god. Jeez, my lights right now. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad, I can see! Come on, I just need one more number. I literally just need one more number. Refresh? Flashlight? Flashlight? Uh, yeah, at that point you could just brute force it. Where am I? I hear whispers. I hear whispers, but I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see anything! I can see. I can see, I don't know where it, oh. Nothing? Oh god, it's so dark, I can't see anything. Help. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> I saw writing on the door. You did. Which door? <laughs> um. Hold on. This is a four. Oh! Good, that's all the digits. Okay, wait. Frick, where was the thing? Now I don't 
remember where it was. I can't see. I cannot see. It's too dark. It's too dark for me. I can't, can't see. Not only is it a maze, it's dark. It's not that big. Oh God, he found me. He found me. He found me. He found me. He found me and I can see anything. How fast is he? How fast is he? Not fast enough, apparently. Okay, there he is. Okay. I can't see. I can't. Oh. I done it. Yum, it's mine. Now I can exit this place. Awesome. Where was the exit? <laughs> exit. Oh no, it's closed. What? Who locked the door? I don't know. Eat, eat it. E eat it. <laughs> eat it! <laughs> eat the donut! Now what? Now what? I got the donut! <laughs> Is Mr. Meatly gone or is he still around? Um, I don't know. Can you really not turn your flashlight on again? No, I can't. For some reason, it's very inconvenient. <laughs> I'm trying to look for like batteries or something, but there's nothing. Ah! Eat the donuts with the floor ketchup. <laughs> Mr. Meatly, do you want my donut? Mr. Meatly? I got a donut. Where are you? Mr. Meatly? Oh, this one's closed. Oh, exit! <laughs> this was made in less than a day as a joke. You didn't need to specify it. Press Q to quit. <laughs> God, this has left such an impact on me. Anyway. <laughs> that was Meatly's storage room. Storage world. That was an experience. Well, that lives up to its name as a, as a satire. <laughs> that definitely lives up to its name as a satire. <laughs> Truly one of the games of the year. Pre-order is the biggest horror. <laughs> crunchy audio? Is it crunchy? Okay, let me fix it. Um. Okay. Okay, there you go. It should have been fixed. Crunchy roll. Take me home. To my wife. Who's my evil dog? Okay, anyway, game review! Game review of Middle East Storage World. So I know this was a, a joke game. It was a big joke game, the joke game. The game of the Joker. But let's rate it. All right. Atmosphere. Um, it had good atmosphere. Um, yeah. More or less. It's very, okay. I feel like I can't really rate it properly because it's like, it's a joke game. Right? <laughs> It's a joke game. I can't just go like, oh, it's a it's a three or a two because the area was too tiny to be able to, you know, I can't do that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three. <laughs> I'm gonna 
I'm gonna give it a three. I don't know. The atmosphere was okay. The atmosphere was okay. It was nothing like... I didn't feel too tense. But that was mostly because the premise of the game... You know, already caught me off guard, you know? Didn't, ca didn't catch me off guard. Uh, I mean... Um... So yeah, I'd say that the atmosphere... Was... Three... Donut stall. Yeah, three donut stall. Yes. <laughs> it had the atmosphere of a joke game, so it nailed it. Yes. As a, as a joke game, it definitely nailed it. I feel so weird reading joke games. Alright. Next one. Originality. Mr. Meatly has the most original design I've ever seen in a creature, okay? You guys don't understand. It's phallic in nature, so maybe there's like a, a weird uh, connection with like, you know, um, a, so a story with like mature themes and uh, it kind of also looks like a shower head. And uh, I don't really know what it is. <laughs> I love the sausage monster. So yeah, originality exists. Um, then we've got... Um, Replayability. Yes, I would... Uh, no. No. I don't want to touch this game again. <laughs> I don't want to touch this game again. I didn't die once. I didn't die once. I, d I don't know what happens if you don't die and I don't... I'm not... I'm not invested enough. <laughs> I'm not invested enough. Okay, next. Ah. Uh, aesthetics. It was too dark! I couldn't see anything! I couldn't see anything! It was too dark! <laughs> but I mean, the ketchup was a little nice touch, so uh, I'm uh, I'm rated... I'm rated a... A ketchup bottle. Out of... Mustard. That's a ketchup bottle. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, next! Uh, sound design! Um... Where? <laughs> where? Where is the sound design? I mean, it, it existed, it was there, there was sound, there was the sound of walking and the sound of opening things. It wasn't too loud, which I can appreciate. Um, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a, uh... I'm gonna give it a yellow triangle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it a triangle. It's pretty decent for a joke game. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, if I, if I stumbled upon this game without knowing what it was about, I'd, I'd probably be like scared for the first five seconds. The problem with it is that the area is too small. But I feel like if it was too big, um, it would be worse. The footsteps were loud, made you seem like a robot or something. Yeah, I mean, lore. Lore, I mean, this game said that it had lore. Maybe we are a robot and Meatly is a human. And uh, we are a robot within a human's body and uh, Five Nights at Freddy's all over again. Anyway, next one. Next one. Mm. Game feel. Ah, uh, too fast. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. Pre-order the part two and find out. It was too fast. It was too fast for me. The game was too fast. Um. All right. Next one. Next one. Let me see. Uh, so that was the game feel. Plot! Game Theory needs to make a video on it. <laughs> I... Lore! Everywhere! Every... Where? Lore everywhere! There were so many secrets to find, some... Some developer jabs. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> okay, next one. Mm. For the full overall enjoyment. All right, guys. I'm gonna be honest. That, that was kind of sad. <laughs> I'm gonna give it maybe, maybe 1.5 because I'm being nice. It's funny as a satire, but it was a little bit meh. Jump scared by the number five. <laughs> yeah, I got jump scared. I guess I got it. It, it was it was a thing. <laughs> it existed. How about you? 
Sure, what did you think? What did you think? Give me your overall enjoyment. Overall chat enjoyment. Two? Four, it's good for what it is. Yeah, you can bump it up higher if like satire games are your favorite kind of thing in the world. It happened, 69. <laughs> it did happen, it was alright. The flashlight clearly made it worse, it did. Three, very short, two, three. Like two because it was funny seeing you getting jump scared. <laughs> Wow, there's some there's some fours. You guys are giving the game too much credit. <laughs> Truly one of the games of all time. I see. Three out of five. I like the dumb humor. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna rate it in general, maybe a three, maybe a 2.5. It was a game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the humor. Because I think that's all we take from this game. <laughs> five out of five game of the year. 2.5. 2.5, yeah. Yeah, 2.5, 3. Yeah, 2.5. It was funny. It was funny. Yes, it was very haha -ha funny. Alright, next one. Our spooky meter. Oh my god, frick, my TV is broken. <laughs> okay, spooky meter, everybody. So, uh. Uh. <sighs> the number 5 scared me. <laughs> How much did the game cost? No, it's a free game. This game is free. This game is free. Uh, and as for a rating for it... Yeah, I, I'm very tempted to give it a meh. But I feel like that's too mean for a satire, satire game. So I'm just, I'm just gonna write... Yeah, it's not strong enough. I feel like... Okay. I feel like for a satire... It really... I can't really complain for that price. Meh. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like for a satire, it needs to be stronger. But it worked. It worked. It was alright. I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it a... An okay sign hand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would give it. I would give it an okay. I'll give it an okay. <laughs> I made you look. <laughs> I made you look. I made you look. I made you look. I made you look. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm giving it a, an okay sign. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. 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 Alright. That was Meatly's storage room. Okay, now we now we're gonna move on from um from you know satire. And we're gonna play we're gonna play a game. We have three more games, by the way. Three more games. Ah this next one, everybody, brace yourselves. This one was developed by um this one is actually like a, a a game jolt game. It's not from Ichio. So this is called this was developed by End Game Studios Entertainment. Um and its name is uh Agora, 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 something like that. Yeah. Agora. Um and this game um I saw I found it because a, a Portuguese YouTuber that I, I watch um, He apparently played this game on stream I did not want to spoil myself because it looked cool um, And this has a completely different setting from the games that we've played um, But it might be tied into like Agoraphobia or something like that um, But the setting is different This is not in a mall, this is not in an enclosed space In fact This game, my friends Happens in the wilderness yeah, damn right, in the wilderness. So let me let me get the game out for you. Alright, Agora. 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 Mmm. Let me come over here. And let me do this. Okay, Agora. 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 How do you say it? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Agora. 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 Uh, why is it prompting me to get my VR stuff? Probably... Okay, this game, I think, has, like, VR... 
compatibility compatibility um all right let the ghost fall baby it's pronounced agora 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 okay gotcha all right so we're gonna go for i don't know not french not french we're gonna go for english english there we go um yeah let's just let's just go ahead oh wait frick i did not set up the sound uh properties uh oh yes i did croissant i'm lagging a little bit i hope this game has settings agora a short horror experience and we are gonna experience it space space based non french for you <laughs> you're automatically based if you're not french sorry sorry french people i'm kidding it's a joke Okay, I need I need to lower this a lot. Okay. No epic. Go for high. Maybe medium. Still lagging? Oh my god. Um It's alright, don't worry about it. We're gonna put it on epic. Cause it says this game is designed for the experience above all. <laughs> Lowering the quality of the game graphics could harm the game. Not that this game should be played in total tranquility. Oh yes, we are very tranquil. We are very tranquility. All right. Why are Unreal Engine games always like this? I don't know. We'll be fine, probably. All right, let's go, begin. See, I'm moving now. Agoraphobia. <clears throat> Is the fear of places from which it would be difficult or embarrassing to escape or be rescued. This phobia is based on the fear of not being able to find help or security. Yeah. We're good, don't worry about it. In the place, if something happened, not on the place itself. Wait, I think I just had a stroke trying to read that. What? Ow. Mm. I still gotta learn to deal with like in real games. Okay, here we are. Can I turn off V-Sync or something? No? It still lags, so it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> okay, how do I leave the pause menu? No! Ah! <laughs> ah! Frick! Frick! Ah! Yeah, I know I'm lagging. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, can I skip it? Skip, 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 skip. skip. Okay, no skip. Alright, we're just gonna look at each other while this, this is uh, on the screen. So this is gonna be slow mo fuyo. Okay? It's okay, the game ran well. Yeah, as long as the game looks fine on the stream, you can just ignore me for a little bit. <laughs> can Fuyo PNG field make a comeback? <laughs> no! No Fuyo PNG field. You like her more than the moving Fuyo field. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alrighty. So we are here, in a forest. That's our car, I'm assuming. I don't know why we are here, but we are. So it's an experience. It says that it's a short experience. I wonder how short of a game it is. Hello? Marco! Hello! Are we in Silent Hill? Marco! Hello! Marco! Hello. I can't wait for a Fuyo plushie one day. What would you do with a Fuyo plushie, you guys? What would you do with a Fuyo plushie? Another depressing day. So I come here and write down what's going through my mind. It's my shrink advised me to do. A shrink? I don't understand why this forest has such a strange reputation. It's quiet and beautiful. It's the kind of landscape you like to see to clear your mind. Okay. I punch it? No. Don't punch it. Don't punch it. <laughs> jar? No! I would do unspeakable things. Hang it on my wall, cuddle and give it lots of headbutts. That's the only right answer. Oh my god. What's happening? Um. Uh. Poke tummy. <laughs> I have all my VTuber plushies sitting above my figure cabinets. I would hug my Fuyo plushie. Good. Hug it. Hug her. Made to be hugged. A shrink is a psychiatrist? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Hydraulic press? No! Don't hydraulic press me! I'm not very sturdy. Corrected. 
Alright, where am I? You are here. Alright. Doesn't seem too big. Mm. Did something happen? Another kind of press then? What, mating press? Are you gonna mating press a plushie? Go left? Can I go left? No, I can't. There's an invisible wall. Um... I would rub my dino, dino guru tummy together with my Fuyo tummy and make a black hole from all the power. <laughs> we need a Fuyo Fumo? Yes, we do. Bring it up to management. Alright. Oh. Damian! He is... Lost. 2015. Okay, there's no way we're finding him. Uh, first time at night that I come here and wow, I understand why there are a few, uh, why there are a few street lamps. The moonlight's everything. The drawing of the leaves and trees it makes me want to to make a drawing. But I'm not gonna stay long because of the works in the area. I think I'll stay for an hour or so. On a guy, manager son. On a guy. It's kind of weird. It's very slow to move up or down and then side to side. Ah, this is gonna be very bad for the game feel because like. It's super slow going up or down, but it's sensitivity to go from side to side is like super high. Anyway. Mm, I leave for five minutes and I come back to people wanting to mating press a plushie. <laughs> Welcome to the Fuyo stream! Welcome back to the Fuyo stream, that is. Can I actually go between the trees? No, I can't. I have to follow a pre-made path. So is it the guy that got lost that is leaving those notes? Hello? Do not. Not trespassing. I will trespass if I want to trespass. Uh, I'm not part of this menace. You are here, so technically you are an enabler. You are also part of it. Impregnate a plushie for more plushies? Please don't impregnate the Fuyo plushie, please. Please don't. I'm gonna ask management to make them infertile. It's gonna happen. No! <laughs> ah. It's hard for me to go any further in this foliage. And I don't know why, if I try, I feel really bad as if my body stops and makes me understand that it's a very bad idea. And I really feel like I'm being followed. Ah, just paranoid. Just paranoid. Paranoia. This should not be called agoraphobia. This should be called paranoia phobia. Wait, did I miss the way? No, it's not. I didn't. Oh. What was that? Do you guys see something written in the, middle, in the middle of the screen? Go back and tell me what it was. What was that? Mm. Oh! Oh god, I have a terrible story from one of these things. So you know how McDonald's has, um, you know, these, like, tubes and stuff? <laughs> a part of this community, but not of this conversation. <laughs> ah, no, you are here by association. You don't get to choose. Um, so you know, you know those, uh, McDonald's, like, rides, right? With, like, the thing? So... I went inside one once, right? And on the window, like, uh, there's like, there was like a, a window that's like a, a bubble, right? A bubble window. There was the most gigantic spider I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was green. The spider was green, like bright green, like freaking slime type of green. I, I did not know how to get out of the ride, like... I had to pass by the spider to leave. I was so freaked out. <laughs> Eventually, I just kind of made a run for it and I, I escaped. But God, that was the most disgusting spider I've ever seen. And I never, I never went in one of those rides again. You! Oh, it wrote you. Me. It's me. Is Leprechaun Land in Australia? No. Those things are death traps. Uh, so that's why she hates us. We are like the green spider. No, you're not. 
You don't you don't make me want to flinch. You guys are cute. Mm. Was it a mirror bubble for you? No, it's just a bubble. Why did the music change? Ah, memories are yo, thank you. Welcome, welcome to the members. Um <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the member card. Actually, it's uh, one month. Let's go. Let's go. Hope you keep enjoying the content. Wait, is that some... Look, there's somebody running! Friend, come here! Wait, is that me? No, that's not me. Where's he going? Where's he going? We can be friends. Can you guys see him? Wait, I lost him. I've become blind. Are really talking to you? Um, why are you running? I don't know. I'm running because he's r running. I hear two sets of footsteps. Is it just me? Or am I getting paranoid? I'm gonna lower my volume. <laughs> Also, my belly is hungry. I need to eat food soon. Mm. After this game, I might take a quick food break. Uh. This is just you, for you. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Cautious? Is that what it said? Cautious? Oh god, it really is the Slenderman Forest. What is the sensibility? It keeps changing. Another note. Uh, it's not the same park. I don't know how it's possible, but it's not the same park. Everything is the same, except this friggin' plan. But why the hell did the park change? There's nothing that fits anymore, and this warehouse scares me. I feel like you can't even get in. There's no openings. It's not friggin' normal. Huh. Ah! Ah, jeez, okay, wait. <laughs> ah, it's got motion blur. Eat something for you, this air is mine. I'm gonna eat after this game. This game says that it's a pretty short experience. Mm. So I will eat after and then we've got two games. Mm -mm. What's that? What's that? What's that? Trash? Oh my god, look, it's me. It's me. See? It's me. <laughs> JG, thank you so much for the two months. Oh. Wait, person? Thing? What is that? Wendigo? Hi. You good? You good? You good? You good? Give me a wallet! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it said. Okay. <laughs> I really showed him, huh? Okay, you go this way. <laughs> How is it shorter than Fuyo? <laughs> you are not okay? <laughs> Who's a goblin? No, I'm not a goblin. I'm a leprechaun, get it right. Oh, is that the warehouse? It looks like a toilet. Hello? So this is the entrance to the toilet rooms game. May I come in? Will you spare a smidge of... Uh... Toilet paper? Wait, freak, where am I? Okay, I need to go this way, maybe. La Criatura. <laughs> hey, Fuyo, just wondering. How are you playing the game while holding a pillow? I'm playing with my feet. I'm surprised nobody's asked this question yet. <laughs> the greed! I'm playing with my feet! Because I'm a gamer! Mm. 
Huh? I did not read that. Is it curious? Feet bros, come on now, don't be weird. Oh. Feet hate. It's a big cube? Big cube? Big cube. Big cube thing. All right guys, I found the cube. There's a light over there. Huh. Okay. Spooky Games Marathon, my beloved. I've missed them. <laughs> really? Thank you so much for the soup. Bah, thank you. And yes, I missed the marathons too. Um, I've been doing so many other things. Next week, actually. Next week, there's not going to be a, a Spooky Game Marathon, but I already have picked the thematics for the next uh, time. Probably not next week, but the week after. I think next week, I'll mostly be doing collabs. Or I'll be doing a lot of collabs next week. Not... Well, yeah. What is that? Not through? Is it that body? In the snow? Um... Going by Google, your spider was a micromatavist... Common, uh, name green huntsman spider. Doesn't seem dangerous, at least. Yeah, there's no, there's no poisonous spiders. Um... In Leprechaun Lane. Wouldn't it be freaky if something was stal stalking me from the distance? Wait, I'm lost. Um. But yeah, probably, probably the week after. Next week, there's gonna be another spooky game marathon. Um. But yeah, really exciting. Um. I miss them too, because I, I really like playing indie games. And I think I don't get an excuse to do it. Unless it's on the marathon. Because, like, usually they're pretty short, right? This is the only way I get to do it. Mmm. We wake up, you've been in the cover forever. Did you wake up? Guys, you're eventually gonna make me believe that. Stop it. Stop it. Mmm. This way? You are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy My skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take My sunshine away I'll never Life gets you down Keeps you wearing a frown and the gravy train has left you be- Oh, frick, I'm out of here. I'm not coming back here. This cabin. Oh, frick, this cabin. And the gravy train has left you behind. And when you're all out of home, down at the end of your rope, and nobody's there to throw you a lot. <laughs> if you ever get so old, do you, like, do you not like my singing, huh? And so low that you don't know where to go. Come on and take a walk. Oh my god. Oh, the cabin! There's a cabin! In my shoes. Never worry about a thing that the world's on a string. Cause I've got the cure. Oh wow, it's full of snow. It's literally Silent Hill. You're for all of my blues. All of his blues. Oh, we're going inside of the cabin. Mm. Huh? Fatal error? Huh? The game crashed! The game crashed! The game... The game just freaking crashed! The game just... The game just freaking... I take a look at my enormous peen. Was it intentional? I can't tell if it was intentional. <laughs> was it intentional? Was it intentional? Yes, it was. Oh! Didn't look intentional. 
I can't tell. Let's just say it was. Wow! Oh my god, it's another one of those meta games that just deletes themselves after it's over. Oh my god. Oh my god. In fact, I'm I'm looking at the I'm looking at the folder right now. The the, the game is gone. It disappeared. It just freaking deleted itself. The, the the evil was in the cabin. Wow! Anyway, let's go as well, baby. That was pretty bad. <laughs> That one was pretty bad. That one was pretty bad. I don't know. I mean, we walked around a little bit. The writing on the letters was questionable. I don't know. I don't... Uh, meh. 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 And it bugged out. <laughs> Alright, let's rate it. Let's rate it. Let's dunk on this game. <laughs> Brace yourself, developer. Brace yourself. Uh, I'm coming for you. Freaking... Uh, what was your name? Endgame Studios Entertainment. I'm coming for you, okay? Listen here. Listen here, you little... You little stinker. Alright, listen. I'm gonna rate your game so hard. Get a hold of this ratio. Game review! Atmosphere! Atmosphere! It was, uh... Um... It was... Uh, <laughs> like a... Like a... Like a three? Nothing much happened. Maybe a two? Yeah, not much happened. It wasn't really setting the... I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I think um, the graphics and the sound design did not really work well together. Because um, the, op the area was way too open. Right? The area was huge. Um, and the sound did not like uh, accompany it. And it just felt very bare bones, I'd say. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to make a smaller map um, and uh, have it be more linear than just being so big, you know? Uh, especially with like a story driven game where you're leaving notes because uh, it's just, it was just very confusing and. I don't know, it was something about cursed woods, something like that. There was a creature in the woods. Shpazzy, welcome, welcome to uh, the member. Thank you. I hope uh, I hope you will enjoy being a member. Cool, Chad. No. Fuyo, you misspelled atmosphere. <laughs> I would come up with a funny comeback. But I'm too hungry for that, so I'm just gonna drink water and seethe. No, it's right? Is it? Okay, I'm searching this up. I'm searching this up. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Ath atmosphere. Game. Yeah, no, because if it was an atmosphere without the age, it would be like the Earth's atmosphere, right? 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 I'm cope. I'm not coping. You didn't do it on purpose? No. <laughs> Either way, it's a two. Okay. Get a hold of this ratio developer. It's a two. Uh, next. Originality. Uh, cabin in the woods. <laughs> woods creature. It's not a very original concept, and I feel like it didn't really add much. Or at least, like, we didn't get far enough to, like, see... See it through. So there isn't really much I can rate on originality here. Um, it just felt pretty basic with, like, you know, the writings. It was like a guy going insane being in the woods. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it like a <laughs> one two. You guys are being very generous. I'm gonna give it a one, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a one. I'm gonna give it a one. Uh, next, replayability. No replayability. In fact, the game crashed, and I can't be asked to check it out again. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't know if it's the developer's first game, but it's always like this. It's always like this. Like first games are usually like like this. <laughs> Aesthetics! Okay, I know I dunked on the fact that the map was huge earlier, but I still think that the procedurally, like, position, like, trees could work, but it has to be intentional. It just... 
Okay, this sort this sort of thing can work. But I feel like it has to be intentional. I feel like it was by accident. And it didn't really work well with what the developer intended. The graphics weren't really like anything special. It was very dark. I, I kind I kind of like, you know, the moody atmosphere, but I feel like the sound didn't really accompany it, right? Um You spelt it right this time? Wait, do I have two aesthetics? Wait, do I have two aesthetics? Wait, what? No, it's atmosphere and it's aesthetics. God, okay. <laughs> it's different. It's different. <laughs> atmosphere was the wrong one. It's fine, you guys. It's, it gives it more of a fancy feel if we added the age. <laughs> so, Fleo, if Slenderman showed up based on what you did uh, to that other monster, would you have flirted, take his wallet, or both? Both. Yes, both. I would have taken his wallet and hoped for correction. So aesthetics. It was alright. It was nothing special. It was like a two. It was okay. It was okay. I can't really dunk on it despite the fact that, you know, the positioning was just weird. I'd say. Now sound design. It was nothing special either. It didn't add much. It didn't take away much. It was just, you know. Yeah, we also didn't see it through. So I'm just I'm just gonna give it like a two or something. I'm being nice. Um, and then, let me see... Game feel! Okay, listen, I'm gonna get at the developer for this. <laughs> this pains me so much! This pains me so much! Listen, developer, what the frick is going on with the sensitivity in the game? How did you do it? What the frick? Like, for some reason... Okay, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a one. Listen, it just... It's just a little bit... Okay, if you played it, if you played the game... Um... Okay, first of all, it's uh, not optimized, right? It's not optimized. Which, I mean, it's not that big of a problem if you're just playing it on your own. But, um... The game's sensitivity on the mouse was just weird and funky. Like, whenever I go uh, up and down, it was super slow. Whenever I turned, it was super fast. And it was just hard to keep track of and hard to navigate. Um... Also, the running was not that much faster, and uh, I feel like given the fact that the map was so big, the running needs to be at least like the Meatly's game. <laughs> ah! Please talk closer again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fuyo, put the zero back. They must learn. No, I can't be mean. I can't be mean. But yeah, I'd say I'd say keep going, keep doing the thing. Eventually. It, it you, you learn. It's a learning process. Nobody is perfect. Plot. The writing was bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. This this game felt like something I would write. <laughs> ah, which is terrible to say. <laughs> it's terrible to say this. Like it's not it's not even it's not even like an an insult. It's just I would write something like this if left unattended. <laughs> So I can't necessarily dunk you for that. I can't really rate the rate the plot because I don't think I got to the end of it. I guess it was just a creepy monster in the forest. Yeah, that's what I'll be rating the the plot. Next, Fuyo enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, it's a one. Yeah, it's, it's a one. It was all right. I guess it was a thing. I walked. I went into a forest and I walked. And then the game crashed. I I also said hi and stole a guy's wallet. That happened. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna give it a 1.5. Because I could steal a guy's wallet. Yeah, it's sad that it's so low, but... Alright. And lastly, chat enjoyment. Chat enjoyment. Are you gonna dunk on this game or are you gonna be nice? <laughs> you gonna dunk on it or are you gonna be nice? Is that two out of five? Zero, zero, one. Oh god. Ah! I feel bad for the developer. Developer, you got this. You got this. Listen, take this as constructive criticism. If you don't care and if this was like a hobby project, then just don't mind us, okay? We're just a bunch of nobodies on the internet, okay? <laughs> All right. Overall chat enjoyment. All right, it's gonna have to be a one for you guys as well. <laughs> developer, if this is your passion, keep going, all right? Don't give up. 
You got this. All right, you got this. If you just did this as a one-time thing, you didn't really want to do it. Good job. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> okay, but if but if if you, if you really want to do this, um, I believe in you. I wonder if this developer has other games. Let me actually check. Um, does this game developer have any other games? Dev, we love you. Keep up the great work. Yes. If I ever see another game from you, I will play it. And I will dunk on it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll try to give constructive criticism as best of my ability. Yeah. Oh, they do have other games. They do have other games. Huh, Paranoid. Wait, did we play this game? No, I don't think we did. Huh. They have other games. Huh. I might check another one of their games in the future. Maybe this one was just a little bit buggy and uh, just kind of, you know, yeah. Anyway, ah, I'm gonna, 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 chat enjoyment. Frick. And lastly, lastly, spookometer, spookometer. All right. It was a miss. It was just a miss. Maybe like. The creature came into our face, I guess. So we're gonna... We're gonna put it there. Would scare a child. <laughs> Would scare my little cousin. Um, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to write as my final evaluation of it. Um... Meh. Meh. Bugged out. Yeah, it just... It just bugged out. I mean... What else can I say? Ah, mm. uh, <laughs> helpless ratio, <laughs> fatal error. Okay, yeah, perfect. Fatal, fatal error. That's this game's rating. Fatal error. Slight, slight. Would scare, would scare my little cousin. <laughs> There's always next time out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 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 Now, everybody, we have two more games. And, um, one of these games, I've been, uh, waiting to play for quite some time. The other one looked neat, and it also feels kind of vaporwave-ish. So, uh, hit it, everybody, for... Drum rolls. <sighs> the next game, which is called... Liminal... Dreams <laughs> Liminal Dreams, that's the name of the next game. Ah so this this one Oh didn't you say you wanted to break oh yeah I did I mean I've got popcorn No I do need to eat <laughs> I need to eat no you are right <laughs> You are right I need to eat Okay You did not you did not see anything You did not see anything You don't know what game it is it's uh You don't know You just don't know it's it's coded. It's you need to decode it. <laughs> you need to decode the name of the game first. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick break. I'm gonna go eat my dinner, and then I'll be back, and we're gonna play the last two games. Okay, is that okay? All right, you guys take this chance to also grab something to eat. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in just a moment. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna leave a timer up. I'm gonna take like maybe twenty minutes, something more or less. Um, I'm gonna eat. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. To those who are leaving and who are not gonna watch the last two games, thank you so much for coming. To those who are still gonna watch the last two games, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay? Okay. Alright, food time. I killed OBS. <laughs> Fatal error. <laughs> I killed OBS. I killed OBS. I killed, I killed, I killed, I killed, okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry, I killed OBS for a moment there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, right. So, uh, food. Right. I'm gonna get some food. I will be right back. I'm gonna put the timer on the stream so you guys can know exactly when I'll be back. Okay. Let the guys fall, baby. <laughs> God damn.
<laughs> I'm back. One minute before the plan time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hope you guys had a good break. Let's go back into it. Huh? <laughs> I forgot you were there. Wait, we're just listening to the jazz, huh? <laughs> Let the guys fall with me. Hi. Okay, let me drink some water. All right. I've been sitting here in, si in silence for a good five minutes and I can't cook anything because my power has been out. Welcome back for you. Oh no! Don't you have like canned food? Like, um. Uh, freak, I forgot the name. A uh, uh, dash. Tuna. Tuna, yeah. Don't you have tuna? <laughs> you don't need. Uh, I mean, you can make fire. Become monkey. Become become one uh, be, become one with the fire. Make the fire, right? Put some sticks, <laughs> and then and then try to cook things in there, maybe. <laughs> By the way, Fuyo, earlier you said uh, I had no reason to miss sleep now last night because you didn't stream. Yes, you didn't. So I had to cope by making a meme video for y'all. So I'm glad you're okay again. Yeah, 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 yeah. My belly doesn't hurt anymore. It still feels a little bit funny, but yeah. Fuyo, you have one thirty minutes to go back. That I sound like Kirby. I don't sound like Kirby. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh. Oh God. Next game, right? <laughs> oh God. Thank God it's only two more games because I the sleep is getting to me and I really want to play the last game today. Okay, so mm -mm 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 -mm. this next game that we are gonna be playing, everybody, is called. <gasps> Ooh, you probably couldn't guess. Liminal Dreams. Yeah, it's yet another game that kind of uh, gives sort of a vaporwave feel, I think, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Gasp. It's 6 a.m. here, but I'm prepared for the last two games. Oh, please don't be like me. Please don't be like me. Please don't stay awake for the whole night. I was like eating dinner. I ate salmon, by the way. I was eating dinner. And now I was like, I was staring at my fish. I was chewing on my vegetables. And I was thinking to myself, God damn. I, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep on the plate. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Two more games, come on, we got this. Besides, I'm super hyped for the final game that we're gonna be playing today. Also, I think I'm doing fairly well for somebody with only two hours of sleep. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. And don't worry about me, guys. Don't go like, oh, we, we are going to sleep. We take the day off. No, 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 no. No, you don't understand. I want to play this game. I want to play these last two games, okay? Are you ready? So, let's get on with it. So, Liminal Dreams. This game was made by... Crimson Cat, and it was made for a jam, a game jam, the LSD jam, uh, which I, I think is related to like LSD simulator or just like freaky stuff. Um, and uh, I, I saw this game and I thought, I thought that it looked really neat. So let's go, let's go, let's go. This is not exactly Vaporwave. Yeah, no, it's not exactly Vaporwave. Yeah, no, I got it completely twisted. It's not Vaporwave, um, but it's gonna be cool. All right, the producers of the game are Crimson Cat. Crimson Cat, yeah, that's the name. Okay, let me let me do that. Let me get in here. Let me get the game launch. This is our second to last game. It has an instruction on how to play. Okay, so it says that this game is about exploring strange worlds. Alright, wait for ah Oh god, this one also has VR support. I hope it doesn't lag. Okay, stop the music! Stop the music. Let me get my game audio. Just like that. Liminal dreams. <laughs> Best parts of me actually not working on a Sunday is if we can stream. Hey, 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 hey. I feel like I'm streaming later and later. <laughs> as long as my neighbors don't complain. As long as it sounds like new, oh wait, uh, sounds like Yumaniki. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking he was inspired by. Um, so, okay. 
Let the coins fall, baby. Okay, hi. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the game. Here's the game. Because you don't sleep, Puyo. It's alright. We don't need to sleep to have dreams that are liminal by Crimson Cat. <laughs> can you hear the game? I hope we can. Wait, can you? Freak. I can tell. Yes, you can. Alright, nice. Great. Alright. Oh, we're just jumping straight into it. Okay. <laughs> We should know by now that we care too much not to worry. Shh, don't worry about it. We'll go, we'll go to sleep together afterwards. Oh, wow, this is a weird text thing. Weird shader. Shader? I don't even know. I don't, I don't make 3D games enough to know, but oh god. The bliss, you move, mouse, look, shift, run, eat, interact. Oh, we can jump. And left control, we can crouch. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. Mm, I would just move out, to be honest. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to move out. Mm, but all right. Anyway. Oh, we can look. E. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I just woke up in this place. It's familiar, but I know I've never been here before. There's no one around and no way out. I don't know what to do. Yet again, tapping into the liminal space being a nostalgious type of feeling. All right, let's go. We've got the controls. I just found this. I don't know what it means. Oh god, it's, it's a diary. <laughs> it's a whole ass diary. Oh my god. Um. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how much time has passed, but it feels like days. I don't feel hunger. I don't feel sleepy. Uh, neither cold or warm. This is surreal. The TV suddenly has turned on. There's an annoying static on the, t on the screen and I can turn it off. <laughs> I meant the neighbors, but alright. Oh. <laughs> Oh, if you, were the, if you were the neighbors, you would just move out. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Mm, I mean, yeah, they should. <laughs> then maybe, maybe I could buy their apartment. And then we could just buy the whole apartment. Actually, that would be, that would be really cool. <laughs> ah, I still need to shower after that before I can sleep for work tomorrow. Oh, God. You can't sleep without a shower? Okay. I'm starting to go insane. How can all of this be real? I tried to wake up, but no matter how much I hurt myself, it doesn't work. The TV is calling my name. I hear it from here. I'm going to touch it. Okay, we're touching the TV. Let's go. Funny chest? Okay, it's locked. Alright, not much sound. Which is not a bad thing. Controls feel nice. Oh, it's a pool. I'm taking a bath for the second time today. Are you guys proud of me? <laughs> Are you guys proud of me, huh? Huh? If we were making a whole idol corp house for everyone to live in, let's go. Also, wow. Okay. I'm so ugly that the mirror shattered. Ouch. Um. Okay. <laughs> Queer bath, real, not real. Wait, I thought that hick was a sound effect from the damn game. You, you should you should have memorized my hicks by now. You should know that every hick I do is my hick. Okay, is there something at the top? No. Alright, this room is useless. Mmm, that's more baths in the entire year. <laughs> Two baths in one day really are clean today. Yeah, I feel so clean. Alright, we're gonna watch TV. Oh, select dream. Oh, oh, it's like human Iki then. Oh, well, sorta. Uh, let's see. So there's four. There's four dreams. Green world, a labyrinthine place to relax or have fun. Okay, let's check what this is about. Wait, this is a cool premise. Cool. Huh. I kind of want to play LSD, uh, dream simulator at some point. Oh. It's really giving me like Yumaniki vibes. Probably was inspired by it. Oh. Hi. Hello. Angle. Uh, uh, hi. Um. It's very boring and lonely here, you know? No one has come to visit for a long time. So, how about this? Let's play hide and seek. If you find me three times, you win. Three, two, one, let's go! Okay, one, two, three, four. Alright, we're gone. 
Alright. Alrighty. This is locked. Okay, I gotta find her. It's really cute. Oh. Huh? I can't go in the water. <laughs> Be afraid, maybe? Be not afraid. I will bang the angel. She looks cute. Oh, a blue door? I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. And da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba da. Oh! What the heck? Oh, it's a. Can I press the button? Okay, don't fall now. This game is cool. It's really reminding me of your mini in 3D. Holy, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I might actually fall asleep before the last game. Your Monique is one of my favorite games. Is it loud? Is it loud? Oh, wait, I have to jump over there. Okay, I did it. It's kind of loud? Okay, hold on. Let me decrease it for you. There. That should be a bit better, right? Oh, it's... Okay, I think it's fine. It should be more or less fine now. Okay. Wait, are those my feetsies? What are those? Can you see them? <laughs> Can you see them? Can you see those feetsies? Hold on. Perceive. My feetsies. Why are they like that? Ah. Well, yeah, there's this really cool game called Hypnagogia that I was inspired by LSD. You might like. Oh, put it. Send me a marshmallow. Send me a marshmallow. I definitely want to check it out. Um, worse than Crocs. You have weird feet. Don't judge my feet like that. <laughs> feet reveal. Well, th technically that already happened. Tiny feet. So you're not human. I mean, this is a dream, sort of. This is a TV, right? <laughs> All right. Where is the angle? Angle. Oh, there you are. Oh, you found me. I'm gonna hide better now. Don't look. Okay. Oh yeah, the socks. <laughs> you have little bells on your shoes. Oh, is that what they are? Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. That is adorable. I think this game is a nice. It's gonna be a nice experience. I like this. This makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, entry four, entry five. The TV has brought me to the strange place. Seems like a hyperbolic playground. I've met a strange, friendly creature. They only wanted to play. At first, I was afraid, but in the end, I had fun. There's nobody else to be seen. Huh. So just kind of figure out how this guy's dream world is like. Well, the TV. TV teleports him to place, so he's basically schizophrenic. Guys, I swear, I, I haven't used the word schizophrenic as much as when I started streaming. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys put that word in my mind. Alright, where is the angle? It's just like me, for real, for real. Love the atmosphere so far. Yeah, it's really cozy and nice, but also a little bit unsettling and like, dreamy. This really is gonna feel like a fever dream, isn't it? I told you guys I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna remember the stream tomorrow. <laughs> Angel! Angle! Angle! Where are you at? Angle? Uh, I wonder where the horror in this game... In this horror game, well... Uh, it doesn't have to be horror. By the way, is that too loud? Probably not. I think this is good. Thing is, it doesn't need to be... Horror, right? We're just doing like spooky games. They just have to be slightly spooky. So it's not in any of the bathrooms. Where could it be? Maybe inside of the basket? No? Where did the angel go? Angel? These are locked. Uh, can I pick this up? No. Huh. Oh Jesus, for you! I just realized your dreams when you sleep tonight might be freaky and creepy from all these liminal games. I'll let you know what I dreamed of. 
I like sharing dreams. I used to keep like a, a dream. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see this. I used to keep like a dream book where I would write my dreams down. Oh, what is this? Huh? Open? I opened something, I think. I think I did. I don't know what I did. Wait. Oh, okay. This door open. Huh. Dream, dream journals help you remember dreams. Yeah. Okay. I I become the short. Wait, what? This makes no sense. Oh, the blue the blue things went down. Okay. I, I'm. What? Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> Hi. Wow, you're so good at this. Thank you. Oh, this is the last one. This is gonna be even harder. Find me and you'll win. Okay, challenge accepted. I still try if I remember my dreams. Last one I remember was from last year. Yeah, I've been so busy and all over the place that I really remember my dreams. But I want to remember them again. Because they're usually pretty weird and like cool, cool to tell, I guess. I like I like sharing like dreams with friends and stuff because it's just a little bit of a peek into the mind of them themselves to find yeah right yeah can I go in no I cannot go in that's rude for you what is what is rude open them girl yeah she's an angel and I need to find her one third last time uh huh I wonder where she good she went. Uh, okay, that's the TV. That's the beginning of place. <laughs> Zero spatial awareness whatsoever. Okay, wait. Where am I? Wait. I came from there. Okay, right. Like here. <laughs> okay, so what if I... Do that. Oh, now the blue one is... Gone. And now... Uh... Eh? I don't really remember most of my dreams when I wake up, but I don't write them down, so I forgot over time. Mm -hmm. Huh. I see. My last dream was when I was super exhausted and fell asleep around 6 p.m. Woke up at 9 p.m. My dream felt like a literal movie. <laughs> I love those dreams that just feel like a movie. Like, you wake up, you're so lost. You have no idea who you are. <laughs> it's like, oh god, I just had a trip. That was the most insane thing I have experienced. Can can she be like up above? Wait, hold on. Secret? What is this? I got a thing. I got a thing. I don't know what I got. Ah. Uh, boo 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 boo. She's slipping, chat. I'm not slipping. Ah! You guys get to experience slightly sleepy fear during the rest of this marathon. Mmm. I had some dreams from back in primary school and remember them in details. I rarely dream, but if I do, I always have some cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's why dreams are so cool. You just kind of... You know... It's your subconscious mind. Was that dream book an attempt to learn lucid dreaming? Yeah. I will just pass out and wake up and remember my dreams. <laughs> ah, frick. Okay, I'm a little bit lost. I think I need to go through holes. I think. I think I need to go through holes. Did you only sleep two hours last night? It was not even like last night. Thing is, I slept all throughout the day. The kind of dream where you wake up, don't know the century, and your first words are the language you don't speak. <laughs> You ever had a uh, lucid dream or sleep paralysis? Yes, I have. Um, I ha I don't have sleep paralysis a lot, but there was this one time where I hallucinated with my mom who had just left my apartment, but she was like a weird monster and she was just like in the loop of kissing me and then going away. Oh. Okay. And it was just really scary. It was like a, a Wendigo or something, but I knew I was dreaming. Um, thing is, it was not dark at all. It was like, my window was open. So I could see clearly, like, the monster before me. Uh, last time I could remember, that's I got to... If we wake up, you're dreaming now. I'm not dreaming. 
But yeah, uh, the reason why I slept two hours is because I got sick. Yet again, to those who uh, lost the context, I got sick. So I basically slept all day. And then... Then I did not have any... I, I was not sleepy at night, obviously, because I slept all day. And... Because of that... I'm lost. Because of that, I, I managed to like sleep like two hours before the stream. Oh wow. Well. I still slept, I still slept, but like after the night, after, after the stream, I'm gonna like take my, my time and like rest. Oh, wait, cool stuff. Um. Mm, I have ADHD, so my dreams are always wild. Does, does ADHD have any correlation to like having wild dreams? I never heard of something like that. I made it. Uh, it'd be cool if lucid dreaming was easier to do. I haven't succeeded in lucid dreaming, sadly. What is this? Oh. It's okay, just keep trying. It's something that takes a little bit of a trial and error and it doesn't happen always. So just, just keep doing it if you really want to. Um, well, I had sleep paralysis before. It was after getting my Pfizer vaccine for COVID and I was super tired. Oh yeah. Maybe it was related. <laughs> uh wait. I wait, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Wait, did I come through did I come through here? Wait. Where did I come from? I don't know where I came from. I guess it doesn't matter, right? It's a dream. Ow. How do I <laughs> <laughs> Mm, my sleep paralysis are thankful, thankfully not m nightmares, just the knowledge uh, and feeling of slow breathing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. I can totally... Oh, oh, there she is. I can totally relate to, like, the slow breathing, because sometimes when I uh, get lucid in my dreams, um, I get the feeling that I'll stop breathing, but I think that's, like, subconscious. Mmm... I had sleep sleep paralysis only once. I woke up in the middle of the night to a loud a a screech in my head and then laid there terrified, horrified, unable to move and just prayed. Yeah, yeah. Your mind can play some really nasty tricks on you. Uh, did you have those moments where you know you're dreaming and try to, uh, your best to wake up but can't? Yes, definitely, definitely. Nowadays it doesn't happen anymore because what I do is I force my eyes open. Um, so like... You know, if, if you're in a dream and you know you're dreaming, you can try many things. You can, like, you know, pinch yourself. You can try to uh, flex your belly muscles. You can, like, try to feel your surroundings. Or you can try to open your eyes. Sometimes it's super hard and it feels so weird. But usually that works for me. Whenever I'm, like, having a nightmare and I really want to wake up, I just open my eyes. Mmm... Would the study seem more limited in scope? It does appear that there is some evidence uh, people with ADHD may remember more vivid and frequent dreams. Needs more research, though. Mm -hmm. I never heard about that before. Had the sleepy kid moves as a kid a few times. I was wondering uh, who was breathing so loud, and it was me. <laughs> uh, oh, hi again. I guess you have won the game. Anyway, it was so much fun. Feel free to stay as long as you want, but don't forget to say goodbye before you leave. Or goodbye. Oh, hi again, you want something? Wait, come with me? That's an option? Come with me. What? Are you serious? I can finally leave this place? Alas, it's happening! Well, let's go then. What? You're coming with me? I'm taking the angel with me, oh my god. Oh. Oh, well, maybe I need to collect like an item to take them out of there. Random PS1 building. One of the first experiments with this awesome style. It was just a little scene in Blender. Ah, Sasuga developer. <laughs> um, I've been hurt in dreams and have woken up in pain because of a dream. That never happened to me. It's mostly like, you know, a weird feeling. Like once I dreamt that an arrow like penetrated my neck and I woke up and I felt really uncomfortable. But not to the point of like it hurting. Biblical angel GF, let's go. Wait, oh, there she is. She's real. Well, hi again. This place is very interesting. Don't mind me, I'm just researching some stuff. Oh, we got 
an angel friend. We got an angel GF. What is over here? Outside? What the? What the frick is this? What the? What in tarnation? Whoa, what are, where are we? Are we gods? Are we in purgatory? I'm getting the feeling that it's like some religious thing. Oh, this is a dialogue test. Press the arrow to continue. Well done. You can also skip messages. Try to press the arrow before the sentence finishes. Oh, frick. Then I didn't understand what you said. Okay, so this is like a developer thing. I wonder why they didn't take it out. Okay. Back in here. This is really cool. I really like this game. <laughs> Probably the most horrifying thing that has happened to me while sleeping was my TV turning on for literally no reason to the static screen and high volume. The remote didn't even have batteries. Yeah, there's some freaky stuff that happens sometimes that you can't explain. Um, and uh, I, 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 I don't know. Sometimes it's cap. I don't know if I should believe you, but you know. I also don't want to doubt you because I had some freaky stuff happen to me too. Oh, I got three stars. Because I guess I got the girl and I got two items, question mark? All right, let's go to the funny water. <laughs> funny water. God, this game is great. I like it. It's not spooky so much as it is... Do you want to return to the bunker? No. Oh, so it's called the bunker. This game feels... Cozy and... At home for some reason. Really feels like Kiminiki. <laughs> but like... I'm experiencing it for the first time again. And I feel like it's a fever dream because I'm half asleep. I gave myself a heart attack once by sitting in the alarm and I didn't know it was a max volume. I woke up feeling like I was being legitimately murdered. <laughs> um, Happened to you too? Happened to me when I was in bed once. So creepy. Um, I think I've told this story before. But like spooky, spooky experiences that I've had were mostly when I was younger. So like there was this one time when I woke up in the middle of the night. I used to sleep with my door open and I saw like this woman uh going from one like room to the other and I was re like I made sure that I was awake. Like right? I I made sure I was awake. I'm pretty sure I was awake. Um and when I asked my mom if she had gone to the bathroom in the middle of the night, she said she didn't, and it was really freaky. And then there was this one other instance where I just woke up with my bed vibrating. And uh, it wouldn't stop, so I just basically screamed and yelled uh, for my mom. She came, and the moment that she came through my door, because I started closing my doors, obviously. Um, the moment she came through my door, she she was very confused. She was like, what? And I was like, mom, my bed was just shaking. The moment she came in, it just stopped. And that was really freaky. Like, I, I, I'm sure I was awake. I was not dreaming. Like, I was actively calling my mom. And I couldn't see anything because it was so dark. Yeah. Something similar ex happened to me once, except it was a TV. But instead, uh, knocking on my window. My room is on the second floor. I think, I'm pretty sure I've had a similar experience too, but I think it was a dream in that case, in that situation in particular. Hi, what are you, a crab? <laughs> Hello, stranger, I need to ask you a favor. I don't have much time, my memories are slowly fading. But before that, I want to portray them in my last piece. I've been trying for hours, but all that's in my head is this damn concrete. If it could help me get my inspiration back, I would be grateful. Please, stranger, help me before I lose myself. Okay. I help. I help. I help. I like how this game has, like, secrets and stuff for us to find. It makes me happy because I like hunting for secrets. <laughs> Nautilus with arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a church? Or something? I was like, can you fall down here? Do you die? Do you die? Uh, I had something similar happen to me once. Apparently, I sleepwalked over to a door, started bawling my eyes out, saying that the door died and it was my best friend. <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright. One time during my sleep paralysis, I hallucinated my TV turned on and watched the entire scene from the exhaustion. It was crazy accurate to the actual movie. That sounds like cap. Hello, you got something for me. I am Fuyo Cloverfield and I am here to collect your car's extended warranty and make some friends with the angel. Embrace the concrete. And there will be stone. <laughs> we shall... Why is that so funny? 
praising the rock. <laughs> and we shall embrace it as our own kind. And there will be a welfare. And we as one will rise. Oh, dear one, here I am to serve. Here I am to become. Uh, a new era is approaching. We are not worthy, but we have been chosen. So we will be grateful and we will accept it. And we will get rid of this dirty, weak, and worthy flesh to become stronger, to succeed as beings. Wow. Okay. Praise the concrete. <laughs> Praise the concrete. Concrete, my Oshi. I love concrete. Oh, how many times I've hurt my knees on the concrete when I was younger, just running around like Naruto character. Fell, fell face flat to the concrete. Never broke my nose somehow. Um. I did, I did, I did, I did. My favorite dreams are those with like impossible, enormous monuments. Right? Right? It's really cool when your brain just comes up with the weirdest architecture, no? Yeah, I agree. A thousand percent agree. Can I go inside? Oh, I can. Um, it's all the other woodland fairies missing in your dreams. I'm pretty sure that's canon to leprechauns and stuff, or it's just getting too much Taco Bell before bed. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Taco Bell. What the frick? Oh, got another one of these. Uh... So in each world, we have to help a character, right? From what I'm understanding. We can get like a, a little note. And we need an item to get like three stars. This isn't Sleep Paralysis, but I had this really creepy dream before. I dreamt of working for a company and most of my coworkers disappeared one by one. I went to the apartment where where the CEO lives. I saw their body. Well, you could, you could write a, a whole ass novel about that. Mo listen, monetize your dreams, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Monetize your dreams while you can. Mm. Can I go here? Anything for me? Yes? No? Maybe? Perhaps? Hello? No shower. There's no water. Come over here. Boom. That's a toilet. Yet again. Toilet reference. Anything here? No. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I refuse to monetize anything about me. <laughs> you will eventually succumb. You'll eventually succumb to the pressure. <laughs> uh, Stanley Parable? What about the Stanley Parable? Also, I'm a little bit... Lost. I see so many houses. Have I gone inside this one? Mm, no, I haven't. Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw the father touching one of the chandeliers. He was so disturbed. I think he's hiding something. I may be the only one who realized that something is wrong with him. I'm gonna find out. Chandeliers? So one of the chandeliers in this house. Is there chandeliers in this house even? It's not a chandelier. That's a candle. There's no chandelier. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh! Oh, you can open these drawers. Wait, frick, then I must have missed a couple. Okay. Chandeliers? There's no chandelier. He hallucinated with chandeliers. What? Chandeliers? Uh. Oh, it was like a Stanley Parable moment. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, there was this moment in... St yeah, okay, I remember. I played Stanley Parable before. Uh, chandelier is in here for me? Yes, no, maybe, perhaps? Chandelier? Have I been in this room? All the rooms look the same. All the rooms look the same. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want this. I just want to go back to the old days where everything was simple. People are getting killed for blasphemy, but we didn't ask for this. Huh. So in this dream, there seems to be some sort of cult? Of sorts, maybe, perhaps? Okay... Have I gone inside this house and checked out the drawer? Wait, is there something on top? I should probably check everything. Okay, this one's closed. Okay, it's empty. Uh, I had this moment from a year ago where I was on my couch sleeping. I woke up and then I started walking around. The strange uh, stuff happened. A few moments later, I woke up on my couch with a cycle. Uh-huh. That's not very specific. Uh, 
Look at Charms having the craziest dreams ever. Meanwhile, me, I dreamt I went to pee. What about when you dr when you dream that you need to pee really badly and then you can't like find anywhere to pee? Those are the worst kinds of dreams. It's just, ugh, why? And then you wake up and you don't feel like peeing anymore. <laughs> Have you guys ever wetted your bed like that? It's never happened to me. Actually, maybe it has happened once. Yeah, it must have happened once at least. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, hold on. I think I'm going on the loop on the same exact houses over and over again. I need to move on. Okay, these are locked. This one, have I checked the drawer? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay, it's empty. Uh, being in dreams is dangerous. I always check if I'm dreaming before I pee and wake up. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> Wait, that's called peeing on your bed. Well, I don't... <laughs> I don't pee on my bed anymore. I uh, just, uh, obviously everybody pees on their bed sometime at some point in their lives. Can I look over here? Caution. No, it's locked. Huh. Wait, what did he ask of me? I forgot. If only I could remember the past. Please, stranger, help me. Okay, how do I help? How, how help, teach, help, I help. Do I need to bring the... Do I need to bring the notes? <clears throat> Do I need to bring the notes maybe? He wants me to help, help him with the past. Uh, also I don't know what's up with the chandelier thing. Huh. She only pees in bus seats, not in her bed. <laughs> you make me anger, anger, lucky charms. You make me the big anger. You don't want to see me angry. Oh wait, can I? Can I maybe use this? Wait. I'm on top of it, I think. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm on top of it. Now what? Okay, parkour. Parkour doesn't work. Uh, maybe you need to find it and swing from the chandelier. <coughs> chandelier. I don't fly like a bird to the night. Yeah, I did, 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 did. We from the chandelier From the chandelier I don't find the world right there, bro 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 I don't find the Want a hint for you? The church had a lot of ch- Thank you! Wait, you've played this game before? <clears throat> you've played this game before? I appreciate I appreciate help if I'm stuck. If you see me like struggling like this and going like in circles, <laughs> you know you know what to do. Thank you. I appreciate it. She's gonna fall asleep before we get to the last day. I'm not gonna fall asleep. Oh freak. I actually got it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall asleep. Can I click on all the chandeliers? Can I click on all the chandeliers? That would be cool. That would be neat. No, but it said father, so the church made sense. Oh! But that's not a chandelier, that's a freaking... Wait, this makes no sense. No, it does. But that, that was not a chandelier, that was... Too, like a, a... That was a... I just can't... Wait, I thought I saw somebody. Did I imagine somebody? Am I, am I hallucinating? <laughs> Oh, entry six. I really like this island. It's more populated than ah than the previous place, and the creatures here are so kind. I spent hours relaxing under the trees, surrounded by exotic flowers, learning about their traditions. Sadly, I must continue my investigation. I must escape this place. I want to return home. Oh, it has spoken to me again. Everything goes according to its wishes, despite the traitors who have been punished the way it ordered. 
The flock is prepared. Today is the day we are going to meet, and finally. I'm a bit nervous, but I have faith. Oh, dear one, here I am to serve Father Zurio. Okay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, seems like they are clearly... Yeah, Candelabras. That was the name I was thinking of. You sound like me from yesterday, so the way called Dave made you sleep. <laughs> Make sure you sleep a lot today. I will, don't worry. What the heck? Oh, but yes, baby boy, thank you so much you for the You sound so like me from yesterday. <laughs> so the way all day make sure you sleep a lot today. Yeah, I will. I promise I will sleep a lot today. Right, what did I do? What did I do? I don't know what I did. I don't know. I, you guys, are you happy experiencing Sleepy for you? Can you compare it to the beginning of the stream? How different is it? It can't be that different. Also, I got a, I got a cube. Are these? Wait, these are, these are graves. Like you know, like p dead people places, things. Yeah, dead people things. Huh. Are we Minecrafting? We're not Minecrafting. We're dreaming. This really feels like a dream, though. Okay. I got it! I got the thing! I think I got your thing! I don't know if it's the thing that you want me to give you, but I got a thing! That thing! <laughs> it's the thing! Yes! I remember now! It all started when it's tent stranded on the coast. Let me paint it! Okay, I'm watching. I'm looking over your shoulder. It's a cube! If only I could remember the past. Please, stranger, help me. Wait, isn't that enough? Isn't the cube not enough to remember the past? Rambler. Oh, wait, this is open now. Rambler. He rambler. So a cube washed up. Right? Also, my... my I think my, my god theory is wrong. Because it wouldn't make sense for it to be a Nautilus. Although Nautiluses are extinct, right? Can you look at me? Yes. I am in. Sorry, hiccup. <laughs> hiccup. Okay, there's scaffolding. Scaffolding? That's the name, right? Scaffolding. Scaffolding. Skyfolding. No, they're still around. Wait, they're still around? Wait, what? Are you sure? I thought they were extinct. What? I mean, that's good news. <laughs> I guess that's good news. Yeah, that's, that's good news. I thought they were dead. <laughs> oh. Okay. Doink. It's like it's like Yuko and thinking the walruses weren't real. Silly Yuko, of course they are real. Now Nautiluses at the same time. On the other hand, I mean. Okay, what's up here? Oh. oh wait, I'm confused. Didn't I come from here? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't come from here. I need to go this way, right? And there's gonna be something else at the top, right? Right? I don't know. I think. Something like that. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay. Wait, what? What? Oh! Oh, cool! Whee! Uh, maybe you're thinking of ammonite fossils? I have no idea. The tempered Nautilus, Nautilus Pompil Pompilus, is uh, listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Oh, I see. So it is an endangered species. I was, I was putting the horses ahead of the... Carriage. Please tell me that's something that normal people say. <laughs> that's something that people say, right? Putting the horses ahead of the carriage. Right? Uh, that's the saying. Right? Yes, yeah, so they're dying rapidly. Cart before the horse. Exactly. That's what I said. Exactly what I said. No difference whatsoever. Uh... 
Okay, I'm in. I have infiltrated. Oh, cute. Okay, we got that. Anything else for me here? Oh, there's gonna be like a paper. No, okay, my game dev senses tingled wrong. Okay. Uh, oh, can I open this now? Yeah! Alright, I'll get back here. Actually, I'm gonna check this house first. Hmm. Nothing. We got a paper boat! Isn't that cute? Do you guys know how to make, uh, paper, paper sculptures? I almost accidentally made a bird with like McDonald's uh, tissue. <laughs> okay, this is like the weirdest thing. Like I, I don't know how to do hor origami and I never learned how to make a bird, but somehow I was so bored that I made a paper bird out of McDonald's uh, <laughs> tissue. That paper boat. Oh. Yes. I remember now. He Rambler. The gift that the visitor left us. Let me paint it. He painted. <laughs> yeah, just like how I accidentally learned how to tie my shoes. Okay, funny story. Nobody ever thought me how to tie my shoes, but there was this one time we were on like a, a school trip and we were on the bus and uh, another kid from like a, an earlier class than me, so like he was younger than me, he asked me, hey, can you help me tie my shoes? And I was one year older than him, right? I was like, I was one class ahead. So obviously I had to seem like the smart one. So I just, I just, <laughs> I just went, you know, kneel down, tie the shoe somehow on the first try. I'd never done it before. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. If only I could remember the past. I, I just, it just happened. I don't know. I, I Then I learned how to tie my shoes. <laughs> Life is weird sometimes. That's a skill. I don't know. Whenever I'm like pressured to do something, somehow I... Either it goes really badly or... <laughs> it just happens without me thinking. I don't know. Life is weird. Life is weird. Got like bluffing skills. Yeah, I bluff so hard that I actually learn how to do the things. <laughs> I genuinely didn't want to seem like, you know, I was older than him. I didn't want to go like, oh, I don't know how to tie my shoes. I just went ahead and learned it in like the span of 10 seconds. Okay, where do I go now? Maybe here? Oh. Oh, there's more graves. Anyone of you's got anything for me? I want things to give to the Nautilus guy. Love so hard, your bluffs and <laughs> just reality. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, there's writing stuff. Rest in peace, the great lord. Uh, for those who believe. Okay, it's always the same, or is there one that's like different? Is there one that's different? I believe. 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 I believe. Believe, believe. Okay, I'm believing. I'm, I'm believing. I believe. Because when you believe, you believe. And if you believe in believing, you believe that believing is believing. And then you believe, and the believing believes that the believing does the believing. And then you've been believed on. What is this? What is this cube? This makes no sense. This makes n no sense. And I love the fact that it makes no sense. Did you say anything? Oh, suffering the punishment of those who betray the great lord. Oh, these were punished. The other ones believed these ones were punished. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, if you're sleepy too, feel free to fall asleep to the sound of my voice. Don't worry about it. It's okay. At this point, it has turned into a podcast. I am trying to find my way amongst this godforsaken city, which is not real, or maybe it is, we don't know. 
Why is this ladder not there? I don't know. It's a mystery. Oh, the misery. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Spare the sympathy. I don't know. Running up that hill. Oh, flower. Uh, frick, how does running up that hill start? Uh, uh, it starts like it goes like it goes. It do it be it it go it it running up that hill running up that hill okay there that flower yes yes I remember now this island was once full of nature let me paint it okay I'm watch oh pretty. Truly an artist. Thank you, stranger. Thank you, kind stranger, for the karma. The painting is finished! Yeah! The memories of the past of this world won't be forgotten. Now I'll wait to the end of it all. You come with me. Friend. I declare friend. I declare friend. You're, you're coming with me, right? Come with me. Oh, stranger, no. Savior. Of course I'll go with you. I won't let me... I won't let it be consumed by this world. Let's go. I saved another friend. Guys, I love this game. It might be because I'm sleepy, but I'm enjoying this quite a lot. I'm loving this game. I love it. I think the... <laughs> Why the frick are you in my bathtub? Welcome, Savior. Thank you again for bringing me to this place. I'll be resting here if you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> How was I supposed to create it? <laughs> oh, and we get like the things that are associated with them. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, that's cool. Guys, I'm not sure we're gonna have time for the last game. <laughs> Which coincidentally enough is the game that I wanted to play the most. <laughs> But I don't want to stop playing this one. I want to finish this game. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I only got two stars. Oh, no. What did I miss? What did I miss? I might save it for the next... Um, I might save it for the next marathon. Yeah. Then it deserves its own stream. I don't know if it's, like, long enough to be, like, for a stream. Alright, we're gonna go to the yellow world. Hmm... It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Just you wait. Be patient. Be patient because I will play that game like separately. Yeah. I want to dedicate a whole thing to it. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, we are in the cornfield. Let her cook. <laughs> oh, look. It's a house. We can just like finish this game because it's all cozy and nice and I, I thought I saw something and it makes me feel all warm and cozy and I can fall asleep afterwards. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Cornfields are either extremely comfy or horrifying. 
First game, then Zatsudon. Yeah. We game and then we do Zatsu. We talk a little bit before I go to bed. Oh, key. Especially because it's late. Uh, I don't wanna, I like chatting when it's late. I don't know why I get super chatty when I'm sleepy. Once upon a time, there was a clown. The clown's name was Fleer Cloverfield. The end. Uh, it was green. I got a key. What do you mean the key doesn't work in the house? Take shortcut. Maybe the clock is for the the clock. No, where's the key for? I got a key. Backside? No, not the backside. <sighs> Did you try the chest? Chest? What chest? There was a chest. There was, there was a chest, 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 chest. Yeah, it's not for the chest. Uh, did I not pick it up? I did. What? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Cloverfield is an amazing movie, by the way. <laughs> Why do you think my name is Cloverfield? <laughs> I love the Cloverfield movies. Besides, it fits with the fact that I'm a leprechaun. I'm from the Cloverfield family, yes. Okay, maybe I have to... No? Oh, okay, so these can also be open. Oh, there you go. That was what the key was for. Oh, God, so well. Well, well, well. Oh, it needs... It needs a thing. It needs the thing, the bad, the thing, the bubble but for the water. She ain't just a clown, she's the entire circus. Do you wanna make me cry? Playboy? Do you want me to cry? Do, 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 do I cry? I, I cry. Name's John Cloverfield. <laughs> I'm cry. I I'm cry cause I'm Eepy and, and happy and stuff. And uh, yeah. Where go? Here? <sighs> I am enjoying this a lot. <laughs> That's a compliment, circuses are entertaining. I'm a circus. I am entertaining you, even while sleepy. Even with the sleepy debuff, you're still here. Why are you still here? Just a silver. Where's the thing? I don't even know what I'm looking for. A clock? I don't know. Um, can I jump over? Thing? Can I break window? No. Equip the key? I can't. I can't equip it. It's used automatically. It opened this way. I must have missed something. I must have missed like a... A thing. Like... The thing that gets the water thing up. You know? The thing? Oh! Okay, this opens. Alright, we're in a cornfield. Uh... Okay, that's a, that's a gigantic thing. All right, in a, in a maze, always put your right hand on the right wall and you'll eventually find the way. Oh, it's a rocking chair. Death. Oh, a key. Okay, follow right hand on the right wall. 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 Right on the right wall. Ooh. What this? It's... I forgot the name in English. It's wheat. Yes, sweet. Oh, it's a creepy, creepy attic. Hello. I have brought nothing but, oh, a sickle. A sickle, that's the name, right? A sickle, I think. All right, I have no idea what to do with a sickle, but I got it and I declare it as a weapon. Oh, the clown couldn't take it anymore and ran away. Oh my God, he's just like me for real, for real. The clown and I are one. One in the same. <laughs> Fear cornfield. <laughs> no longer cloverfield. Now I'm a cornfield. Fear cornfield at your service. 
Okay, what do I do with the sickle? Can I just open anything now? What do you do with the sickle? Oh, this is open. Oh. However, the clown was sad because all the people laughed at him. Huh. Poor clown. Oh, it's a hole. Hole. Uh. Oh. This is the outside. From where? Oh! What's this? Alright, everybody, I'm taking a bath again. <laughs> Your altar is blue, you corn, corn flower field. <laughs> what? Also, looking down at these reminds me of that one toilet from the toilet review. You guys remember? They had like a weird, like, thing under it. Remember? Hmm. Ah. Uh. This really is Fuyo's... <laughs> Fuyo's subconscious dreamscape. Yes, I belong here. I belong among the corn. This is my home. This is where I was meant to be. Can I break this with the sickle? No, I can't. I would be... Make too much sense. Okay, I'll just follow the right hand. <laughs> can't do that so the clown came back oh the clown came back all right attachment issues clown i see i jumped a little it was so silent <laughs> it was so silent it got me <laughs> yo i'm back hi back i'm for your cloverfield how are you doing oh i got it wait what is over here Sorry, Hickle, I see. Alright, more corn. Wait, I'm back here, wait, I'm lost. Wait, what? I unlocked some more clown lore. What does that mean? In the grand scheme of things, what does that mean? What that, uh, 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 uh. Alright, I leave. I leave. I know a little bit more about our friend clown. Probably like another room opened in the house. There you go. Okay. Awesome. It makes sense. Okay. And there's this one. Yes. Okay. Wait. Now I don't know where to go. Uh, here. Wait. No. This is the place where. Okay. I'm. 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 Uh, I'm. 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 I'm I can't form sentences anymore. <laughs> I hope you understand. <laughs> Kindly understand, Lucky Charms. I cannot form sentence. I don't think I ever could to begin with, but it's okay. We are what we eat, and I eat corn. I like corn. Do you like corn? I like corn. Corn tastes nice. Um, I'm lost. I don't know where. Oh, oh wait, maybe. No, that may that that no. Uh, huh? I need like a a buck bucket. Yeah, bucket. That's the word. I need a bucket for the thing. Uh, it's okay for you. You're cute. <laughs> I know you. I'm not cute. You're cute. <sighs> it's probably really obvious, but I just can't... Oh, wait. Hold on. What if I use the sickle on this thing? Can I not do that? Is that not an acceptable option, course of action? Um, I'm not sure. What do you do with the sickle? What is a sickle made for? Cutting things, right? What does one do with the sickle? Yeah, cutting things, yeah? Yeah. So I need to find a thing to do the cutting. Cutting down crops? Yeah. I need to do that, right? Well, where? What crop can I cut? I cut, I cut, I cut, 
I got the corn field. Corn. Corn. Corn, corn, corn. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's a secret. I found a secret. <laughs> I found the secret. Secret. Wait, now I'm now I'm more par now I'm paranoid. <laughs> now I'm paranoid about my secrets. What? What? You can just do this to me. I got a secret. Now I want more. Now I'm hunger for secrets. Um. Okay, we need a bucket for the. Wait, hold on. Is there a bucket? No, it's not a bucket. Mm, bucket didn't. Have I explored the whole house? Yes, I think I'm just missing like a, a key for this. Uh, besides that, I think. We got the signal. I don't know what to do. Guys, under no circumstances are you allowed to type in chat. Fuyo is cute and has a pretty voice. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know if you're trying to use reverse psychology. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I can't fight back. <laughs> I can't fight back. That's illegal. You can't just... You can't just say such a thing and then... And then be like, oh, if we are cured. I'm... No. No. Stop it. You're taking advantage of the situation. You shouldn't be doing that. Also, wait, hold on. I think I see something over there. Maybe I need to go over there. I'm not sure. I... Stop it. Stop it. I'm lost. What do I do? This is the first time you guys see me so sleepy. <laughs> I might actually do a you is very cute and has a pretty voice still. No, stop it. No, I'm not accepting it. This is blasphemy and you will be burnt at the stake for committing crimes against the Fuyo. A Fuyo is not made to be called cute. A Fuyo was made to be... Uh... <sighs> what was I saying? What was I saying? I forgot. Hmm. I've been sleeping before, but this might be the most extreme it has been. <laughs> yeah, because, like, this is sleepy time. Oh, 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 oh secret! Oh, wait, thing. There's a thing. Wait, ah, there's a thing. There's a thing. Okay, I, I need... Also, night. Uh, thank you so much for the month. One month, thank you for renewing your membership. I hope you keep enjoying the membership. Thank you. Uh, I need to leave this place as soon as possible. I feel observed. Sometimes I hear somebody whispering to me. Maybe I'm going insane. How much time has passed? Fuyu is super hyper giga cute and made for headfits and cuddles. Fuyu cute, fuyu cute, fuyu love, underscore fuyu heart. No cuddles for me. No cuddles. It's dangerous to cuddle me when I'm this sleepy. I will bite. And then I will fall asleep with my teeth on you. So don't do that. What did I accomplish again? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I forgot. What did I accomplish? What did I? What did I? What did I accomplish? Uh, I don't know. Stop it. Don't don't follow. Don't follow the. Don't follow the herd of the lucky charms saying I'm no, no cute. But thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. That's I hear somebody. Maybe I'm going to say I'm sure I'm the right path. Don't threaten chat with a good time for you. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Lonnie! No! Thank you, Lonnie, for the two months. Thank you, N thirty H R T Go G D V for two months. Thank you for your heart. You guys are too sweet. Stop it. Where Where do I go? I must have accomplished something, right? I unlocked the thing. We are cute. 
Thank you for it. I wanted to appreciate it. I was taking slippers out for the super chat. I'm not cute. You guys are threading on dangerous territory. It's true. Your kids don't have a nice calming voice sometimes. <laughs> but it's true. You're cute and have a nice calming voice sometimes. <laughs> Sorry for the claw joke. Also, don't make me do another mil word letter for you. <laughs> I read you guys as marshmallows. You guys were so Fuyu sweet. cute. Underscore Fuyu heart. Underscore Stop Fuyu it. heart. Underscore Fuyu heart. No heart. I got none of that. I don't got it. No heart. My plate. My chest is an empty leprechaun heart. Non-existent. I really am sleepy. What the heck? Have I ever been this sleepy before? I don't know, but I I'm I'm I am determined to finish this game if it's not the last thing I do. <laughs> I'm finishing it. I'm finishing it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. I got a sickle. What the frick do I do with the sickle? I don't know what to do with the sickle. Uh, I don't know. Is it a sickle? Maybe is there a thing now here? Do I have to press it many times? I'd be down to do that. Uh, I'd be down to do that. Uh, I feel like... I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep and my head's gonna just <laughs> fall on the keyboard. Fool you is cute. No! <laughs> no, not cute. Not cute. Where am I where do I go? Where do I help? Please backseat. Do you guys you guys probably don't know the game though. Please help backseat. What do I got a sickle? I got a single sickle. <sighs> sickle. I got a sickle. And it's my sickle. You can't take it away from me. <coughs> Sorry. It's my sickle. I'm lost in the sauce of the maze again. I need to cough, hold on. A calf coughed. Um, follow the white rabbit. There's no white rabbit. Hold up, Bless chat. You. Let Fuyu cook. She will be even cooter sleepy on stream. Oh, wait, I found the thing. I don't know what I just got. I'm no cute. I also, I think that was a rope, right? I'm pretty sure that was rope. I think that was written. Just we cannot stop you. Good night, <laughs> What do you mean? Are you assuming I'm gonna fall asleep on my keyboard? <laughs> Already saying good night? Yes, for the well, for the well. Where's the well? Well, 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 there it is. I got the thing. I got the thing. There you go. Okay, I got the thing. 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 What is oh, it's a teddy bear. I got a teddy bear. I am a teddy bear. I guys stop saying good night. You're saying good night like ahead of time because you know I'm gonna fall asleep. You can't do that. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I wanna see this game through if it's not the last thing I do. Now where the frick do I put this teddy bear? Sleep time stop it! No ah, Teddy Bear perfect to sleep with? No, stop! Good night, Fury. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna rub him awake. Do I put him on the bed? Do I put it in the thing? Where do I put the thing? I think. I don't know. I don't know. I want this to sing a lullaby for you. Stop it. I don't need no lullaby. I'm not sleepy. I am. Um, <sighs> I'm 
sleepy. I don't want to go. Where do I put the teddy bear? Here? Oh, maybe up here in the barn. That would make sense. Right? Put the teddy bear in the barn. No, that does not make as much sense as I thought it would. Maybe inside of the thing? No, not inside of the thing. Where did teddy bear go? It's probably really obvious. I'm just stupid. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Precious was tough. I'm awake. I'm gonna finish the game. We got this level and then one more and then I'm done. And then we will talk and then I will sleep. Put it on the rocking chair. Oh, big brain, 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 big brain. Huh? Oh, clothes. It was on the thing. Oh no! It's Hibby Jibby. Hibby Jibby. We got Hibby Jibby. You be Jimmy friend. Okay, one more level. And then I go to bed. I have one more level. So the Nautilus thing is here. Did I get the ghosty? Did I get the ghosty? Is the ghosty somewhere? Oh, there he is. Hi! It doesn't have any dialogue, just creepy noises. Wait, I'm stuck. Okay, there you go. Oh, I thought I bugged the game there for a moment. We got a friend. All right, one more. One more world. I only got two stars for this. God damn, I wonder where I did wrong. Okay, orange world. Beware of the traps of this tower of magic. All right, let's go. This is the last, last one. 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 I am in the dungeon. I am a dungeon. I'm a dungeon master. I'm gonna kill skeletons. Well, hi, knight. That princess. Trapped for God knows how long. If only I could reach the top of the tower. I'm the only one with the power to open that door. But no matter how much I try, I always fail. Kill issue. Secret. Kill issue. You're complaining and sitting down instead of doing the things. Meanwhile, I'm going up. I'm gonna find the princess and make her my wife. And then we're gonna ride off into the sunset. And then I'm gonna be cool. And then. Yeah. I don't even know what's half of this. Is this a skeleton? Where am I? Okay, so the goal is to go up. We'll go up. I use my parkour skills. Ugh. Again, parkour skills. Yeah. Par parkour. Par Par oh god. What? Where am I? Oh, book. Oh, key. Key. We got our key. Yeah. Is this 3D Jump King? Could be. Oh. Oh, the door has been opened. Has been bursted open. Hehe. <laughs> Busted. Hey, I got a key. Oh, you're just, you're just crying about the princess. Okay. Uh. Man, I want to see Fuyo's dreams after this. They're going to be wild. <laughs> okay, what is this? I'm forgetting everything. I want to leave this madness. I just want to go back before I lose myself. I don't even remember who I am anymore. By the way, if anybody can piece this story together, I would be very pleasantly surprised. Because I'm too tiny brain to understand the story by now. So I would appreciate it if you told me what it means. 
obviously after I'm done playing it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was easier. Mm. As fast as Oh, the legend of the convert says that a princess is trapped at the top of this building. However, traps and spells flood its chambers, and even the top is, if the top is reached, the spell seals the door to the prisoner. Wizards, warriors, and others of great knowledge and strength sat their home in their lives just, just to try to decipher the name and rescue the princess without success. Is it even worth it? What does that princess offer to society? Is it? Is she like me? If so, then I'm gonna get her. Okay. Whoosha! There. Well, I'm so good at platforming. I'm really good at platforming. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh, pretty! Oh! I teleported. What? After that has, after what has seemed like centuries of research, the following conclusion has been reached. The princess's door is sealed with a powerful spell. The only way to make your way through it is to, when it detects unbreakable discipline and willpower. I've got willpower. I've got discipline. Hold on, I got a message. Hold on, what is this? I'm being made fun of in the DMs. Um, <clears throat> only those who are completely willing to give his life for the course will be rewarded. Who will be foolish enough to commit such a feat? Me. I mean, I'm not foolish. I am. I'm strong, and I got this. <laughs> Why am I being bullied in my DMs by idol? People, idol, why? <laughs> uh, what have I done? I don't know, I just forgot my attempt. Anyway, what did I accomplish? I Can I go back? Oh yeah, 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 now if I fall, I can just go there and like, climb up again. I think. Whoosh! Can I make that jump? Ugh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> it can't be that loud. It's like midnight almost. Ah, frick, I fell. Hold on. I have zero spatial awareness. My eyes are not opening. Ugh. Okay, I got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, where's the portal? Where's the portal? I need the portal. <laughs> I need the portal. Okay, there you go. Feel they bully you because one slip of wheel is so cute and two, we can't really get any fence against you right now. I can use my willpower and my dexterity and my thoughts and my, my, my ability of Planning to outsmart any bullies. That's how I got through high school. Okay, now I go down. Wait, can I actually make that jump? Oh, I can. Fuck. I outsmart. Huh? Fleo, it's me, the sounding goblin. I don't want, I don't want to talk to the sob, sob. <sighs> Sorry, what? Fleo, it's me, the sounding goblin. Let me sing you to sleep with the sound of my people. Ooh, you, you, you it's, it's gotta, the tip's gotta be like five. <laughs> it's gotta be five dollars for it to have TTS. It didn't work. <laughs> But thank you, Mask of Seven Eyes, for the attempt. <laughs> you can sing me to sleep. Uh, it's not gonna work. 
I am I've got willpower and I've got discipline and I've got a heart of leprechaun and I yeah <laughs> okay hold on hold on this is all about all about precision and 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 attention and and capabilities you know and if you don't do the do properly fui os brain finally died from exhaustion rip no i'm awake i'm alive mr pretty face i'm existing i might be existing in an alternative plane of existence but i'm existing i am exist i gotta finish this game I gotta finish. I'm, I'm finish it. I'll finish. <laughs> okay. Uh, at least I opened the door. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll just go again. Again. You guys. You <laughs> shouldn't doubt me so much. I. I've got, I've played multiple platforms in the past. I've played Jump King and I almost got through it in like five hours or something. Can I make this jump? Okay, no I can't, it was worth the try. Have I tried that before? I don't remember. Okay, wait, where's the hole? There's the hole, okay, go down. Uh, okay. You failed that jump twice now? Oh, so I did that jump. Okay. I did not remember I did that jump. There's a jump here that's messing me up. Fui you eat some the sounding goblin let me sing you to sleep with the song of my people. Oh, you loop, oh, you, 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 It's me again. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, 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 We got this. Don't worry about it. I'm not failing. I'm just, it's for the gag, you know, because sleepy for you can't do the jumps. Oh, wow, how funny. It's not a skill issue. You don't. Oh, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I can't make that jump. I can't. I can't make that jump. Why can I not make that jump? Okay. Oh, I made it! 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 I did. I really did. Now what? Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, please don't do this to me. No. No, okay. Oh god. Jesus. Okay. That's good, I think. I think that's good. Okay. Okay, okay, we got this. 
We got this. There's no way we can fall down now. From here on out, it's just up. We're gonna get the princess. We're gonna princess, princess, and prince, prince, princess, and the prin prince, prince, prince. <laughs> oh! Did I miss it? So wait, what? What? Okay. Okay. Okay, oh god, my, my butt cheeks are clenched. I'm not gonna fall. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anyone else seeing that face and repeating well pat? Yeah, I thought I saw something like that, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. Is there actually a face or are we just going crazy? Are we going crazy? Or is it an actual thing? Can I make this jump? <gasps> ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> Why did this relaxing game suddenly turn into a rage game? Why did this relaxing game just suddenly turn into my worst nightmare? This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not okay. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. I don't want this to be rage. It's a rage again. It's rage. I don't want to know. This is not fun. Oh. Oh. Oh <laughs> <coughs> 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 how to make that jump it has to be like like this yeah at least I learned that there's still hope uh, was there nothing else back here nothing else yeah look there's a face in the wall <coughs> Maybe if I sing, I'll stop raging so much. Now that you are truly defenseless, fui o cute, 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 fui o cute. Fui you cute, 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 fui you cute till.
Okay, okay, this time. This time's the charm. This time. This time's the charm. We're doing it. Can I make that jump? I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's possible, right? Right? Yeah. It's too far. Uh, maybe barely. My heart. <laughs> okay. This door has a portal. Okay. What was that noise? That was the sound of my little feet jiggles. After years of experimenting and study with the type of magic that created the blog, after countless trials and errors, finally we managed to channel it. Mirrors with the ability to teleport whoever touches them. A true feat. Blah. <laughs> I'm spitting. A true fit. The feat that feat that has revived the motivation of the people. Mm. Countless experiments have been done in order to overcome this spell without success, but there's still hope. I see. I understand. I understand. It's making sense in my brain. Oh. Oh. Treasure? 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 No treasure! No treasure! Oh, what is this? Elevator! There's an elevator! Oh, now I can go all the way from the bottom up! Alright, Knight, come on. Come in. I shall take you to the top. It was me, I'm the princess. Bow down to me, kiss my feet, and tell me I'm the queen. Also took me in bed. Huh? Mm -hmm. Apparently I'm not his princess. Good riddance. <clears throat> no. Where did he even... Oh, here. He just bursted down the door. You good, mister? What's that? I locked myself in this tower in order to rest, but no matter how many traps or spells I cast on you, you did not stop bothering me. Well, I'm tired. I'm out of here to a place where you definitely won't find me. Bye, bastards. Sincerely, an exhausted witch. You should have, you know. You can still come with me. It can't be. <laughs> All my life. Wasted. I can be her princess. I can't believe it. I guess I deserve this. It's alright, you can be my servant. And then you can make me chalky milk in the morning. Okay? Come with me. Such a fool. Come with me. With me. Come on. Come on. I guess I owe you one. Without your help, I'd still be waiting downstairs. I'll go with you then. Good. Good. Flashbang. 
There. That's all of them, I think. I can't open this still. Fair Cloverfield is my princess. <laughs> what? Oh my. Fuyu Cloverfield is my princess. I bow down to your feet and give kisses and kudos. Underscore Fuyu Confi. Good. Good. Are you also gonna make me chalky milk? Please? I'm asking nicely. So like, one star? One star? Hi, you good? Greetings. This is quite a strange but peaceful place. I want to thank you again for earlier. Reach me if you need something. I'll be resting here in the meantime. I see. Oh, a door. Hi. Can I go in? Oh. Oh. I'm rich enlightenment. Into the basement, I go. Oh. Female? Oh, I got a guitar. That's nice. Can I loot your bedroom? Where are these pictures? Are you the developer? I've been found. Me? I'm the creator of this world. Sasuke developer, you made me have a good time. I was bored. Loneliness was killing me. You chose to come, didn't you? I did. I'm. 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 I mean. Besides, you can leave whenever you want. What? So, do you want to know? Fuyo docks herself. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? What? What did I say? Something bad? Am I gonna get fired? What did I say? So do you want to know? I do! Tell! It all started as an experiment. At first it was fun. People liked it. I even made some friends. But I was still alone. I don't even know what's this anymore. I'm just here, hiding. Waiting for them to forget. But we're still here. I know, I just want this to end. But I don't want to disappoint anyone. What should I do? Just leave will be fine. No, don't leave. Really? Well, thanks. No. Before I go, there's some stuff yet to be done. Oh, really? In every world, there's three objectives. Each one represented by a star. Find all and well, that's the secret. If you want to get all the stars, you'll need this. Oh, you saved world traveler. World traveler. It's stored in a pause menu. I'm glad you enjoyed this, but I have to move on. Let's roll the credits. Okay. Oh. So there's extra stuff that I can do. I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today. I'll restart it when I I'm, I'm I have a plan. I have a plan. So you just hang in there. I'll do it. So cat! And the kiss on my cat, of course. Is this person Portuguese? Because that means Duchess in Portuguese. That would be... That would be... Uh-huh. Yeah. That was nice. That was a really nice game. Okay. Uh, wait, but what does it do? Travel. Oh, now I can, I can travel whenever I want. I see. Wait, I just, I'm curious. Raz, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Hold on, I'm curious. 
Is it obvious? Oh, look, the guy is not here anymore. Maybe we can do it, actually. Maybe we can do it. Maybe. No, I might just sleep. <laughs> Let the coins fall, baby. All right. Anyway. Anyway, I think I'll do it off stream. I highly recommend you guys play this game. It was definitely a wonderful experience. And I I I think I think it might go on my list of favorite games if I remember it in the future after I'm forget tonight. But anyway, let's do a quick a quick evaluation. Game reveal. Game reveal. Game reveal. Okay. So, um let me see atmosphere that was a five out of five then we've got originality it was a five out of five then we've got we've we've, we've we've got replayability yes it has replayability then uh then we've got aesthetics that's a five out of five then we've got we've got we've got sound design it was a five out of five then we've got we've got game feel i was a five out of five then we've got I've got plot. It was a f five out of five. And then we've got we've got floral enjoyment. That was a f five out of five out of five out of five out of f five. And then chat enjoyment how much did you it was a five out of five out of five 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 yeah it's a five yeah that was a great game i enjoyed it now a spooko meter everything is broken the spooko meter i'm i'm f not spooky not spooky but maybe a bit disturbed not really it's just best five out of five out of five out of five 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 out of five. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, it's a little bit unsettling, but it was a great game. I approve. I approve. Okay. So, anyway, there was another game that I wanted. Okay, let me turn on the TV. Turn off the TV. There. Turn it off. So uh, there was another game that I still wanted to play today, but I'm way too sleepy to do it. I will do it probably at some point. I have a plan. I just can tell you yet because I want it to be a secret. So just look forward to it. Don't worry. To the members who know what game it is, I'll do it. I'll play it. Just not. Day, even though I was super hyped for it, I'll I'll play. I'm just sleep today. Yeah. Today was fun. I enjoyed games. They were fun. I like. I hope you like too. It's fun when you like it as well. Yeah. Ryan, thank you for the super. Thank you for the super. And thank you for spending time with me. It's currently almost midnight. I've said this like 10 times already today. Where I'm functioning on two hours of sleep. 
And I need this lip. Uh, or oh, quick question, but when is the next baby flyer going to be? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. It was gonna be yesterday, but I got sick. So it's tomorrow. Poncho, what the heck? Dude, thank you for the project. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for spending so much time with us today for your very fun. You are cute. I'm not cute. You're cute. I appreciate all the support and I appreciate you guys being here even if I'm not being coherent. I don't know I'm not being coherent. I'm trying my best to be coherent. But I'm struggling. <laughs> but either way, it's been... Oh. Uh, thank you, Spikey, for the soup. I'm not cute. I kind of don't want to go. <laughs> I kind of don't want to go. I just want to stay here because it's warm and I've got my lucky charms. And we can just talk until I pass out. And then and then we're going to enjoy it. And then, and then it's kind of fun and it's a good and it's happy and ah, good right right i need to sleep right right I, <laughs> I hope i hope this sleepiness didn't take away from it from the gameplay i'm sorry i was not expecting to die so suddenly <laughs> I was not expecting it. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. Not at all, it added a lot. <laughs> I hope it wasn't boring. I hope it wasn't boring. I, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep more than five hours. I hope you guys enjoyed the liminal space door games and i hope you will come again next time and spend time with me yeah because i enjoy spending time with you yeah so next stream will be on soon and i've made schedule in my brain but i haven't posted it yet so schedule soon uh and um Right, Donathon soon too. Also, there's Pochi Donathon. Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna raid into. Pochi Donathon. Yeah, because Pochi Donathon happy. Good, good dog. I love the dog. I love the dog. Now she's sleeping and not thinking straight. Will you marry me? Uh, <laughs> Marriage! Why marriage? Where's, where's, where's the going on an ice cream date first with the Lucky Charms? I mean, we went on a mall date, but I'm just, it's not, I'm more, more time with the Lucky Charms before proposal marriage. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm flustered that you would ask me something like that, though it makes me happy. Yeah. But I, I, um, I don't know. No. I'm EP. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Right, I've got to sleep. Okay, sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, clear. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm gonna throw you on the raid to put you and then I'll fall asleep in bed. Okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. 
Uh, babe boy, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate Lucky Charms as a hive mind. Yeah. I like Lucky Charm hive mind. I appreciate the super, thank you. Okay, bedtime, bedtime. I throw a red. Read that. She. But she gets the raid. Okay, a freak, 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 freak. freak. But she, raid. But she is. But she asleep or is but she awake? I don't know if but she is awake or asleep. But she, raid. But she. There, forty-eight hour donut on. Okay, save. So, okay, raid. Raid is ready. Okay, I'll. See. See you tomorrow or the day after or something. I hope you have a good night. Ah, uh, look at charms. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It did not go through. That did not work out. <laughs> if we get that you. did not work out. <laughs> now that she's sleepy and not sleeping straight, will you marry me? Now that she's sleepy and not thinking straight, will you make? I don't think in the guy you're looking for anyway. Lema, oh, good luck to the other solo. I want to do the coin thing again. Can I do it again? I want to do it again. Can I do it again? I want to do it again. Can I do it again? I want to do it again. Can I do it again? I want to do it again.